first fucking <laughs> <laughs> the first <laughs> sprite that pops up is my eye gal one what's up everybody how y'all doing <laughs> i fucking can't dude dude i can't first fucking sprite that pops up this is my eye gal sprite all right give me one second and then i'll give shout outs <laughs> what a way to open up a stream, right? Alright. <clears throat> How you doing, everybody? Got 30 people in the chat. Let's go. So, shout out to everybody that stopped by first thing. We have Paul Flemester, Berber3000, Road Breach, a guy on YouTube. Hold on, I think I'm missing one. This is, this is a uh, top chat. Uh, Green Eye Gaming as well. Um, Prime Man, Colin Venture, Coco LaRocco, X Lucas, Dank Memer, Maurice Gaming, Shadow Kenji, um, Trance Boy 69, Joseph Hungerford, Mr. Gamer, Psychonautic Therapy, Abyss Watcher, Deadmos, uh, Superior Nas, um, Wub, W, Wub, I'm just gonna call you Wub. Jesus Wagon, New Vegas Boy, and Matt. Thank you all for stopping by first thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give shout out to members too. Um, if I just pull this up real quick. And I'm going to go to my members. Give a shout out to my members who give me money. Yeah. Y'all give me that money. <laughs> Yes, Psyche is working on a video, so stay tuned for that too. I miss Psyche content. <laughs> Alright, shout out to all the members right now. We have Danny Lion, Krillix, Mythical, Buzzly, a guy on YouTube, and Reject Demon. Thank you all for supporting me. Yes, you are, Lucas. You're working on a lot of shit. What's up, Malay? I miss the frog, but it's your account and your life. Yeah, I mean, he is going through a lot of stuff, so I understand why he's not uploading as frequently. Alright, so before we get into uh, the drama, I'm just going to go ahead and ask everybody, how's your day been? What's been going on? How's life? How's your girlfriend? Or partner, if you even have one. How's your job going? I'm interested in everybody's lives. <laughs> yes, Curlix did make a video. Actually, several videos on Rev before. $5 from Hero Culture. Thank you. How does a creep like Rev says Desu build an audience? It's mind-boggling. It's the internet. Uh, a lot of freaks have a, a fan base and an audience these days. You can just pretty much platform everybody nowadays. That's the internet for you. If this were in real life, it would be an entirely different story. What's up, Or Storm? I haven't seen you in a while. What is this? Creature. That's what this is. That's, this is a creature right here. I don't know if the music will play simultaneously with the videos I play, but like, whatever. Rev is a closeted pedo. I say that for anyone who uses, quote, she's actually, I mean, yeah, that's a pathetic excuse, right? We'll get into it. Um, I'm just interested in my chat and welcoming my chat because I love my chat. My chat's cool. 
Uh, I think at some point Psyche's gonna join because he wants to cover other stuff. Not great. I'm sorry to hear that, Ultimate Agent. Oh, I hate you too, Balotelli. Thank you. Guy is just a word of advice from Hitler himself. Love your haters. They're your biggest fans. And by Hitler, I mean Kanye West. Have I heard anything from a British potato recently? No. I had a conversation with Krillix at one point about potato. That was about it. I never spoke to potato after that. Like, ever. Like, it's been ages since I've spoke to potato at all. And I don't plan on it. $2 from Superior Nas. Thank you. Can't watch, but hope the stream goes well. Appreciate it. Thanks for the $2. You didn't have to do that. Imagine thinking Rev Avatar is good. I'll do you one worse, Green Eye. Imagine thinking Rev's Avatar is hot. Imagine that. That's that's worse. Worse than thinking their Avatar is good. People think this Avatar is hot. It's disgusting. Is your Avatar beater? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Road Breach. I can't do that. <laughs> Mr. Potato has gone some missing somewhere in Nevada. I mean, speaking of Nevada, I mean, this is what I'm listening to right now. It's madness music. So yeah, we're we're really we're really in Nevada with this one. <laughs> the Act Man as stuff is just two retards fighting. We'll get to that. Um, if you want a a uh, brief summary of what I think of it. I think, yeah, both people are in the wrong in some capacity, but I'm more so siding with Act Man, and I'll get into why when we get over the drama. Which also involves Kratosis, by the way. We're going over a Kratosis video that came out today, and it's bad. We're going to go over that in a bit. Why is my character an anime girl? Because that's what I am in real life. I am a anime girl with white hair, red eyes, and the most drip you could ever have. And soon I'm going to be the same character except pink. <laughs> What's up, Katana's fans? No, I agree, Orstorm. Leaking the DMs was a dick move. That's like my only criticism with Act Man. And and again, I'll uh, go over it more in detail once we actually get to the drama. <laughs> gaslighting doesn't exist, chat. You made it up. Now you're just gaslighting yourself by thinking gaslighting is not a thing. When gaslighting is in fact a thing, you just gaslight yourself into thinking it isn't a thing when it very clearly is. Or maybe I'm just gaslighting you to think that too. This is gaslightception. It is me. Hi, hi, Fwen, Nick. I sided with Act Man just on principle that he doesn't scream like a fucking toddler who got told it's sprinkling outside instead of raining. Facts, dude. I don't understand how people can take Heels vs. Babyface seriously when he goes on unhinged rants like that. And he sounds the exact... He, he has the same demeanor in all of his videos. It's actually infuriating to even listen to. Shut the fuck up, trans boy. <laughs> If I heard a YouTuber made a documentary on Quantum TV, are you talking about June the King? Because, yeah, I've, I've seen it. What's up, Crim Crimson Rosso? Ro Ros Ro <laughs> Crimson Rosso. What's up?
I mean, guys, regardless of what you think of Act Man or Heels vs. Babyface or Starfield for that matter, regardless of what you think of either of those things, you gotta admit, most of what Heels vs. Babyface is complaining about is pretty fucking retarded. If any of y'all have even dug deep into the fucking drama, that is. What's up, Stav or Stave? Any indie cartoons you like? No. Alright, um... I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna start off with Repsess Desu's video on Meat Canyon. Um, I know it was a little bit ago. I'm a little bit late. I was gonna make a video on this, but then, like... <laughs> everything just started piling up. There was a bunch of new drama that was coming up. Um, which also includes the Act Man shit. <clears throat> and I was like, I should probably make a video on this too. But I was also working on doing a script for the Rev video. And then it, it, it kind of just piled out on from there. And I'm just like, you know what? Let's stream. I'm going to do a stream instead. So now here we are. We're going to stream. Um... I don't know if Krillix can join because I think something happened with Krillix in his personal life, so I'm not going to go over that. I think we're just going to go ahead and get started. $2 from X Lucas. Starfield sucks, Gorilla Glue Cock. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, also, I'm sorry if you hear my fan. It's kind of hot outside for some reason. Or maybe not outside, but rather in the house because we have a heater. Um, so I turned my fan on. I don't, I don't like the heat. I die in extreme heat. <laughs> But yeah, um, is Meat Canyon the one who made the Tom Brady kid disgusting stuff? He is the one that made the Tom Brady video, which we will get to because we're going to watch the Red video. We'll get to the Tom Brady stuff. Um, <clears throat> my thing about it before we watch the video is um, if you think it's weird, if you think it's creepy, like the Tom Brady video, that's fine. You have every right to call it weird. But you also have to take into consideration the intent of the author, all right? Because the debate we're going to... It's another Lollicon debate. Um, the debate we're getting into with Rev's video is Lollicon. And he's going to say that Meat Canyon is just as bad for making those animations, which I think is stupid as fuck. Um, yeah, you have every right to find those animations weird. That's the point of the animations, is to be weird and creepy and unsettling. <clears throat> And we're going to talk about the difference between Meat Canyon's animations and the stuff that Rev's going to defend, which he constantly defends it, by the way, which is Lollicon. And since we're uh, diving into this rabbit hole once again, I got to I gotta pop a cold one. It's beer. It's not actually alcohol, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> near it's 81 degrees fahrenheit in march for me it's probably like 32 degrees for you i mean probably it is alaska so like let me check my temperature real quick you were close nick it's 25 degrees out like i like i corrected myself it's not hot outside as much as it is hot inside because we have a heater and I, I started sweating a little, so I turned on my fan. How does Rev have 600,550k 600, subs? I don't know. But everybody gets a platform these days on YouTube. On the internet. Like, like I said earlier, Malay, um... If this were in real life, it'd be an entirely different story. This guy would not have a platform. He does have half a million. Anyways, um, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to watch a Rev Says Desu video. I'm sure Sean the Legend will take greatly to that. Because we all know that Lollicons like to uh, take Rev's word as gospel, you know? So anyways, let's get right into the autism. Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. 
So today we're going to be talking about Mead Canyon, who is an animator slash content creator. You can see his main channel right here. He also has an old channel called Papa Meat, where yesterday he released this absolute stinker called the worst fan base on the internet. Oh, it's a stinker. I can't wait to find out why. Internet. Now that fan base he's referring to is Lollicons, as well as anime. Of course. Of course. It's a stinker because he's talking bad about Lollicons. Of course. Of course, that's got to be the reason, right? It couldn't be literally anything else. It has to be Lollicon. No, 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 no. We, we got we to gotta defend our fap material. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. Like. Y'all are right in the chat. How does he have a platform? How does he have half a million? <laughs> fans generally, because throughout the video, multiple times, he lumps those two groups together. Now no, he doesn't. That's bullshit. He does not conflate anime fans with lollicons. Here's, your, here's a little life advice, Rev. And you, you seem to be willfully ignorant on this. But you can be an anime fan and not like lollicon. You ever, you ever think about that? You can be an anime fan and you can absolutely despise Lollicon. Uh, I fall under that category where I used to watch a lot of anime, but I don't like Lollicon. I even took a lot of issue with certain animes that I really like that have uh, childlike characters being sexualized. That's Those are the moments where I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not watching this. Um, I think Psychonautic Therapy was also talking about it at one point. Like... One of his friends forced him to watch My Hero Academia, and there was this bathtub scene with all the characters, and he's just like, these guys are kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you can you can like anime and not like that stuff. Yeah, 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 it was your ex. But, like, those are mutually exclusive. You can be an anime fan and not be a lolicon. I don't understand why Rev insists in every one of these videos where he defends lolicon that, oh... He's attacking the anime fans. Like, you're really gonna say that he's attacking the anime fans when he's got a fucking manga bookshelf right behind him? Look, I, there's a lot of Naruto, right? I think that's Naruto. Yeah, that's Naruto, right? You're, you're gonna say he's attacking the anime fans when he's got a fucking bookshelf of Naruto in there. In one piece. Seriously? You're, you're willfully misrepresenting his point, Rev. Now, this is a big mistake, not only because of the outrageous claims he makes throughout this video, but all- Outrageous? Okay. Let's, let's see the outrageous claims. Also, the fact that over the years, Meat Canyon has made multiple animations sexualizing underage characters in- Oh, underage characters, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Sexualizing underage characters. Okay. Big red flag. Okay, if if what he's saying is true, sexualizing underage characters. Hmm. Okay. Let's 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 see the evidence. Let's see it. Including one video where he uses. I completely forgot the hot spring scene. Yeah. Um. That shit's bad. A real child as a reference for his sexualized anime. <gasps> a real child? Oh no. Patient. Big mistake on his part talking about any of this stuff. But why did he decide to throw his hat in the ring on this conversation while well, he cites Vosh and the recent situation involving him? Now, if you want a breakdown of what happened about two weeks ago to Vosh, you can find a link to my video about it in the description. But the too long didn't read version of events is basically that Vosh has been very, very vocal about his disdain about lollicons and anime fans calling them pedophiles and Nazis for the fictional content they consume. Well, mm -hmm. lo and behold, about two weeks ago, he accidentally revealed one of his folders on stream, which contained lollicon, of course. Now, people... See, like... <clears throat> Here's my thing about Rev calling out Vosh for this, right? It's completely valid to call out hypocrisy. I understand that. And... He is completely valid in saying that Vosh is a hypocrite right there. But that also doesn't exonerate anybody from consuming that material that they so rightfully think that they should defend. Like, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. If you're gonna, if you're gonna call somebody out for hypocrisy, like this, consuming Lollicon, which we all agree is pedophilic material, and here he is, consuming pedophilic material, there's just a lack of self-awareness in there. So, like, yeah, he's a hypocrite, but you can't have your cake and eat it, too. 
you 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 also defend and I assume consume that shit too. Like me and others have been complaining about Vosh for years, not because of the fictional content on his computer, but because he has openly defended CP on multiple occasions. However, people like me That's true. I give him that one. Meat Canyon only pretended to care about Vosh the second they found Lolly on his computer. Now let's hear what Meat Canyon has to say about the topic of Lollycon. More recently, after that, there was a guy named Vosh on the internet that just leaked all of his Lollycon art on his stream, and it's been a huge debate and debacle lately. I wanted to do a video on this very subject because even my video recently was kind of about a lot. Would you say that anime has to count? Would you say that anime to count as an anime has to be made by Japanese animators? I don't think so. I've had people agree with me saying that. Animes are cartoons at the end of the day. I think I think if a cartoon has the art style of an anime, then it's a fucking anime. It doesn't matter what origin it's in. If if I see like a cartoon that has like some sort of art style that I that reminds me of an anime, it's probably a fucking anime. If it's extremely similar in that regard. I don't I don't know I don't know if the origin defines the uh content unlike something like a a jrpg where jrpg just literally stands for like japanese role-playing game because like that's exclusively a jrpg right what's up death atla is an anime what's atla was that made in america or something um i'm gonna pull this up just in case i don't want fucking porn in my fucking Oh yeah, Avatar. Fuck, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, Avatar is an anime. I thought Atla standed for something else entirely, but yeah, it's Avatar. Yeah, Avatar is considered an anime, right? Lolicon himself. And I do think that it's one of the most depraved and disgusting fandoms in all of anime and really all of media in general. So today, I just want to be fully transparent. We're talking about Lolicons. If you don't know what a Lolicon is, it's about guys who... <laughs> they like anime girls that are 8 to 10 years old and they... Pedophilia. We're talking about pedophilia today. So if you don't like that, I just want to put that right up front just in case you don't like it. But I do think it's a very fascinating, depraved, disgusting piece of the internet that I think uh, would be lovely to talk about. Okay. So I, I just played that entire clip for you guys, right? So where in that entire section did Meat Canyon ever bring up anime fans? Right? Did he say anime fans as well, or is he only specifying lolicons? Answer me that. I want to. S <clears throat> okay. Uh, poll in chat, guys. If if Meat Canyon specified anime fans too, press two. If he specified only lolicons, press one. I want to. I want to see your answer. One, if he's only specifying lollicons. Two, if he also specifies anime fans. I'll replay the clip. There. I'll replay the clip for you. ...to say about the topic of lollicon. More recently, after that, there was a guy named Vosh on the internet that just leaked all of his lollicon art on his... Because even my video recently was kind of about a lollicon himself. And I do think that it's one of the most depraved and disgusting fandoms in all of anime, and really all of media in general. So, today, I just want to be fully transparent, we're talking about lollicon. Guys, if your answer is not a one or two, it's not counted. I'm sorry. If you don't know what a lollicon <laughs> is, it's about guys who... They like anime girls that are 8 to 10 years old and they... Pedophilia. We're talking about pedophilia today. So if you don't like that, I just want to put that right up front just in case you don't like it. But I do think it's a very fascinating, depraved, disgusting piece of the internet that I think uh, would be lovely to talk about because these little cockroaches are hiding in plain sight. And I think that it might be good to get down to... I mean, how the hell did we even get here? So like... Alright, I see a lot of ones. Which... Yes, that's the right, that's the right fucking answer. Robrace, just type in one. <laughs> like I stated earlier, Meat Canyon talking on this subject is so beyond hypocritical when he has made- Hypocritical? Okay, let's hear it. Multiple animations where underage characters are being sexualized, okay? This isn't a your likes are public moment. This is a 
you sat down and animated underage characters being sexualized type of a moment. It goes way beyond the... Okay. Now, let me just point out the bullshit here with Rev pointing out the underage characters, all right? Because this is such backwards logic that Lollicons love to do. Especially, this is especially the concrete point right here. This is like the silver bullet of my point. Is if you do something that Meat Canyon does or something similar to that, Lollicons will call you out for that. They're, they're going to say that you sexualized underage characters. But the moment that you try and flip it right back at them for their consumption and defenses of Lollicon, they're just like, nah. -uh. <laughs> like, it's so fucking retarded. This debate is pointless because it's hypocritical and it's nothing. Like, it's calling out Meat Canyon for animations like that, saying that they're sexualizing underage characters, when you defend Lollicon and more often than not, people consume it when they defend it. That is beyond hypocritical. It's a losing battle at that point. It's just two retards fighting. Like, I don't, I don't know, dude. It's fucking stupid. It's like, Rev tries to fucking stand on some moral fucking high ground about Meat Cannon making these animations when he has been on record for years defending Lollicon, which is porn of underage characters. It's not on the same vein as Meat Canyons, which I'll elaborate further on once we get deeper into the video. The usual hypocrisy we see with this subject. But here's the thing, okay? He has lots of these animations, and I'm going to play a few throughout this video just to give you a taste of how ridiculous his complaints about Lollicon anime fans are. Starting with this clip right here, featuring characters from Demon Slayer, both of which are underage. <laughs> Oh my word, sister. You smell so good. My sweaty little princess. Oh, oh. Please help me. Oh, Nezuko. I'll always be here to help you. Someone, someone help me. Oh. I could smell you all day. Get off me. I don't... My sweet sister. Leave me alone. <laughs> Smells like family. That's... <laughs> that's... You're telling me that's incriminating? That's a bit. That's a joke, dude. And it's not sexualized. What about that as sexualized? What? <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> it also sounds like a critique of the show in a way. Because like, oh, family, family. I, can s I protect my family. I, I love my family. I, s I smell my family. I'm pretty sure that's the point of some of these animations from Meat Canyon too. Is that it's a critique as well. And it's like exaggerated to the point of insanity. Like these animations are. <clears throat> Especially the character designs. You, 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 these, th this doesn't look like a human. <laughs> he barely looks human. Look at how crooked his face is. So, like, bottom line is, like, he's trying to use these as a silver bullet to say that Meat Canyon's just as bad. But, like, it really isn't. It's just a weird animation pulling a bit about family. It's not sexualized on the same vein as... Not even on the same vein. It's just not sexualized at all. It's not, it's not made with the intent of fat material. It's not made for sexual gratification, like Psyche said. So we're off to a pretty shaky start with Meat Canyon. That's a pretty suspicious... Shaky start? That's, sus that's suspicious? That's nothing, dude. This video for someone calling Lollicons pedophiles, but it gets a lot worse, a lot more blatant. This time we're going to look Blame. at a Ben 10 parody he made, of course, featuring underage characters like Gwen. Your bones are weak, Ben. You're only a 10-year-old boy, you know that? You're just a little boy. Yeah, well, I got a dick on me like a 40-year-old. Is that right, Gwen? That's right, Ben. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I knew you two were fucking. Uh, just grab his legs and let's get him into the van. It's hero time, goddammit. In case you're trying to keep... That's a fucking joke. Wow, fuck. We're, we're really not allowed to make jokes anymore. Dude, that's a kid saying that. That is a vocal, like, joke that the kid made. Like, Ben made a joke about his dick. I, I guarantee fucking tell you that in your school days, you'd make the same kind of jokes with your friends, right? Like, we've, we've all done it in, like, middle school or high school. We've, we've hung out with friends in, like, lunchtime, and then we just said the most out-of-pocket shit imaginable. 
like whether it be sexual or not <laughs> fucking every every kid does that you, you don't lie to me chat you, you've done it you've made some of the most baffling jokes in high school or middle school about your dick or whatever the fuck you, you just say the most out of pocket friends do it all the time kids do it all the time friends kids they, they do that they make jokes i don't understand how they <laughs> you're trying to say this is as bad as lollycon are you kidding me it's a joke on the fact that a bunch of weirdos actually ship them. Ah, so it's also critiquing the fan base. Okay. I, I, I can see that. I can see that too. He's trying to say that's as bad as Lollycon? Uh, Meat Canyon did make a video about Lollycons on his second channel, Death. Yes. Um, it's called The Worst Fan Base on the Internet. You can check it out if you want. But, like, Rev's trying to say that is as bad. <laughs> Are you telling me people jerk off to that? Like, no. If you do, you're fucking weird. I'll tell you that much. Like, no. Gore at home. That is now two videos where he has featured incest relationships between underage characters. But here's the thing. One of the... That's a fucking joke, dude. Holy... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Rev. No. You're not... You're not unironically using this as ammunition. Big justifications that he attacks he claims that lollycons use this defense of oh well they're nine thousand years old if you're trying to make the same argument to defend meat canyon in this situation for his animations trying to say they're aged up or they're actually older than they look well he kind of ruined that own dude i hope sean responds to this stream that'd be fucking easy content right there defense for himself, as you can see right here. The defense. People that like this kind of stuff are on the defense all the time. And what's interesting from even the consumers and the creators is that people justify this because you're like, oh, it you, looks like you're sexualizing a child. But they're like, no, dude, she's a 7,000 year old dragon wizard, okay? She's older than you and I. She's older than every person ever in your family combined, okay? I mean, she has more insight and maturity than anyone. See, that's what I mean right there, what Meek Canyon's explaining. I mean, that's just one of the defenses. They have. Bleh. They have several. Um, so Rev's calling out me, Kenya, for making these animations, right? And saying he's sexualizing underage characters. But the moment you try to apply that to Lollicon, they're just like, nah, -uh. nah, -uh. you can't, you can't say that about my precious Lollicon. You can't say that about my fat material. <laughs> like, holy shit. You're, you're just, oh, fuck, whatever, dude. And that's like one of the big defenses, right? People and the creators being able to get around with little loopholes like that makes it feel like it, it justifies this very creepy, creepy act. Which I don't know if it does. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't. Yeah, well, I got a dick on me like a 40-year-old. Is that right, Gwen? That's right, Ben. So throughout his video, he time and time so again... <laughs> so fucking stupid, dude. It's a fucking joke. ...says that if these characters... You'd probably... You'd probably get a lot of stories from, like, school staff where, like, these fucking kids say the most out-of-pocket shit about their dick. It happens all the fucking time, dude. It's a joke. Look young. If you sexualize them in anime, you are a pedophile. And yet we've seen his Ben 10 clip, his Demon Slayer clip. Now let's check out this clip right here, featuring the magic school bus. Now, I don't really know uh, what you guys think when you think about the magic school bus, but... These are... I, I think of Magic School Bus. Are ...clearly students. I don't know what you guys think when you think of Magic School Bus. I think of the fucking Magic School Bus, my guy. ...who are supposed to be young with their teacher. And in this animation, these students crawl up inside her. Miss Frizzle, I don't want to learn about that stuff. I want to learn about wet-ass pussy. Wop, wop. 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 We, we want, want wop. wop. We, we want, want wop. wop. You children want to disobey my curriculum and learn about old Miss Frizzle's sandbox, huh? Yeah! All right, children, fine. You've twisted my arm. Hop in the bus and let's get to learning. <laughs> you telling me people get off to that? That was funny as fuck, though. I mean, it's weird, yeah. The fucking wet-ass pussy. Well, like... Yeah, it's weird. It's not sexual, though. Like, overly sexualized. These, This isn't made for sexual gratification. That's, that's something I wanted to hammer it in. That you have to take into consideration the intent of the author. 
did he make this for se- did he make this for sexual gratification or did he make it to unsettle you to make you feel weirded out because the latter is true he just wants to weird you out the fucking redhead of his arms in the bus gets me every <laughs> i know it did fucking <laughs> Yeah, you're you're trying to say this is as bad as Lollicon. No, it, no, the fuck it isn't. <laughs> no, the fuck it isn't, dude. That's so retarded to claim. Like, you're telling me people jerk off to this? I'm, I'm just gonna say right now, if you do jerk off to it, you're fucking weird, and you should probably go to therapy or something. But that's not the point of these animations. I'm just gonna... I'm going to be very blunt with you, Rev, on the difference between Meat Canyon's animations and Lollicon. One is animations that are made to weird you out and make you unsettled. They're supposed to be weird. It is intentionally weird and creepy. Lollicon is fat material for pedophiles. It's porn. One is, one is porn, the other isn't. It's just a weird animation. Whoa, this place is cold and stink. Also, this animation is a critique of that one episode. This is an actual episode of Magic School Bus, by the way, where, like, one of the students is sick, and then the Magic School Bus goes like up the student's asshole. They go up his ass. That's an actual episode. It, this is a critique on that. There's such a wide spectrum of anime, and Lollicon comes from the style of anime known as Lolly. First of all, Lolly means a young or young looking girl character in Japanese anime or manga. So the term Lolly just means it's like a young looking girl. That's where that comes from. But Lollicon focuses on young female characters in suggestive and erotic content. The male equivalent of this is called Shotokan. It's basically. <laughs> I mean, it's just pedophilic anime. You children want to disobey my curriculum? And learn about old Miss Frizzle's sandbox, huh? So based on those animations we just watched... Not in the same vein, dude. Yeah, it's weird. You can think it's weird, but it's not... It is not porn. It is not sexual gratification. It's not made for that. It's supposed to weird you out. I would love to see someone like Meat Canyon or one of his defenders try to explain how what he's doing to those characters is somehow different than the anime fans he's labeling pedophiles. It's not... Oh my god. It's not anime fans, Rev. Not everybody that watches anime is a pedophile, okay? We're going to make that very blatantly clear, okay? Not everybody that watches anime is a pedophile. Not all weebs are pedophiles. Some of them are. If they consume Lollicon. If you consume Lollicon and you defend it, yeah, you're definitely a fucking pedophile. But if you just watch anime... I mean, you watch anime. That's it. I don't under... Oh, Rev, you're such a fucking lol cow, dude. Because of the way those fictional characters are sexualized. I would love to see him try to explain how those things are somehow- Oh yeah, that's a very important word, too, to describe Meat Canyon's animations. They're parodies. Parody is probably the best description for these videos. These animations. They, they are parodies of the actual show. And a parody, in of itself, is a form of critique. It's like South Park, in a way. Because South Park <clears throat> does a lot of weird shit. Probably weirder shit than Meat Canyon does, but it's also a critique. It's a parody of something. Every South Park episode does that. How different. But anyways, he would go throughout the video and he would end it with a little mic drop. His bottom line on this entire subject. Which here's the bottom line of this weird, depraved internet culture thing that we're talking about. Lollicons. To me, it's as simple as this. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, and walks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. I don't think that you can take your brain and really substitute these things. There's no way to fucking take a <laughs> limitless pill and be able to categorize all of the nuances of psychology that your brain is playing Jenga continuously to cater to your perverted fetishes. Well, here's the bottom line. Meat Canyon is facing some serious trouble, not just for the hypocrisy involving the previous animations we looked at, but a lot of people have been dredging up some of his older animations, including this one featuring Tom Brady and his son. Now, this is the animation from about three years ago. So for context, back then, ex-NFL player Tom Brady, there, apparently there was something out in the media where he kissed his son on the lips, and people thought that was weird, but Meat Canyon went a step- Is that why Tom Brady is no longer an NFL player? I wonder. 
I wonder why he's no longer an NFL player. Further and made a full two minute animation of Tom Brady kissing his own son, who at the time of this video, this animation was 12 to 13 years old. Now this is where things get a little tricky because he is referencing a real specific child. And in this animation, they are making out, they fall down to the ground, they're rolling around making sexual noises and remarks to one another. While on- It's not actually what happens, but okay. They're just kissing. Lookers like this are licking their lips. You can see it's very sexual based on the fact this video is age restricted for the sexual content. And as many others will point out, this is a serious issue. This isn't just a drawing anymore because it is referenced- Have you ever considered that this is also a parody of Tom Brady kissing his son? Like he's actually calling out Tom Brady for doing that? You ever think of that? Seeing a specific real child. This- You also got to take into account once again the intent of the author. Did he make this for sexual gratification or did he make this to weird you out? This is Shadman territory, and I don't- <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Shadman territory. Fuck yourself, Rev. That is not Shadman territory. Meat Canyon made an animation where Tom Brady did something really weird to his son, making- and he exaggerated it. Exaggerated it as a parody, where he's like making him out. Shadman drew porn of children, actual living children. That's what Shadman did. That is nowhere near comparable. Those two things are nowhere near comparable. One made an animation for a goof and to weird you out. The other made child porn. I don't feel comfortable even showing this clip. I don't know how it's on YouTube, to be honest with you. And I don't know how Meat Canyon hasn't been called out for this endlessly. I, I can't believe this is sitting here. Because he is using a real, specific child who was 12 to 13 at the time and making sexual animations, using them as a reference. That is a new territory. Like I said, that's the Shadman territory. And if you- That is not Shadman territory, you fucking Neanderthal, dude. One is not porn. What Meat Canyon did was not porn. It was not made for sexual gratification. That is the big difference that you are leaving out intentionally. Oh, and you're gonna bring up this definition. This is the exact same fucking legal definition that Krillix brought up to Sean the Legend. Rev is using that same thing right now. This is the exact same source that Krillix used when he was debating Sean. Like, <laughs> I don't- I don't know how we came back full circle with- with this fucking legal definition. Who's Shadman? You're better off not knowing. Look at the definition of child porn. There is an actual reference to what Meat Canyon did. Visual depictions have been created, adapted, or modified to appear that an identifiable minor is engaging in sexually explicit conduct. Lack of self-awareness that this also applies to Lollicon. Just pointing that out. Because we used this exact same source to another Lollicon named Sean the Legend, for those of you that don't know. And he's just, he was pretty much just like, nah. -uh. That includes, by many people's definition, would include what he just did by using a specific. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys think as Rev is reading out the definition of CP that he's very, very slowly coming to the realization that this also applies to Lollicon? So, like, that's why you hear the pauses in his video, where he's not talking for, like, a split second. Do you guys, do you guys think he's slowly realizing that he's wrong for defending Lollicon all these years? And he knows it? I feel like that, uh, that's conspiracy theory shit, but, like, it'd be so fucking funny. Specific child in his sexual animation. That is way- No, we're doing the heel versus baby face shit after the rev video way more serious than the hip also there was a two two dollars super chat two dollars from hero culture thank you shadman territory ironic coming from rev right bro's been defending animated child porn for years and he has a platform hypocrisy surrounding some of his other animations where he was sexualizing underage characters this time we have a specific yeah, we all read that definition to the lollicons, and they all just denied any of their content counting under that description, but now he wants to Uno reverse it onto me, can you? Exactly, dude. Y you can't win with these people. When we showed this exact same legal definition from Cornell Law School towards lollicons, like Sean the Legend, they're just like, Nuh-uh. That's not child porn. 
<laughs> I can't believe this fucking legal definition came back full circle to be applied onto Meat Canyon's animations, dude. This is so stupid. It's it's so funny and it's so stupid. Real life child being Also, what's up amazing bro? Uh I saw your messages. Hey Nier, it's been a while again. Things got wild. Can't believe Potato went psychopath. Me neither, bud. I, I thought potato I thought potato would be better than that, but you know, shit happens. Uh, honestly, Rev has never been a credible source. Also, why is he using an anime girl character when his voice doesn't match with it? I know, it's fucking weird. Very fucking weird that his fucking avatar is an anime- A childlike anime girl with giant glasses. You, you, you see the fucking anime girl, right? You see the VTuber model. And you, you think it's cute, right? You might think it's cute. And then all of a sudden you just hear, Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. <laughs> like, holy shit. I feel like for most people, if they, if they hear something like that, they, they just immediately click off. <laughs> Thanks for noticing me. You're welcome, bro. Working out at the gym, so I'll be listening casually. All right, you have fun there, Orstorm. Being featured and used as a reference in this animation. That is a different territory, and a lot of people are comparing this to Shadman. He was run off of the internet, really, for... Fun fact, Meet Canyon made a video that probably violates USC... 2256 because while stylized it depicted a real 10 year old boy getting fucked in the ass which puts him in the same ballpark as fucking shad man i don't know if this guy is like intentionally lying or if he's exaggerating but that is not what happened in the animation the worst that happened was that tom brady was making out with his son that's the worst that happened in that animation that is not shad man territory one made an animation about some guy kissing his son as a joke, as a parody, and exaggerated it to the point that it's supposed to creep you out. Shadman made child porn. You're going to say that a weird animation is on the same vein as fucking child porn? Like, act, not, even, not, not, not even exaggerating. It, he, he literally made child porn. He made animated child porn of Keemstar's daughter. You're trying to say that Me Canyon is on the same vein as Shadman now because of a weird animation about Tom Brady? No. That's so fucking stupid, dude. I, this, this, is, this is a very common tactic with Lollicons too, is that they love to reach in order to call somebody out. Very, very often they love to reach. <clears throat> because this happens every time. Every single time someone big calls out Lollicon, they try to reach so hard to call them a hypocrite. For two reasons some legal reasons but also he was morally run off the internet because he made sexualized artwork that was using keemstar's underage daughter as a reference explain to me how that's different than what meat canyon was doing with tom brady's son the difference being he did not make that for you to jack off to shadman did big fucking difference explain to me how those things are different this should be called out this is the guy. Fuck. <laughs> this should be called out. <laughs> okay, Rev. Fuck off with that. Lecturing you. In Fuck off with your moral high ground. Morally grandstanding about anime. You're the one morally grandstanding, dude. You're trying to say that what Meat Canyon did was comparable to Shad Man. But he's doing this, and, and we're supposed to sit here and just accept it and, and give him. Yes! It's just an animation about about Tom Brady. It's a parody of Tom Brady for doing something very weird. It wasn't made for sexual gratification. It was made to weird you out. That is the intent behind Meat Canyon's animations. He doesn't make these for you to jerk off to like, mm. no, he made those because he wants you to be creeped out. That is not the same as what Shadman did. Oh my God, you're retarded. I'm a pass because he's the, the wholesome chungus animator that everyone loves. It's ridiculous. Nah, this ticks me off a lot more now that I think about it because Lollicons also always accuse people like us for watering down pedophilia. Meanwhile, this chuckle fuck is gonna make this comparison. Exactly, dude. Um, I'm going to pin that because it's just fucking true. That's just, that's just a reality. I mean, you can't win with these people. They, they will argue endlessly for their fucking fat material. Ridiculous. And moving forward, there was just... It doesn't matter how concrete your points are. If they want to argue in favor of their fat material, they're going to do it, regardless of how right you are. So much projection in this video. I'm going to get... Fucking projection. You've been doing nothing but doing that, dude. You're, you've been on record for years defending Lollicon. 
like you're the one that's projecting. Who's this fake ass VTuber on my screen? This is probably a pedophile. Get into this part right here. I mean, sounds like a 30 year old dude and their VTuber model is this young looking character with big ass glasses. Yeah, this guy's probably a pedophile. <laughs> Where he talks about Dragon Maid. Which the creators of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, I love saying that. The creator of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Road Breach, I don't care. Have just, just straight up, dude. Never specified her age. But because she can transform into a big dragon, people just speculate that she's 7,000 years old. Even though that is, that's just made up for their own kind of, you know, desires to justify what they're doing. Yeah, that's another thing too, Hailfire, is like, if Meat Cannon's animations are so bad, and it's comparable to Shadman, like he loves to claim. Why doesn't he complain about South Park? Because South Park does the same thing. South Park gets away with it. Why doesn't he complain about South Park? That's... I, I, I don't know. I guarantee you he's enjoyed South Park too. I don't, I don't actually know. It, I'm just speculating. But she looks like an eight or nine year old child. Are we back? We're back. My mic disconnected for a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I paused. You might have heard like a little clip too. You guys can hear me, right? You guys hear me? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, good. Where did I go? Uh, my mic disconnected for a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid team, just come out and say something. Or, better yet, let's just not make it. Can I, can I get an amen for that? Amen. Amen. <laughs> I just want to say that. <laughs> First of all, let me just mention that this was the fumble of the century. So he's going into- Your channel is the fumble of the century, dude. When anti wallycon rants, right? And he brings up Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and he doesn't reference characters like Kana. He goes for Eel. That's interesting you point out Kana, Rev. Very interesting that you point that out. Why do you think he should point out Kana? Hmm? What was the, what was the point of bringing up Kana, right? Now, <clears throat> if you answer that by saying um, Kana looks a lot more like a child than this character right here, Elulu, if that's your answer... Should that not be a red flag on people sexualizing that character because Kana looks a lot more like a child than this character? Which, by the way, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. This, this looks like a fucking child. You can't sit there and look at that face right there. Look at this face. That's a child. It looks like a child, dude. Lulu. And then the projection. Like, <laughs> fucking projection. Um, like... I, I, I don't know. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Uh, what was my point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you're, if your reason for bringing up Kana instead of this character right here is because Kana looks a lot more like a child than this character, then that's a red flag in of itself. ...is off the charts. This guy looks at this large-breasted dragon character. <laughs> Officer, that can't be a child. Just look at her tits. <laughs> That's literally the defense you're making, Rev. Do you know? Do you not know how stupid you sound right now by saying that? That's literally in the same vein of like, officer, that can't be a child. Just look at her tits. You telling me a child can have th those big titties? <laughs> look at them titties, dude. <laughs> Why are her breasts the size of Jupiter? I don't fucking know, dude. And immediately thinks of children. Yeah, that's an important question too, Road Breach. Why is she built like that? What what purpose does it serve in the story that she's built like that? Um, I let you in on a little secret. It most likely doesn't do anything with the story. Again, projection. We've seen this happen a million times on places like Twitter. It's a very weird... You see it happen on Twitter because pedophiles like Lollicons and yourself always resort to calling them out for, quote, projection when they most likely don't. And then... 
<clears throat> and then people like you resort to calling e everyone else like ADP fans or ADP likes because they don't like Lollygon. Me and Rev got a box. He giving anime fans a bad rep. I know. Bro, no wonder a lot of people don't like anime anymore, dude. Holy fuck. Dynamic that these people have where they look at characters like this and immediately think- That is fan service. Actually, it's an arrest warrant. <laughs> think of children. But I also noticed that- Wasn't ADP's defense she had big- <laughs> Correlation. We found a correlation, boys. We did it. Rev's a pedo. <laughs> that Meat Canyon has an animation featuring Charlie. Now, I thought this would be a good example to give someone's pretty educated and- Oh, okay. Here comes the big bullshit part. We're going to talk about Charlie, okay? He's going to pull up the same clip he's been pulling for years about Charlie's stance on Lollicon. Let's hear what Charlie has to say. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to uh, take a piss real quick. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, where are all the 47 people at? How about you show up in that chat and smash that like button, hit subscribe, share this video, all that good stuff. Anyways. Nobody wants to know that, Road Breach. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're so autistic, dude. Anyways. Um... Rev's video, right. He's going to talk about the Charlie clip. Let's, let's hear it. And fair take on the subject of Lolicon and sexualized characters in anime in general. And for some fucking reason, Twitter being the cesspool that it is somehow brings anime into this, talking about, well, how, why is cutie such a big deal when anime has kids being sexualized? Well, first of all, anime is fake. Those, those, like, children lolly things, those fucking 900-year-old vampires that look like they're four years old, the little cum demons that have existed for two millennia, but they look like a six-year-old, those aren't real people. They are animated fake things. These are actual 11 and 12-year-old girls that are subjected to this hypersexualization in this movie that the director has forced upon them. That's very different. This is real world versus totally fucking made-up, drawn characters. It's not even comparable. So overall- Okay, so, the actual context of that clip, which Charlie's not entirely wrong there, is Cuties is worse, a lot worse, than Lollicon. Because, yeah, Lollicon's not real. It's, it's fake, because it's anime. It's animated, it doesn't do a any actual harm to children. Cuties is worse. We, we all know that. Cuties is worse because it's actual, like, sexualization of children, right? We all know that. But Rev is trying to use this clip to justify Lollicon. Lollicon existing and saying that Meat Canyon's a hypocrite for that. Um, he's also making it out as, like, that is, that is Moist Critical's opinion of Lollicon, right? No, it isn't. In fact, 
he has quite literally the exact opposite opinion on Lollicon with this eight and a half minute long video called The Thing I Hate About Anime. You guys want to watch this video? Let's watch this video real quick. This is a video I've debated making for the last week or so. For the first time in the 15 years I've been on YouTube, it's a video that I've actually been afraid to make because it's a dangerous topic. It's touchy. It's anime. And anime fans can get wild. They always say war is hell, but I think war- Mythical, you can go ahead and send me those clips too. War is child's play compared to an argument with a weeb. I also recently learned about antimatter and it's the only thing in the universe that releases 100% of its energy in like this devastating explosion. And that's also wrong because weebs do that too when they find out that you don't like their favorite waifu. <laughs> the point I'm making is things can get very ugly when you criticize or talk about anime negatively. Expect an unholy diabolical meltdown on Twitter attacking you for weeks for it. I still to this day have not heard the end of how wrong I am for not liking JoJo's part 3 and 4 as much as I liked parts 1 and 2. And I mentioned that a single time in a video over a year ago. So let that shit sink in. For what it's worth, I just finished part 5, that shit slapped. Part 5 was great. So, let's get to what I want to talk about today. The main thing that I just dislike about anime, I'm sure all of you know by now, but I watch a lot of anime. You could probably guess that just by taking a single glance at me. If I walked by you in public, you would probably assume that I watched anime just by the way I look. <laughs> I stared too long into the abyss of anime and it stared back into me. I even bought a body pillow at one point, so, you know, God bless. The, but the thing is, no matter how much anime I watch, there is one thing that all- He also bought a giant cock, so like, it's whatever, dude. You, you buy a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> Always makes me uncomfortable with how common it is in the medium. And you probably already know what I'm going to bring up. It's anime's fixation on making all of the characters kids or very kid-like for no reason. Now, I'm not specific- Exactly. Specifically talking about lollies. I'm sure you know what lollies are. If you don't, a you know, all power to you. Your innocence is intact. But I'll go ahead and ruin- I wonder why he says that. I wonder why he, he brings up lolly and- says if you don't know what lolly is your your innocence is intact i wonder why he says that when christmas for you lollies are in anime where they have a character that looks like a child but is actually a four thousand year old dragon cum vampire who's highly sexualized but looks like a child they're called lollies they're not actually children because in the show they're supposed to be much older but they look like kids, and it's pretty weird. That shit's always going to be weird to me, but it's not even exactly what I'm focusing on here. I'm talking about in the show. Yeah, he straight up says that Lollicon's weird. He doesn't like Lollicon. And the thing with the clip that Rev was showing was that he was saying that Lollicon is not as bad as Cuties, because that's what the context of that clip was. He was talking about Cuties and people bringing up anime when it came to Cuties. So, like, he's still saying that Lollicon's bad in that regard, right? He's saying Lollicon is still bad, but it's not as bad as Cuties. I mean, like, that's basic fucking common sense right there. Like, obviously, actual, real-life child porn is worse than animated child porn, right? We all know that. That was the context of Moist Critical's clip there, is that he was talking about Cuties, and that people were bringing up anime and Lollicon when he was going over Cuties. So, so like i don't know why rev uses that clip as like a silver bullet when one it's out of context and two moist critical has the exact opposite opinion about lollicon as rev does well this is a very disappointing situation where me canyon has lost a lot of respect from people and really it's deserved okay i don't understand what comp <laughs> it's deserved fuck off held dude. him to make he makes funny animations. He deserves to be canceled. Make this video, this absolutely reeking of hypocrisy group of statements about anime and lollicons, and it's- It's not just anime, you retard. He is specifically addressing lollicon, and lollicon only. No regular ass anime was ever brought up in that. He was specifically talking about lollicons. He did not drag all anime fans in this like you lollicons love to claim. Only lollicons, he specified. Just because someone's an anime fan doesn't mean they're a lollicon. You can be one and not the other.
really backfiring horribly and and really the the controversy coming out of this i feel like it's only just beginning for him it's probably going to get a lot worse as people start diving into his content and for all the people that he's trying to impress with this video please go ahead and show him his other animations featuring underage characters or featuring tom brady's son and meat canyon don't care bro he's gonna laugh at you for doing that he's not even gonna address you at that point all these things because it is absolutely ridiculous that this guy has the nerve to lecture people and brandish them pedophiles over stuff happening in anime. Meanwhile, he's doing all of this on his own volition. It's crazy, but that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as always, feel free to share your, your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down. I think you're a fucking retard. You should delete your channel. That's what I think about this fucking video. So that was Rev's video. It was awful. <laughs> Um, bottom line is, Rev doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's still defending Lollicon, despite the actual definition of child pornography he showed on the video. The exact same legal definition that we showed Sean the Legend. And Sean the Legend was like, nuh-uh. So, like, it's perfectly okay for Lollicons like Rev to show up that legal definition. But when we do it, it's a problem. So, you know, that's good. Um, uh, Meat Canyon's innocent. Go fuck yourself. That is the bottom line of the video about Rev. Or a video, video from Rev about Me Canyon. Now, let's talk about Kretosis. We're going to be talking about Kretosis now. Um, <clears throat> Kretosis today made a video titled, The Act Man is Disingenuous and Lacks Integrity. Now, you guys know Kretosis from my channel. I defended him a couple of times. Um, I defended him from Griffin Gaming because Griffin was slandering him at one point as a zoo file. Um... I think Kretosis makes okay content. I, I liked his Starfield video. It was a really good analysis, and I think he really did hammer it in on how incompetent Bethesda's writers are. And yeah, Psyche's going to be on for that because he wants to comment on it too. Um, Psyche, I'm in cheese trenches if you want to join. Um, so if you guys don't have the context for Kretosis' video, <clears throat> uh, why he made this video on the act, man, uh, this is circling back from the Starfield discourse between Act Man and Heel versus Babyface. Uh, if you guys don't know who Heel versus Babyface is, he's the ball. He's the bald guy that screamed about fucking pronouns, fucking gender ambiguity, fucking current day Californian shit. Uh, that's the guy we're talking about. So back in September last year, there was a discourse between Heel versus Babyface and Act Man and a bunch of other people because. Um, Heel vs. Babyface had this unhinged rant about the, uses of, the usage of pronouns, the gender ambiguity from some characters, like this one character that is a clone of a man, but is actually a woman for some reason. Um, he, he bitches about that, and he calls the game really boring, which nobody's really disagreeing on you there. It is boring. <clears throat> so Act Man just kind of took the piss out of Heel vs. Babyface for a bit on Twitter. And Heel vs. Babyface made a coat video about it. It circled back a little. Act Man made a video about it featuring Heel vs. Babyface at one point. Let me adjust my mic real quick. I feel like it's static a little. Um, that should be fine. I might just turn down the volume a bit. Alright. So, <clears throat> yeah. This is what it's all about. It's come back full circle because at one point during that discourse... Um, Act Man wanted to have a private discussion with Hale vs. Babyface. Um, they brought in Mahler as an intermediary. And Hale vs. Babyface was going to have that private discussion, but he decided not to because Act Man uploaded his Starfield Hot Takes video. And then Hale vs. Babyface bitched the fuck out because Ooh. reasons, I guess. Hi, Psyche. Hello. So that is, that is the context of this video right here that we're, we're going to look at. Uh, Kratos I never, and hmm? I, I never finished Kratos's video on this because I had things to do. But I got like three minutes in, and I had a lot of problems at, at about the three minute mark. A lot of things ticked me off at that point. Um, like I brought up earlier, the only real criticism I do have for the Act Man, and it's a big one, is leaking Mahler's DMs was not okay. Like, he should have gotten permission from Mahler beforehand if he was going to do something like that. He did not. It was kind of a bitch move. Everything else I think Ackman did was fine. Yeah, which he later did apologize for it. I, 
don't know, his apology didn't seem the best. It kind of seemed just a little like, meh, I, I did it, whatever. And, and that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But I, I still agree with what Actman ended up saying, which is like, I, I should have at least blurred his name out and left him anonymous at, at the very least. It's like, okay, that's like a, like, if you were going to do that without talking to him, that's a middle ground at least. I still think you should have talked to Mahler first, though. Yeah, he really should have. That would have been the best move. If if he was going to leak those DMs, he should have talked to Mahler. Yeah, like, talk to Mahler. If not, then, like, the other idea he had, that's at least, like, a middle ground. At least you're being anonymous about who it was. No one's going to know it's Mahler then, right? Yeah. What's up, Krillix? It's Kriggs. Hello. Hope you're doing well with your personal stuff that you told me about last night. Yeah, I hope you're doing okay, bud. Yes. I hope that's going okay. Alright, so, like, yeah, you guys know Kratosis. I defended him a couple of times. Um, he He's a he's an analysis channel. He likes covering Bethesda stuff. He covers a lot of writers, too, and some YouTubers here and there. Um, now he's defending Hill vs. Babyface in this video of his. Look at this. 786 likes and 14 dislikes. How? <laughs> I don't I don't know about that one. I don't really get it. I mean you you I get on some level you can call me biased towards the act cuz I am a fan of him. But like that's not really the reason I'm siding with him in this situation cuz clearly if you look at my channel I can very easily criticize Actman. I don't always agree with him. But this situation just seems so like it seems like sh such cheerleader dr levels of drama like high school cheerleaders. It's like it's so petty. It and that, that, most like, of the, main the pettiness comes from heel versus baby face too. That's what I mean, though. Like for the most part, I'm siding with Ackman because he's the only one that's like being cordial about trying to settle things. And even if he did make a video on heels, it's like that goes both ways. You've both made videos; you could have just settled it by now. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. What do you think? Yeah, All I right. think he's good. You should All screen right. share for me and the VC. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll do that. Yes. All right, now I'm screen sharing. Without further ado, let's get right back into the autism. Hooray! There's been a bit of a back and forth between Act Man and Ads from Heel vs. Babyface, and I was fine mostly leaving a situation alone or only commenting on Twitter. But Act Man released a video on Twitter which I found to be extremely disingenuous. I don't normally cover drama, but this video was so bad I felt compelled to respond. Az has also done his own video on the situation, which I recommend, but I still wanted to talk about- Heel's video too. I have it pulled up right here. It's awful. Um, it's cope. <laughs> that's nothing what- that's nothing but cope. This I, I never fully got into Heel's video, but um, I'm probably when you sent it to too. me- when you sent it to me and said it was 40-something minutes long. Yeah, it'd be a good way for me to freshen up because I kind of want to do a video on this nonsense. I know there was other stuff I planned to do videos on months ago, but if anything, this is going to get me back into the drive to do that crap, so. Yeah. Because I found this video so distasteful and disingenuous. Actman somehow manages to misunderstand pretty much everything, including what he did wrong, and what as his issue is, and tries to paint Az as a thin-skinned hypocrite, as well as continually insulting him while at the same time trying to force him to have a discussion with him. Act there was no force behind having a discussion. Az was interested at one point, then he refused because Actman got his video out, but Actman was still cordial enough to offer him the discussion. But Heel vs. Babyface was being petty enough not to do it because of the video, which is nothing. It should Act be nothing was to even, him. Like... I'll I'll let I'll let the video play before I really get into it because Kratos just brings up something that he says Actman leaves out, and it real that's the part that really annoyed me. Man also releases private DMs with Mauler, which is a shitty thing to do, and it only makes Actman look worse for actually doing this. I mean, yeah, we're not even gonna sugarcoat it. Leaking Mauler's DMs was a bad move. He apologized for it. Like, yeah, you can't you can't argue with that. He didn't have permission. It was fucked up to do that. That's, I, like, the only thing I agree with. I personally don't know how much I can speak on it, because, I mean, anybody that knows my channel, yeah, I leaked the fucking VC with Tomboy. But I think Tommy C, when... Because where Actman apologized was on Tommy C, at Tommy C's live stream, 
and uh, they were talking about it, him and Actman. And Tommy C had a good point of like, I'll respect your privacy, but if like what you're saying in public isn't matching what you said in private or something like that, like basically if you're lying or twisting things, then then fuck you. Like that shit can go public. I don't care. And that's basically what my attitude was with Tomboy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But worse yet, these DMs don't prove what Actman seemingly thinks they do. Not only do they completely vindicate ads, but they also confirm things that can only be guessed at or speculated on without them. Okay, so the DMs vindicate as how? How do they vindicate him? The the DMs were between him and Mauler, so I don't know how they vindicate as because Actman the the main from what I understand, the main issue is as got angie because actman uploaded his video after he said he would have a discussion about things very but, stupid by the way but actman was even clear about it in his dms at least with mauler that he had already spent a lot of work on the video and also, in the video he made on twitter he was very clear about the fact that he tried to make sure the video didn't just focus on as so he wasn't going to just pull it down or like not upload it after all the work he put in go ahead near also, if I recall from what I've watched from Hill vs. Babyface's video, I think at one point while he's watching Actman's video on Twitter, he says something along the lines of like, I think Mahler contacted him or it's the other way around. I don't know which way, but Mahler, I think Mahler contacted Az and let him know that Actman was dropping a video. Um, I think... What was I going to say? I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I, I was, can't read your mind, honey. <laughs> I, 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 I fucking lost my train of thought. Um, Silly boy. Yeah, you were, you were saying something about him getting angry about him releasing his video. And I think, yes. I think he knew beforehand because I, I, I think he said somewhere that Mahler reached out to I was him talk, about it. I was talking about how Actman had his DMs with Mahler and how he said he wasn't going to just pull the video because he had already put a bunch of work into it and made sure it wasn't just focusing on as. So he already knew beforehand, this was back, like, this was before he uploaded the video, because he was talking about not wanting to, like, pull it, and he was telling this to Mahler back when he was trying to get a conversation with as. So I don't know where you were going, but that was my point. I don't know where I was going either. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was pointing that out, and I was leading it to something else, and then I just fucking forgot. Oh, you silly. Let's just continue then. So a bit of a backstory, as did a Starfield rant. A gay Brazilian posted it to Twitter, and the clip went viral. And Actman made his tweets. Tweets that don't attack his argument, but attack his oh, appearance. Oh no, Danny mind reset you. her router twice but now. I hope it gets better, honey. I know, I do too. She's fighting the secret boss. Oh my. Anyways. There was an attempt by Ackman to reach out to Az for a discussion through Mahler, which Az was open to, until Ackman released his video which ships on Az. This timeline of events is important because it clearly explains why Az didn't want to talk. I didn't think it would hurt his feelings, honestly. He seemed like the type of guy who could take criticism, roll with the punches, and, and laugh at himself a bit. I respected that. As he made a couple videos on the subject, I hope he understands. We're content creators. We make videos. We're both involved in this. I don't have any problems with him making videos about it. So I expect the same courtesy. I, I expect the understanding that we can critique each other on videos and come together and actually talk to each other like real people. He seems strong-willed though, so hopefully it doesn't bother him much. Big fucking miscalculation on so my right, part. Right there, he jumped over a bunch of what Actman read because he only read the bottom part of that message. The early part of that message, I believe... Uh, that, yeah, that being said, I put many hours into this latest video, and I can't just pull it, you know? So, like, he's literally saying, this is before the video was uploaded, and he's trying to have a conversation with Az. They still could have had the conversation. It's not like Ackman just uploaded the video, like, Kretos, like, just... Kretosis is gonna make a claim that Ackman skimmed over the fact, and it really pisses me off, because he just cut over Ackman talking about it. Yeah. Bother him much. Big fucking miscalculation on my part. Cause it did. This is Actman trying to paint it as though Az is thin-skinned, 
that he can dish it out, but he can't take it. But remember, as was willing to talk after Actman's initial tweets insulting him. Actman could also have just removed as part in the video. YouTube even allows you to remove parts of the video after you've uploaded them. Here's my take on that. I don't think he'll, even with his personality, I know his personality, right? He's very stern and he's very confident in a lot of shit, right? A video should not matter to him if someone wants to have a discussion with him to like further clarify his standpoint. Shmi. Psyche. Hello. 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 Hi. Are you there? I am here, yes. Could you not hear me? I couldn't hear you and your stream lagged for me. I didn't know if it was my end or you. I don't know either. Okay. I mean, I I never checked the bitrate, but the bitrate seems fine right now. Um, What I was saying, I was replying to uh, Xander in the chat. Uh, he said, Actman could also have just removed as his part in the video. YouTube even allows you to remove parts of the video after you've uploaded them. And I was saying that my take on it is that knowing heel versus babyface and his personality and what he does on YouTube, um, it shouldn't really matter to him when he was offered a discussion multiple times. It's also stupid wanting to remove a part of the video like that. Like, I don't... I don't... I, if you're willing to upload yourself, you would have to be willing to have someone else make a video about you whether or not you agree with it. Just because you think it's a poor image or whatever the fuck. Like, it's kind of a constant risk that any of us take making videos. Exactly. And plus, um, actually, no, you know, I'm, I'm going to save that point I was, for later. I'm, I'm just going to say this now. It kind of gives me the same vibe as like when fucking um, Trump or like any president or anybody, or really any world leader when they get pissed off about memes being made about them. It's, it's just like, it's going to happen to your public figure. <laughs> like, Ultimate Agent, explain to me what was out of context from Actman's video. It just makes Az look like, exactly, he's a fucking pussy. He even admits to it in his video, which we'll go over after the Kretosis one. I sound tired? No. Um, I'm a little high. I'm also a bit distracted because there's commotion going on in my house. Yeah. I've spoken with Az, and he said he is happy to have a private chat with us. The idea of no audience and just us to figure out the miscommunications, differences in a call will hopefully have some good outcomes. Az agreed to speak in private after the original insults towards him, but before the video went up. How did this whole drama start? What was Actman's video about? This is the whole Star Starfield discourse with heel versus babyface, Krillix. This is crucial, and Actman seems to skim past this vital detail. What changed is that Actman released this video, in which he misrepresents as, and this is the key issue here. This is why I say Actman lacks integrity in the title of this video. He never explains how heel versus babyface is misrepresented because he, he says that a lot in this video. Like, he no, never explained how. But he also says that Actman skims over this, but he didn't. Actman talks about how he was willing to talk to Az before he uploaded the video and how he just didn't want to pull the video because he had already put a bunch of work into it. And he also explained how he made sure Az wasn't the only focus of the video as a result. All of that culminated, I don't think that's a good reason to complain about one video being uploaded where you're a part of it. And nor nor did Ackman skim over that at all. Like, I just, I really, that part really fucking annoys me. It's communication. Because Kratos just cuts it. It's communication and love for each other, even though we don't agree with each other either. It's just a regular relationship, in my opinion. Exactly. And that's, this is, this is drama, apparently. It's like a normal conversation between friends, and this is somehow a drama. I mean, I, I still don't agree with the DMs between Actman and Mahler being leaked, but, like, that's what it boils, really boils down to, is that a fucking... It was like a friendly conversation about it. They just disagree with each other. Actman knows that what is said in his video isn't accurate. He knows it's a misrepresentation. The whole point of having this discussion- Ultimate Agent, I'm just gonna say to you right now, it is not outside the realm of possibility to talk smack to someone publicly and want peace at the same time. YouTubers do it all the time, dude. The question with Az was to better understand his position and to get context. 
I think there's too much bad blood at this point. He doesn't believe you made those tweets in the interest of understanding the situation, but rather for engagement. He's not interested, and I don't think he will be convinced otherwise. He felt very supportive of you and a lot of what you had to go through, like the demonetization. So obviously this has created a very sour impression. Understandable. Then let's talk in private, just the three of us. Private conversation, not about content. Let's just try to understand each other. I made those tweets because I didn't understand what he was saying. But then he releases the video anyways, without knowing that context and without understanding as his position, and excuses it because the video is already done, and it takes a lot of work to make a video. It's only he's gotten a fever and I think has the flu right now, so might need like a week before setting this up. Do you want to let me know what kind of availability you have? Sounds good. Let him know that I do have a video about Starfield hot takes going up. It's a bit late for me to unpull the trigger and it is mostly for content purposes. As he made a couple videos on this subject, I hope he understands. So at this point you might be asking the question, well if you are trying to mend the bridge, why did you post the video? There's a few reasons. Number one, this Twitter exchange took place over a week and I had no indication un until I finished the video that Az was down to talk to me. This is pretty bad timing. I just spent 30, 35, 40 hours on a video. What am I going to do? Just scrap it? This yes, is not making skimming videos can over take a the lot. <laughs> I'd like to point out earlier, Gratuitous said that Actman skimmed over this. This is very much not skimming over this. No, it's not. This is going into a lot of detail of why he put the video up. Yeah, no. That, how did he skim over it? I don't... Again, he uh, he says something and doesn't elaborate on it. That's the problem with this video. Uh, ma big major problem on this video is that he doesn't elaborate on anything. ...out of work. But that doesn't justify releasing known misinformation to your massive fan base. What known misinformation was there, Kree? You never specified what was the misinformation. He says or, it's no uh, mis misinformation. What I know from Heels' video is that he bitched about Starfield and then Ackman probably... I, I don't... I'm gonna be real, I watched that video, I barely remember Ackman's video on it because it's just him pointing out some funny shit on the internet. I don't remember it fucking all the time. It's just dumb shit. I guarantee you if I went back and looked at it, it would not be that harmful. What about the... How, how are the pronouns out of context? That was part of his rant. There was the pronouns, pronouns, there was the gender ambiguity, there was the current day Californian shit, and basically saying Starfield's woke because of the inclusivity for the sake of inclusivity. Everybody that talked about it was just making fun of him for the fucking pronouns rant, um, Ultimate Agent. Like, I, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what his actual arguments were about liking Starfield or not. Most people didn't. And that's not taking him out of context. Because we weren't really trying to. I, like, no one was really trying to address him with a level of actual critique because of his opinions on Starfield. We just thought that his fucking unhinged rant about pronouns was just that, a funny unhinged rant, and everybody wanted to laugh at it. There's no missing context when you just want to laugh at a funny moment. Yeah, no. He was all about bad Starfield takes, and Actman viewed that rant as something to laugh at. I mean, not really that deep. At the end of the day, that's still a bad Starfield take. No one really cares if Az hates fucking Starfield or why, but if you're gonna have that level of a, just an unhinged rant. No, Ultimate Agent. Actman does not know that it's out of context. He he doesn't understand what Heel vs. Babyface is trying to say. He just thinks it's an unhinged rant. There's a difference between not knowing what they're trying to say and then saying something is out of context. Yeah, Actman straight up even says in that video that he doesn't even know what the fuck his actual arguments are because he's just screaming like, I do remember that part. I remember that part, and I vaguely remember some of the shit about the fucking, um, gender amb ambiguity shit. I'd have to go back and watch Ackman's video on it, though, because it's legit. So much of it was just in one ear and out the other at this point. Yeah, Danny, thank you for adding onto the rev shit. We already went over it, baby, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank yeah, you for we, your input. We have, um... I did kind of say the same shit at one point. You read off my message, too. I don't remember what it was verbatim, but I was like... It was it was when I said he's trying to Uno-reverse that shit. Yeah. Yes, we already did cover Rev, Krillix. Yeah. Thus causing people to believe falsehoods about Az, and make the shit he's getting from this controversy even worse. The reason Az backed out of the discussion is not because he's thin-skinned, 
or couldn't take being made fun of. Or I mean, it really comes across as that way when you're offered a discussion multiple times, even after the video being out, and you still refuse to clarify anything. I mean, hell, if, if the video being uploaded was that much of a big deal to him, they could have asked to wait to upload it to at least have a discussion to see if there was anything they could have came to a conclusion on beforehand. Since Heels seems to think this is such a big deal just because of the video and the fact that they can't just have a different, like, a difference in opinion and still, like, have a peaceful resolution. They could have did that. He didn't ask anybody to do that. He didn't ask Mahler to ask him to do that. Anything of a sort. It's because what Axeman did was duplicitous. He was trying to shake Az's hand with his- If you guys don't know what smart words mean, like duplicitous, apparently what Actman did is deceitful. He's just a conniving little schemer, and that's why he uploaded the video. That's a big reach. No, it would- It would be deceitful if he didn't elaborate to anybody that he had almost finished the video and still wanted to upload it with the amount of work he had put in it, but still wanted to end the drama. There was no drama to be had. He was laughing at funny shit on the internet. If that counts as fucking drama, then this whole situation is just fucking literally high school cheerleader drama. Exactly. And like, it being deceitful, but, just uploading a video. Most of the time when someone uploads a video on somebody, which in this case, it wasn't entirely on as, even if someone uploads a video on somebody, like shit talking their takes, it's not outside of the realm of possibility to have a to have a civil discussion afterwards. They're acting like that's not possible. No, Actman's not being deceitful by trying to say that he wanted to still have a civil discussion with him. I mean, for Christ's sakes, he even brings up a point in his own video that he posted at Twitter about how Tommy C, someone he had massive beef with during his drama when he was having issues with his channel during the whole quantum thing, that they still came to a resolution. It's like, yeah. and there's nothing deceitful about it because Ackman was very clear to Mahler in the DMs and in this video about why, like, what state he was with the, with the video and why he still wanted to upload it. And that doesn't mean he couldn't have just had a chill discussion and ended things with that, whether it was on a stream or in private. Exactly. Dude, Tommy C having an interview with Actman after the whole quantum drama is insane, dude. <laughs> like, Tommy C was the guy that did that joke video with J Station in it, even though J Station's banned, and Actman didn't really like that. It's crazy yeah. to think now that it'd come back full circle with them having an interview. It's yeah, <laughs> it's wholesome, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's nice to see that they're on good terms, at least. That it's not just, again, perpetuating stupid drama. Yeah. Also, in regards to what Ultimate Agent said in the chat, um... Like, he's addressing our Storm, but he said, like, in regards to you saying that uh, all of Twitter was trying to cancel as, I don't agree with that. Like, I think that's stupid. No, I think it's I th a dumb thing to try and cancel somebody over. He was just having no. a fucking childish rant, and it was funny. That's literally all it was, in my opinion. I also ran across the exact opposite of canceling as. For the most part on Twitter, I've seen people like, actually agreeing with as. Like, I've never seen anybody try to cancel as over this shit. I don't think it's worth canceling him over it. I just think it's, we, most people think it's just funny shit that he gets clowned on for. Yeah. I don't think it's worth canceling him for over, either. Like, it's, it's pretty stupid shit. Right. While well, using his left to tar and feather him, he was asking for a civil conversation in private, while actively shitting on him in public with known falsehoods, and in such a way that- What known falsehoods? You're not elaborating on what these falsehoods are. You keep hammering it in like, oh, he's being deceitful. He's spreading misinformation. He's he, he he's wrong about what about it? What is misinformation? What is he saying that's blatantly wrong? I want to make another point. Retosis is not shy of making hour long fucking criticisms of things and going very beyond in depth, like reading arguably too far in between the lines sometimes. So when it comes to him not elaborating on any of these points, he really could have played Actman's own video to like bring up the quote like fucking falsehoods and shit that he's talking about here. I would really like to know because I know Kratosis is very capable of going in depth on things and he doesn't. No, hundred percent at all. I feel like this was a knee jerk reaction. Now that I think about it, I'm getting the same vibe. I mean, like I I got that when he said. 
To be fair, like I said, I didn't make it this far in the video on my own. I only got it to about three minutes, like I said, but it felt very just reactionary to begin with when I got to the point of him claiming that Ackman was glossing over things that he didn't gloss over. Yeah. It does you gotta really... go. Okay, see you, see you, Ultimate Agent. Bye bye. Um, yeah, I I get like a fucking brother near thunderstruck drama where this video feels like a fucking knee jerk, a knee jerk reaction. This is what it feels like because um, we act- we all know for critique, we all know Kratos is for his fucking hour long, two hour long, three hour long videos about video games, right? And drama, but he doesn't do it here, and because he doesn't do it, it feels like. He's saying sick. He's saying stuff for the sake of saying stuff and not explaining how, you know. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant by it's just reactionary. The fact that it's such a short video without him elaborating on much of anything, he's just kind of explaining his perspective without giving any of like the. Uh, it's like giving the answer without how he got to it, kind of thing. He's done. He's also had receipts on shorter videos like this, too. I don't understand why he doesn't show receipts of those either. Yeah, I mean, he did own his video with you and uh, Vincent Martin and shit. He was able to show a lot more there. Exactly. So how come he doesn't do it here? I think he's talking about posting the vid without talking to Az. Well, he was trying to talk to Az, and he told Mahler why he was still trying to post the video. And he probably, if Az had two fucking brain cells, could have asked Mahler to ask him to postpone uploading the video so they could have a discussion. But no one decided to have a fucking brain cell. Yeah, literally nobody did. Like, again... The video by itself should not mean anything if, at the end of the day, they were going to have a, a discussion to settle everything and have a, have a discussion about their differing opinions and squash the beef. But no, because Axeman, <laughs> because he had a video out and scheduled, that, that breaks the deal, I guess. It, it, it's, I mean, it's very fucking stupid, dude. I'd be, willing, I'd be willing to talk to many a people to just settle a lot of shit. Like, they, like I I just I don't I don't get the mentality here because even Kratosis like when he was dealing with his situation with Griffin, it was very easily just settled. I mean, not even talking to Griffin because he we had our fucking you like our discussion with him that you uploaded, and that for the most part made it public enough to like settle things. Yeah, and I just even even so, it's just like all you need to do is just have a fucking clarification, like as you don't have to like act man. You don't have to agree with Actman. You don't have to like his video on you. But just having a clarification can mean the fucking world of things and not perpetuating stupid petty shit like this. I mean, how do you think fucking we became friends with Krillix? To be fair. Also, YouTube 200 character limit on live stream chats annoying. Well, luckily for you, if you give me money, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> Don't give me money. <laughs> give me money, though. I need it. Let me go set up membership real quick, and you guys can go be a member. <laughs> Become member today. You member? A psychoatic thoroughly member? Brother Neil we had an amazing drama, Krillix. It was so good. It was so good, some retard tried reviving it for part two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> It was going to bring more heat on ads from people. Why the hell would anyone want to have a discussion with you after that? Az's reaction is nothing less than reasonable and understandable here. No, it's not. It is not a reasonable reaction or statement. That's just no. pussy shit. I don't think it's reasonable to not want to have a conversation with Ackman just because he uploaded the video. I think that's petty. I think that's petty and childish, which to be fair, I, I very much thought Az was petty and childish given his initial rant on pronouns. Which, if you want to say I saw out of context, Kratos says, no, I, I, we saw the whole rant when it was uploaded. Before anybody... No, we, were, you know. we were all gathered up in a VC at one point, watching the entire rant from Az, and we still thought it was fucking stupid. I would have made a video on it, too, had I not been in one of my fucking ruts. Exactly, Xander. Ackman also tries to portray Az as a hypocrite in a really obnoxious way. So here's what Az says. We had an opportunity- That is a great example, Sergi. And a waifu. We made videos on her. We're still friends with her now. Well, not still, yeah. but 
we became friends after we shit talked her, right? A lot of people shit talked Anna Waifu. We still had a discussion. Now we're friends. So, like, once again, I have to hammer it in because of this situation, which is very fucking stupid. It is not outside of the realm of possibility for a video on YouTube to be put out there and have a discussion at the same time. It is not outside the realm of possibility to do that. I mean, I don't know if you ever really talked about this publicly whatsoever at this point, but, um, like, you and Vincent Martin even DM'd each other at some point, and yeah, we're we just kind of chill. Yeah, Vincent Martin's kind of chill now, because we started having a discussion. I mean, I even saw him fucking comment on something from you or some shit on Twitter. I can't remember now, but, but like, he was actually just being chill. Yeah, I know. Shout out to Anna Waifu for, for settling the beef with me and Vincent Martin. <laughs> In, inadvertently, actually, she her, her fucking tactic worked, because she just... She said he wanted to talk to us, but he actually didn't. And we tried to have a conversation with him, and then Nier and him just DM'd a bit. We were, like, him, Nier and I were gonna originally have a VC with him, but it didn't happen. But they just kind of DM'd each other, and he's just chill now. He's very fucking chill, actually. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat anything about Vincent Martin from how much I've talked to him. He's a bit weird. He has his own, like unique sense of humor i guess he's he's just a bit of we a bit weird about it but he's pretty chill when you actually talk to him yeah after after we after the whole th situation where you talk to him i don't see nearly as much like malice behind him as i used to i still think he's a little weird and shit but yeah <laughs> stop <laughs> trying to ruin no. my rap no i will, ru I will ruin your, your life <laughs> <laughs> i will ruin vincent martin's life <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I will I will say, I don't think you're nearly as malicious or anything as previously perceived. I still yeah, think I you're a little retarded, but I could say that about a lot of people I hang out with, for fuck's sake. So I mean, fuck's sake, we have Road Breach in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have Road Breach in here, we have Krillix. <laughs> say that about you sometimes, say that about me sometimes. <laughs> uh, don't really matter. Yeah, dude. Fucking crazy how this ended up. Yeah. We me, harbinge me, me, I'm the retard. <laughs> yes, we, Danny, you we harbinge. We harbinge a bunch of retards. <laughs> we're, we're we are the lot. retard autistic cult. Yep. Lost interest when you were talking out of both sides of your mouth. One side saying you wanted to talk, and we were trying to arrange a time. The other side making more videos, shitting on me for views as you were just another content engagement farmer. You showed me who you were, someone not worth the time of day. Okay. This is this kind of upsets me, because content engagement farmer. Meanwhile. Yesterday, you made a 13-minute video based off of two tweets I made. Who's yeah, farming? that part also gets what me. What I don't... Yeah. <laughs> like, it's hypocrisy. Like, he's... Literally, but... Kratosis seems to think that that's just Actman painting Az as a hypocrite, even though Az is pissed off that they... Actman made a video on him and doesn't want to sell things in discussion, but then will continue to make petty videos on him. If you want to just end it, just end it. But that's not ending it. That's being a little also, bitch. Also, that's not the only video either. He's made, like, what, five videos on Act Man now? I don't know. I know there was at least two or three at one point. There's, like, I, I think, there's like I think five. that was a few days ago. I think there was, it was sometime, like, it was, like, the day of Act Man making that tweet or whatever. I knew there was at least two or three that he had. Yeah, no, that's the most ironic shit. Him calling Act Man a fucking engagement farmer. Like, he has, like, five video. Let's look at his channel real quick. I have his channel pulled up. How many videos does he have on fucking Act Man, dude? Like, talking shit about him. I'm pretty sure there was, like, five. So there's one. There's one. There's two. Um, and then there's, like, the other one where he was talking about the Twitter discourse. Where is that at? I do not know. It's this one right here. This, in this includes Act Man. Um... There's also this. I don't know if this has Act Man in it. Um, he has at least like three videos on Act Man. That's far worse. And also live streams too. That's far worse than what Act Man did with this one fucking video about Starfield. And then the Twitter post. Yes. God forbid the Twitter post explaining his side of the story. Which the only real bad thing he did was Mahler's DMs being leaked. No, that's literally the only thing. 
That's the only thing we disagree with. Get is why you're continuing to fan the flames and farm me for content if that's what you're calling me out for doing. I'd be down for exactly. a private chat. Yeah, exactly. Come back from my trip. Yo, yo, any updates? I think after the new video, he's absolutely not interested, and that's putting it nicely. Sorry, dude. I think you were both stand-up guys, but some things just don't work out. So this is how I start to get the impression that Az just wanted a one-sided shit-slinging contest. He wanted to be the one to be able to make videos. And as I've been showing you, he's ducking every opportunity to actually confront and talk to me directly. Why though? I don't understand. He made his videos and I made one. So what's yeah, the I would, deal? I, Again, I, I don't yeah, know. I'd like to make a point there too, because as might not have made a video about Actman directly, but he made his videos slinging his own shit, throwing his temper tantrum quite literally in his video. But the second anyone like Actman makes his own video on him, suddenly that warrants no discussion. So. I know. I'm allowed to have a little fucking, you know, literally a child's tantrum on the internet, but you can't say anything to me about it or else you're, not even just you're a, the asshole. Not even just a child rant either about the fucking pronouns and shit in Starfield, but also follow it up with a cope video about everybody talking about you. And then this shit, this drama right here. But, you know, Actman is somehow evil or the asshole for just making a video where, like, part of it is about as. Not even the whole thing. And yeah, it's not even that much. big of a video. I mean, compared to some of his bigger videos on his channel. I don't want to press and make either of you uncomfortable or anything, but I'm genuinely confused. I'm fine with his videos about me being up. I didn't think he was the type of guy to let stuff like that bother him too much. Miscalculation. Miscalculation on- What's up, Nick Schwab? On my part. Rules for thee, but not for me. I get to talk shit. You can't- you can't make content about this act, man. No, no, no. Only I get to. Wait, literally. What he does here is incredibly dishonest, and it's part of the reason I have such a big issue with this video. Oh, so yes, as did mention Actman in his videos. His videos that were released prior to agreeing to the discussion. There is nothing underhanded about taking shots back at someone who has taken shots at you if you're not actively trying to have a civil conversation. Actman conveniently omits this fact. Actman takes issue with Az's claim the Actman is a content engagement farmer. Okay, pause. Act Actman omits that fact. I don't think Actman really knew that in context. He's trying to talk to this man to come to a conclusion, and all he sees is as making his videos. So, of course, Actman's going to think, well, I should be able to make mine then. That's fair game. Anyone yeah. would think that in that situation. Just put yourself in his shoes for five minutes, Kratosis. Like, not even. Yeah, I know exactly. I don't I don't think that's disingenuous to think that in that situation when it's unfolding at the time, you would think, oh, well he's uploading his videos. I guess whether or not he wants to talk, I guess I can upload mine then. I would have the same train of thought. I mean, this isn't even me trying to white knight Ragman. This is me just saying I would have had the exact same train of thought. Personally. Yeah, I would have too. If there was if there was the kind of situation i found myself in um also fucking him making the video prior to having that discussion it's again it's not outside the realm of possibility to do both you can do both and everything you know, could be just fine really whether or not as agreed to have the discussion or not doesn't really matter at that point because you could like near just say you could do both still you could still have a civil conversation after the fact you don't have to be a petty teenager cheerleader drama about it this, again, is a reasonable take from Az when you're trying to have a <laughs> the dick writing's real. civil conversation with him in private. He don't like Starfield, I don't like Starfield. Fuck, we have so much in common, Az. Let's fuck. You don't like Why Starfield, you I don't like Starfield. Suck. Video when trying to have a discussion besides for the sake of content. Ackman again tries to make Az look like a hypocrite. By Az does the same thing, bro. That's exactly why Actman calls him a hypocrite, because as does the same thing. I would also like to add that whether, again, whether or not he agreed to the discussion is irrelevant, because the point I brought up earlier, too, like, as made his videos on Starfield, God fucking forbid you make a video on him, though. Oh, Lordy Lou, that's terrible. That's awful. Just because Actman made a tweet making fun of him in, the, in his video before he tried to have a fucking conversation to settle his ass down, because apparently he was throwing a temper tantrum over the tweets and shit. And then he's uploading his videos about it. Of course, Actman's gonna want to make his own video about it. Like, who the fuck wouldn't? That doesn't mean you can't talk it out either. But 
what else do you expect? You're making a video on the internet, especially when you're fucking throwing your goddamn voice out. Like, shit, dude. Pointing out Az made a video about Act Men in the past week due to the Sweet Baby Inc. controversy. This is- this kind of upsets me because Content Engagement Farmer, meanwhile, yesterday you made a 13-minute video based off of two tweets I made. Who's farming? Again, and as has made this clear, the issue was releasing a video shitting on him while trying to have a discussion with him. We had an opportunity to speak, I lost in- Such a low bar for calling somebody out too. Like, oh no, they made a video while simultaneously wanting to have a discussion? Who gives a fuck? It's a video, dude. That, that's not deceitful in the slightest. Like I said, especially given the context with the train of thought, like, the tweet made, Ackman's making his video, as makes his videos about the tweets, Actman's trying to reach out and have a civil discussion about it and sees the videos, and it's like, well, I guess I can upload my video, whether or not we have the discussion, because clearly he made his, so I should be able to make mine. Whether or not he agreed or even knew about him trying to reach out for the discussion is irrelevant, because clearly as sought it fit to make his own videos on the drama without having a discussion. So why the fuck does that make Ackman deceitful for trying to have a discussion while also making his video on the situation? Exactly. If anything, he's just covering it. He is partially, in a way, a commentary channel. He mostly does reviews and shit, but he does dabble in commentary a lot. Yeah. He even shows up on some Twitter, like, Twitter speed? Twi <laughs> what are they called? I mean, fuck I mean, for fuck's sake, he was involved with the whole quantum drama. He was with Kim Josh Un and shit, for fuck's sake. That point. Like, he's partially involved with the community, at the very least. Yeah, he was, he was on, like, Twitter spaces... With, like, Kamestar and Mudahar and shit. He, he's definitely part of commentary, dude. Like, he mostly does reviews, but he also does commentary shit. Interest when you were talking out of both sides of your mouth, one side saying you wanted to talk and we were trying to arrange a time, the other side making more videos shitting on me for views as you were just another content engagement for More videos. You mean the one video he made at the time, meanwhile, you had already made your initial video being a child throwing a tantrum and then your video is about his tweets. That's disingenuous, the Kratosis. That's painting a picture. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, Actman was on EFAP. Forgot you showed me who you were, someone not worth the time of day. I have to repeat this point a lot because it's the key issue here that Actman is seemingly ignoring to make Az look thin-skinned, unreasonable, and now a hypocrite. Az never said that you can't make a video on him or anything. But the fact he made a video in the first place is the reason why this drama began. Or came back yeah. full circle. Like, it's not about what Az said. It's not about Az dictating if he can make a video or not with his words. It's about his actions clearly stating that he's offended at the video, so now we can't have a conversation. He didn't yeah, outright state you can't make video. No, he didn't. Also, yeah, I, I know that's probably why uh, Mollard was the mediator, because him and Az were both on EFAP. At some point. Um, still fucking stupid to argue this, though. Fucking... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. I, mm, I don't... I just, for the most part, I think this is all just really stupid this drama. This is backwards. Uh, yeah, I... Most of the trying shit to, fucking... Trying to put my fucking thoughts into words, it's hard. Most of the shit that Kratosis is criticizing Actman for is so backwards, and could easily be applied to Az. Yeah, and in some event kind of makes Kratosis look stupid or hypocritical. I mean, this doesn't have much to do with the drama, I don't want to make too much of like an ad hominem effect here, but like, he does also follow Flamenco. So, Flamenco, the guy that says allegations are evidence. <laughs> I don't want to just sit here and say like that discredits Kratosis entirely, but that that that's not a good look. Sussy, that's not a good look, is what I'm saying. Yeah. What did Rev say? Was it the N word? No, he's a pedophile. Thing of a Was sword. it the mm? is the very specific <laughs> context of being friendly behind the scenes, wanting to work things out, squash the beef, as you put it, and find out context while at the same time doing a video on him, knowing that what's in there is false, that it misrepresents him, that you're lacking context, 
that's going to make him look bad to a lot of people and bring heat on him for stuff that by your own admission in these DMs is inaccurate due to lacking that context and understanding. No, Axeman didn't say that. What he said about Az is inaccurate. It's just he doesn't understand what Az was trying to say at all with his rant. He just wanted to take the piss out of him. Yeah, it's not really a disingenuous thing. I mean, you don't have to like it. I don't give a fuck if you like it. Just the same thing with Az. It's the same thing with him. You know what? I don't give a fuck if you like it. You don't have to. But it's really stupid that that's the end-all be-all for why that means he's being a deceitful bitch and doesn't want to have a discussion with you. Or is being two-faced and wanting to have a discussion with you, I should say. Standing. With as this video where oh no, a YouTuber vindicated. making a video, aka their job, womp womp, and the news disguise, but <laughs> yes, Krillix. <laughs> it's like, it's literally his job, and it was one of, if not the dumbest take on Starfield at the time. I think everybody can agree to that. We were all laughing at it. Even me, who wasn't doing videos at the time, I was like, oh, damn, I should have done a video on that. Because it was fucking stupid. No, literally everybody was laughing at the rant, because it was so stupid. But then, like, this shit pops up and everyone's switching sides. Yeah, suddenly, as is fucking, like, you know, we all have to white knight for him. He's a victim of commentary now, I guess. Because evil commentary YouTubers and their two faced wanting to content farm mentality. I don't know. I don't yeah. fucking know. This kind of sounds like Tomboy, you know? Now that I think about it. <laughs> the Ackman situation. It's not the hypocrisy that the act man is desperately trying to paint it out to be, because Az isn't trying to have a friendly conversation behind the scenes to work things out while publicly shitting on you. He's just doing a video about the situation involving you, as you are free to do to him. Well, he wasn't even being two-faced. Like, okay, no, because that's kind of stupid. He's painting it in a, in a way that, like, act man was hiding the fact that he was trying to have a discussion about it while making the whole um, shitting on him public. When Ackman was like, no, I'd, he initially didn't even say they could have a private conversation. He initially just said, like, we could talk about it on a stream or something, I'm pretty sure. And then he was later on like, okay, it doesn't have to be a stream. We could do a private talk if that's like makes him more comfortable or whatever. By the way, even a lot of people in the EFAB community make fun of Az for being completely unhinged several times. I mean, that's, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I mean... Are you talking about, like, the actual people behind EFAP, or just, like, the community members? Oh, um, the... Regard well, we're, we're, uh, regardless, that's that's irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. Well, fair, but I was gonna say, didn't you say, like, didn't the message say the EFAP community? That, that would mean, like, you know, most of the community I would take it as. Not, like, the a lot of the people behind it. Maybe some of them, but not, you know, not all of them. Hey, it's irrelevant. Let's just continue. The best part is that Actman himself admits in these DMs that he's leaking, that he released that video instead of waiting, for the sake of content. On the other side, making more videos, shitting on me for views as you are just another content- Oh yeah, the catalyst behind this drama, thank you for pointing it out, Matt, is uh, Actman talking about Sweet Baby Inc. That's what started this entire drama going full circle. Well, that's, that's what, like, brought it back into focus again, because it kind of died off and then- it's just here again, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh... But yeah, no, he's going to say that Actman admits to doing content for him or whatever the fuck, like... Yeah, no, he explicitly said in his full video that he worked on it for a few hours while trying to see if he could have a discussion and wasn't sure if they were going to yet and saw Az make his videos, so he figured it would be fine if he made his. That's not him just doing it for content farming, that's him getting to the end of the work week, basically, and going, well, fuck, do I want to get paid? <laughs> I just saw him get paid. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, that makes him a two-faced bitch somehow. Even though it doesn't. I, gotta, I don't no, get it. literally being a YouTuber at that point. Engagement farmer, you showed me who you were, someone not worth the time of day. Sounds good. Let him know that I do have a video about Starfield hot takes going up. It's a bit late for me to unpull the trigger, and it is mostly for content purposes. He also, it's very important to point out, especially with Actman saying that, is how Actman works on his channel is, like, he has a schedule for when he wants to upload videos. Like, I think he explained it more on his interview with Tommy C, that, like, he has a schedule, and he hopes that he gets, like, four videos in a month. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've just been a fan for him 
fan of him for a while, and I've seen him stream even on Twitch back when his YouTube was suffering from the quantum shit. So I I think I've gotten to know him a fair bit over at least like that shit. It's still parasocial, yeah. It's not like I've really talked to the guy, but like I kind of know how he operates is what I'm trying to say. So like, um, especially when he says um, it's mostly for content purposes, Kritosis, I'm pretty sure, is taking that and twisting it as like, yeah, this is just content farming, you know, like he's being a disingenuous bitch. And that's not really the case because. Is it when really he says being he's disingenuous doing... when he's being straightforward about it? No, that's not really the case because he's literally saying he's doing it for content purposes. And even more so, he's shitting on a fucking funny thing. Like, I gotta hammer this in, I'm repeating myself, but it's something literally everybody was pointing out at the time. Of course, he's going to do it too when he makes. when he's infamous for doing the fucking hot takes videos that he does. He did one with Elden Ring. Of course, he's going to do one with Starfield and shit. Like. That's what he does. You get a guy screaming like that, that doesn't make him disingenuous. He was being completely straightforward about saying, this is for content purposes. And if anything, he was more so saying, it isn't personal. Yeah, no, Which it much. wasn't. It wasn't personal. He straight up, straightforward, told Mahler that it was for content purposes. Nothing about it was personal. He just wanted to shit on the take he had. You just wanted to laugh at something that everybody at the time thought was funny. Quite literally. He chose content over being someone with basic decency. No, he chose to do both. You can do both. That's what Actman was trying to do. And the reason why he couldn't do both is because As actively refused to have the discussion. Well, he had to talk through a third party as made videos on Actman, and then got pissy that Actman made a video on him, even though he was trying to have a discussion with him at the same time. That doesn't tell me that As is being civil at all. No, not at all. It's not at all civil to try and take a dub later on with another video, and then respond to a video that Actman made on Twitter trying to explain his side of the story. I don't think anything As has done at all with this entire drama was civil to begin with. Like... How do people follow this guy? From, from moment one, it wasn't civil, considering the fucking initial rant. How do people agree with him? Screaming like a child. I don't know how I don't people know. agree with him. Like, I don't think anything as has done in this entire drama was civil to begin with. He always, especially with the rant, like you said, with the rant about Starfield, he always seemed like an uncivil man-child. Yeah, ever since the Starfield rant and everything I've seen since, he's just basically been... A massive stuck-up bitch about it. When I make so, videos... I just, I th it's not, I don't know. It doesn't strike me as deceitful at all on Ackman's part. He did what I think most normal people would do in his position. Ask... Oh, fuck. Michael's defense. <laughs> oh, dude, no. Michael fell off. Who, uh? Over because Michael McDoesn't exist in VC was defending as at one point. No, I meant who in chat said what. Krillix. Oh. Oh, ask. I see his message now, okay. For being someone with basic decency. When I make videos, I feel morally obligated to change something if I knew it to be false or untrue, or misrepresent someone or something. Well, you're kind of going against that right now with this video, Kretosis, because you haven't elaborated on anything in this video at all. Wasn't even really falsely misrepresenting fucking as he was literally taking what everybody had as context at the time and thinking was stupid and also saying, hey, look, that's kind of stupid. And then that somehow makes him the disingenuous cunt of the year. I don't get that. I really fucking don't. It, it's nothing. That's a nothing point. And I have done so multiple times to fix such issues anytime they come to my attention. Yeah, so I may get things wrong. Did, I don't know. Would you say this is a dark side of Griffin Gaming moment? Uh. I don't think I'd go well, that far. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's quite that bad. I, th I think I compared it earlier to, like, Thunderstruck's video on me. I, I, I think it was like a knee-jerk reaction. I don't think it's a dark yeah. side of Griffin Gaming moment. I think it's a Thunderstruck knee-jerk well, reaction. Well, yeah, I, I agreed with you that... Or, as if fucking English. I agreed with that with you earlier, because I was basically saying the same thing. I just didn't compare it to Thunderstruck, but I was saying it was very reactionary. It just felt like 
with the lack of elaboration, the how short the video is, and him really only showing just some of the clips from the Twitter video without giving any, like I said, elaboration or showing anything from the actual video act man made to show how he took as out of context, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All this shit. And it just kind of feels like a very, very reactionary, disingenuous way to paint the situation. I wonder if part of the issue is that Kree and Actman are two very different creators, potentially, I guess, because, like, well, Kratos is, follows as heavily and agrees with them a lot. Oh, look at look at him. He he doesn't like Starfield. I don't like Starfield. We have a lot of Suck. comments. Let's fuck. <laughs> Suck. Suck. <laughs> I did it earlier where I don't think it came through on Discord, but I was like, oh, you don't like Starfield? I don't like Starfield. And I just inhaled really hard. <laughs> yup. Suck. I might miss details or information, but if I know for a fact that I'm missing vital context and what I've made is inaccurate, then I cannot release that video in good conscience, and I either fix the issue if it's small enough, or scrap the video outright if the issue is that big. The act man is acting as though he had no choice. He had to release the video, and nothing could stop it. This is an excuse. He could have delayed the video until he had full context. He could have removed the section on as and released the video without that segment. I mean, sure, he could have delayed the video, but at the same time, he's not really obligated to. Because like I said, he can do both. He can have the video out and he can also have the discussion. It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't not... need to ask him to delay it. <laughs> yeah, he, he was never asked to do that either. Because like... I literally... I, I brought this up earlier. Actman could have delayed it, sure. Why didn't As ask him to? Exactly. He could. He could Why have asked. As politely. say, hey, if you want to have a talk, just wait to put out the video. I'm not saying don't yet, but if you want to see if we can settle things civilly and figure me out first, so you can maybe cut me out of the video or improve the section to add some context, you could do that. Yeah, no, but because he didn't really do any of that. Actman's not really obligated to delay it or anything else. He he feels no, the he, need to upload it because he's on a schedule. He absolutely is not. I 100% agree. It's just the fact, like, if Kratosis thinks Actman could have delayed it, if it's that big a deal, as could have asked him to in that week. But literally, with, like I described before, with the whole situation leading up to and his mentality at the time, I would have did the same thing. Like, it's, it's not that fucking hard to, to believe or understand, really. I mean, he's being a YouTuber. That's all there is to it. Apparently, we can't be YouTubers anymore, guys. I'm I'm so sorry, but we we gotta quit our jobs. We got not our jobs. That, for some people, it is, but we gotta quit our hobby now. We gotta quit YouTube. I, I'm deleting my channel right now <laughs> because apparently that's all it takes to get into drama nowadays. Thanks to fucking um, Heel versus Babyface. I'm gone with the milk, though. <laughs> or whatever it is this time. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> and after the conversation, if he still felt the same way as when he made the video, he could have... Why were they incapable of being in contact with each other? Um, Hill vs. Babyface actually explains that in his video. Is that he straight up just wasn't interested in talking to Actman. Just straight up. He, do he did not want to. He, he blatantly admitted that he did not want to have a discussion in the first place until I mean, Mahler was brought in. Okay, yeah, that leads me to a train of thought. I kind of lost this a minute ago, but I was going to say, like, because of his, um, because of, like, how, like, unforthcoming or whatever the fuck, like, I don't really know what the word would be, but, like, literally how, um, fuck, what's the word? Like, he was being very evasive of Actman. Because of how evasive he was being of Actman, it doesn't really, like, Actman's not obligated to, like, be lenient or not upload the video or anything. Like, he was literally being evasive of the guy. He wasn't engaging with him. He wasn't getting back to him. He was talking to a third party. All of that combined with the situation leading up to it. Like, why would Actman be obligated to just not upload his video or whatever the fuck? Yeah, no, God forbid you make a YouTube video. Like, as has several times over with Actman at this point. Bro has or like just four on videos Starfield, on him. or just on anybody talking about him, or anything in general to do with the situation. He just turns into a massive bitch turns into a tomboy really he makes cope videos with this with dramas like this he just makes cope videos that's what this video is too and after the conversation it, if he amazing. still felt the same way as when he made the video 
He could have released that part separately. There's a myriad of options available to him. Anything else is bullshit. Actman Again, he's not obligated to do any of those other options. He's a YouTuber trying to do his job, and he could have done both. He could have uploaded the video then, and he could have also had the discussion. Yeah, Decided. I really just... At the end of the day, this could have went a number of different ways, but literally Az just wanted to sit on his ass and be a fucking child about it and sulk. That's basically it. He wanted to sulk and be a bitch and not talk to anybody and just have it his way. And because decided that's all to be a I piece of really saw from him from moment one with his little rant. Anything else is bullshit. Actman decided to be a piece of shit. Further still, when initially he's trying to set up the shit because he's a piece of shit video. because he made a video, dude. Fuck off. That's a whole. That's horseshit, Kratosis. You the know the video it. was the video. It's not like he slandered him. It's not like he spread complete and utter misinformation about him. It's not like he attacked his personal life. No, he went to a dumb video where he screamed his head off like a fucking child over pronouns in a video game and said, "That's stupid." What are you trying fucking to even say, bro? Fucking pronouns. Fucking gender ambiguity. And fucking it's just, current day Californian shit. That doesn't make him a piece of shit, dude. It's not like what Griffin did to you, Kratos, where he was calling you an outright pedophile and a zoophile because of your fucking avatar. That's being a piece of shit. Okay. This is nothing. We could even we could even dig deeper into that and say he's a hypocrite for saying this because of all of his videos on Vincent Martin. Yeah, I was talking to you about that earlier before stream, to be honest. I was the one that originally brought that up. Like, it kind of kind of makes him seem hypocritical with that shit. Because where was the discussion with Vincent Martin and Kratosis? Sure, there was no actual discussion planned for the videos, before any of the videos. But if Actman is a piece of shit for making a video on somebody, or partially making a video on somebody, that means you're a hypocrite. Because you're also a piece of shit for making tons of videos, hour-long videos on someone like Vincent Martin. I mean, you'd rather never really stop you would them rather from... you you would rather make this video about Vincent Martin that features me in it. Uh, where's the video? Um, where is it? It's the, it's the one my friend knows. Did he unlist it? No way he unlisted the video, dude. Did he actually? I don't see it. Um, it's probably in one of his playlists. Nope. Did he delete the video? Oh shit. I am not sure. He did. Hold on. Unless he just privated or something like that, but yeah. Oh my god. He fucking- <laughs> he deleted the video. The video's not up anymore. Oh fuck, there's Kumo. Hello, Kumo. <laughs> fuck. I mean, <clears throat> the point I was trying to get at, um, he made a video on Vincent Martin. Yes, that was you, Krillix. Uh, he made a video on Vincent Martin that featured Ew. me in it, and, uh, Covering all the drama he went through. He's also made several hour-long videos on Vincent Martin. Um, so by your own logic, fucking Kratosis, if Actman's a piece of shit for making a video partially about Az, that means you're a bigger piece of shit because rather than having an actual discussion with Vincent Martin, you chose to make hour-long videos on him. You can essentially chose the same route Az did to be sit there and sulk and bitch about it. Exactly. And the main reason I would call him a hypocrite for it is not just because, like, he would make long videos about him or anything, but it's also because he would take the opportunities to just shit on him rather than engage with what he's saying or try to address him formally. Which is exactly what he's complaining about <laughs> Actman doing. Discussion with Az. Actman acknowledges that tagging him in a... I don't know if anybody downloaded it. ...public tweet might create more drama. It might create more drama to tag as in a public tweet, and I have no other way to contact him, so I'd like to settle this bad blood if possible. I understand if it puts you in an awkward middleman situation. So you were concerned about creating more drama when trying to reach out for a discussion with him, but you weren't concerned about creating drama when you knowingly released a video that misrepresented him for the sake of content? 
I mean, I understand what he's trying to say, but again, where's the misrepresentation? Yeah, no, it's not misrepresentation from what we've gathered up to this point. No, not really. I don't really agree with what he's saying here, though, because, like, what Ackman's trying to say is if he does reach out more publicly, it's going to make him seem even more attention-hungry than just, like, even doing the video is... Yeah, no, he wasn't like, saying that to the video, either. Trying to reach out to him privately is better than trying to reach out to him publicly. And, of course, Ackman's going to be concerned with that, because it's going to make it seem worse. If he tries to do that, no, it's... making it out, making it out like the video is the end all be all for like causing drama is stupid when drama was already there anyway. To be fair, exactly, and Act Man was just going to be covering it and calling it funny because that's what he did. Yeah, no, calling it funny is all there is really to it. Is that he just wanted to laugh at him? It's not that big of a deal, and <laughs> that just sealed the deal for fucking as I guess. It's not really that personal either. Like, that was the it whole isn't. point Ackman was trying to make when he said it's just for content reasons. Like, not, oh, yes, I'm uh, so greedy, I'm making my content, I'm an evil YouTuber. No, he's just fucking saying, like, I'm not trying to attack him. This is just exactly. for the video. There's a few things here that stand out to me, too, that I feel says a lot about Ackman's character. When he's told in DMs that As was supportive of him when he was demonetized, Ackman does say that he appreciates that, but then says... What did Griffin say about dating? Well, if she's on the clock, she's ready for- <laughs> Just kidding. Tell him that's why I'm reaching out. I very much appreciate that he was supportive of my situation back then. I will always have a certain level of respect for people that did. Tell him that's why I'm reaching out. So first of all, this is simply not true. At the start of these DMs that Ackman is leaking, he said his Twitch chat were telling him to reach out. So here are the DMs with Mahler. I say, some people in my Twitch chat were telling me I should ask you to set up a discussion with Az and have you be a moderator. What do you think about that? Now he's saying that he's reaching out because As was supportive before. This especially seems disingenuous to me, because if you were aware of As's support before, then why not reach out to him before making the initial tweets That's to get not his what... point? His Twitch chat made him aware. That would be the entire reason why he's reaching out. They're telling him that he was supportive of him, and that he should reach out and set up a discussion. So that's what he said. I don't yeah. see what's so hard to follow there. I didn't, I didn't realize that either. Yeah, that's that's his Twitch chat making him aware of the situation. That's quite literally what Actman's saying. I think Kree's being a little disingenuous. I, I, well, I would like to say that the main reason I'm insinuating this as well is because Actman didn't know this beforehand. He would have no reason to. He didn't know who As fucking was. To be fair, I did commission Mike the Bike to make creeptosis. I sure that pissed Cree off a bit. It, I mean, it did. That that means you can't have a discussion anymore, Vinci Martin. You can't have a discussion with Kreptosis. You made you made a video on him. No, no, would... uh, no discussion. No private discussion for you. I like sure. I. I think that that is like a petty jab or whatever during your guys' whole drama. But I don't think that um, it takes away from the point. Like, because there was a lot that happened before you made that song, one. and Or before you commissioned it, rather. And two, like, there were still many times where he would just take an opportunity to shit on you as well. But then, hi, like, that, the fact you brought up that song is actually pretty good because I kind of forgot about it. Kind of makes him more of a hypocrite because he would make fun of you, but you can't make fun of him. Because he definitely exactly. did not like that song. Also, he pointed out Act Man making fun of his appearance. He would do the same shit with Vincent Martin, too. Like, with his fucking speech impediment. Wait, what? Repeat that? I'm not sure I heard that correctly. So, Kratos has commented on Act Man making fun of Az's appearance, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, he made yeah. fun of I... Vincent Martin's yeah. speech impediment. Yeah, that... Yeah, that's another good point, actually, because I never really thought about that till now. He even there did many it times in our discussion. Where, yeah, there were many times where Kretosis would just outright make fun of how Vincent Martin talks, which, to be fair, I have too, but, like, I'm not really complaining about <laughs> yeah, anybody doing as, this or anything either. I mean, as long as we shit-talk people and remain consistent on that and not bitch about people shit-talking each other, we're fine. Yeah, like, I'm not usually being a hypocrite about that shit. I'm just bringing it up in context right now. Like, it, 
that's just really stupid to complain about in all honesty because I don't I don't even see it as as Act Man attacking uh, as his appearance or anything. He's making a fucking joke. Like literally it's a stupid fucking joke. The view in full context. But more telling to me is the fact that he says, tell him that's why I'm reaching out. My read on this is that he's asking Mueller to lie on his behalf. What? No. What? That's some conspiracy theory bullshit right there, Cree. I literally just explained, like, the chat would have been the ones to explain to Act Man how Az stood up for him during that time and how he should reach out and have a discussion with Az to settle this because he was supportive of him to begin with. Because Actman wouldn't have known any of that beforehand. He didn't even know who As was. And if he's telling Mahler that Twitch chat told him to set up that discussion, they were likely the ones that told him that. Because trust me, I've been in Actman's streams plenty of times. Granted, I wasn't in that one. But I've been in them enough times to know that he loves to listen to his chat when they're telling him a bunch of dumb shit to the point that they'll mislead him in Elden Ring and shit. <laughs> Also, did you guys know that I was I was the one that uh, made Ackman aware of Griffin's video or not video uh, live stream about Call of Duty? No, I was not aware. Yeah, the ending clip in my video on Griffin, where like Ackman's talking about his take, um, I was the one that brought it to his attention. It was pretty funny to see his reaction live. No, I didn't know you were the one that brought it to his attention. I just thought that was just like random, like because. The situation had blown up and shit, and he it just caught wind of it through his chat. I didn't know that was you. Yeah. No, no, it was me. Damn. <laughs> Proud of you. I could be wrong. <laughs> Proud but that's of you, babe. the impression <laughs> I get from this particular exchange. Because he already admitted that's not the reason he's reaching out. But after hearing that as was supposed That's not Oh my god. That's not a contradiction, Cree. Yeah, they don't contradict <laughs> each other. They go, they kind of go hand in hand, in fact, when you think about it for more than two seconds, or rub more than half a brain cell together. Yeah, no, that's not a contradiction. Because we all know that, well, at least I guess I didn't know, because I never knew who Heal vs. Baby was before. But Neither should I. for anyone that did know, like, we all knew that Act Man uh, was associated with Heal vs. Baby at one point, or Heal helped him out from the Quantum TV stuff. Why would, why would this be a contradiction if Axeman already knew who As was? I don't think he knew who As was. Is the thing that's my point. Like Twitch chat would have made him aware of that. Like the point he's or trying to make is that As was supportive of him at the time. He didn't know who As was at the time, oh, but he was one of the many people supporting him, and. Actman wouldn't have known that because he didn't even know who As was before all this. Up to his Twitch chat telling him to reach out to set up a conversation to settle things. That's likely when they also told him that As was supportive of him during the drama. As was supportive, he wants As to think the reason he's reaching out is because of the prior support. Another thing that stands out to me is this part. I think after the new video, he's absolutely not interested, and that's putting it nicely. Sorry, dude, I think you were both stand-up guys, but some things just don't work out. So this is how I start to get the impression that Az just wanted a one-sided shit-slinging contest. He wanted to be the one to be able to make videos. This is some absolute fucking moon logic, and I genuinely don't know how he can come to this conclusion. This is nothing less than completely unreasonable. Az wasn't taking shots at you after agreeing to the discussion. You took a massive 1.4 million view shot at him, once again... Axeman predicts his views, confirmed. ...presenting him as by your own admission. <laughs> Axeman predicts oh his God. views. <laughs> this one's gonna be a banger. A billion views right I mean, here. I can kind of see no it. No sex without, allowed. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see it with how influential he is, but, like, the views are irrelevant to this. I don't get why he even brings that up no, that's like the I, only I screenshot he shows and it's the fucking views on his starfield video i agree as a fucking commentary youtuber i've said this many times the views don't fucking matter when it comes to giving or giving or taking criticism in any regard the fact that his video had a million views doesn't matter it could have had a hundred views or a million views and granted if it had a hundred views y'all probably wouldn't be bitching so much mission you lacked the context 
private conversation, not about content. Let's just try to understand each other. There was no context he was lacking, by the way. I made those tweets because I didn't understand what he was saying. No, the context he was, he was lacking was him saying, I don't under even understand what the fuck you're trying to say about this game. Nobody did. None of us did. Well, Ackman is not alone there. I'm trying to build a bridge with him. Another thing he does in this part that I really hate is this. And as I've been showing you, he's ducking every opportunity to actually confront and talk to me directly. This is a cheap and disingenuous tactic that's used to try and force someone into a discussion. No one is obligated to give you their time. You are not owed their time. You are not entitled to their- man wasn't obligated to not upload or omit the parts of his video with as. Yeah, it pretty much goes both ways. It quite literally goes both ways. Just because, like, Actman's not expecting him to give him his time. But if he wants to not be a literal child throwing a tantrum about it, then a civil discussion is usually what resolves that. I don't, I don't usually see conflicts being resolved many other ways. The idea I get as to why he showed the views is for a look at how many people Actman lied to about as angle there is what I think he's going for. Well, that's just stupid. Because... <laughs> That's oh, just you a lied video. to so many people. Yes, he lied by saying, I don't fucking understand what you're trying to get across in this childish temper tantrum about pronouns in a video game. No, oh, exactly. And, like, the views are also kind of mute because... They are mute. I want to... I want to bring this up real quick because while I was watching this and also uh, Hill vs. Babyface's video is... <clears throat> The reason why the views are so mute is because, hypothetically speaking, there could be another scenario where Az and Actman get on a live stream together. That would completely negate this criticism from Kree about how many views he got his video on and supposedly lied to. If I, I feel like a live stream would have been the best outcome because if they're going to bitch about the views that much and how many people are being, quote, misled or misinformed, a live stream would have been the best solution. But guess what? We don't got a live stream because as is a pussy shit. There is no live stream. There is no discussion at all. He just wants a shit flinging contest. Yeah, that's why I agree with Actman here, especially because as whether or not he even knew about or agreed to the discussion yet, or like whether or not he knew about Actman reaching out for it or agreed to it, still made his videos on the whole situation. So clearly he didn't see anything wrong with making a video on the situation. It's just when someone else makes a video about him. And Which... that doesn't make him two-faced, especially when his initial idea was to be public about it. Because that, like you said, would have resolved all of this, quote, misinformation. Mm -hmm. Time. Especially with you the duplicity. You a private discussion, too, if you wanted to resolve it that way and just not be a bitch. ...in this whole situation with ads. It's not ducking a conversation. To be uninterested in a discussion with someone he rightfully believes to be disingenuous in bad faith. I hate this in particular because it's again trying to paint Az as the bad guy here. As the one in the wrong for not wanting to talk. For not reaching out in the first place when he has no obligation to do so. He doesn't have the and... obligation to delete the video or delay it or any other options you or Az offer. It's his channel. He can do what he wants. Just like how Az can do what he wants with his channel. Yeah. The, like, honestly, you should treat the video and the discussion kind of separate because whether or not one was made doesn't mean you couldn't just talk things out on stream or whatever from the just the tweets you had. Because here's the thing. Even if Actman hadn't have made the video, there still would have been a stupid shit filling in contest because there was still some dumb drama about it on Twitter that started from the tweets. And as clearly made his fucking videos, that there still would have been a situation to resolve whether or not Actman made a video. It doesn't make him a two-faced cunt to try and make a video covering the situation as well, because as did it too. Like, he did it first for fuck's sake. Yeah, he was the one that made the first video about the tweets. And, like, yeah, I agree with you there that, like, even if, like, Actman didn't make any tweets at all, um, there were, like, hundreds of other people that were quoting as as well. If one of them, besides Actman, did the same thing, there would probably still be a shit-flinging contest. 
Well, what I was saying was there would still be a shit playing contest with Ackman if he didn't make the video because there were still tweets. But you're right there too. Even if it wasn't Ackman, it would have been su- it would have would have been anybody. <laughs> I fucking imagine Hassan reaching out to fucking Nas. <laughs> Hassan, Hassan, <laughs> fucking Hassan. He, he he was one of them. I just imagine he's like, yo, want to want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 my illegals videos about me being up i didn't think he was the type of guy to let stuff like that bother him too much miscalculation miscalculation on my part rules for thee but not for me i get to talk shit you can't you can't make content about this act man no 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 only i get to actually go Mm -hmm. fuck yourself i can't say he's intentionally misrepresenting the situation because i don't actually know what's going on in his head but this part most of all feels extremely disingenuous and dishonest to me, especially given the fact that he's making this comment after As has already made his tweet explaining what the problem was in such a way that any reasonable person should be able to understand. We had not reasonable? No, I read the tweet and I saw Axman's video, and if anything, Axman seemed like the more reasonable one. I mean, considering we've had temper tantrum man and fucking four eyes here trying to tell us what's going on <laughs> fucking four eyes i just i don't years. fucking get it i don't get this dumb shit it's so stupid my brain is melting from it kratos is how are you on the level of thinking as is it any way civil or sane when he's acting deranged in his initial video and then just constantly avoids any legitimate discussion and just wants to sit on his fucking peak with his echo chamber and bitch about it. <laughs> What's up, Thunderstruck? Speak, I oh, lost Thunderstruck interest here. You were talking Hello. About- Hello. Out of both sides of your mouth, one side saying you wanted to talk and we were trying to arrange a time, the other side making more videos shitting on me for views as you were just another content engagement farmer. You show- What are we watching? We're watching Kratos' video on Actman. It's bad. Showed me who you were, someone not worth the time of day. He spelled it out for you, and you're still somehow missing it. The final thing that stands out to me is this bit. Oh, you're not going to elaborate? Okay, all right. (laughs) This is where I left (laughs) it off. Thank you. Thank you for... Because I'm missing it too, then, Cree. I'd really like to explain. The fuck the problem is. (laughs) Record will show who was willing to talk and who wasn't. Who was willing to discuss things like men and who cowered away like a pussy. This strikes me as an issue of egotism. This strikes me as someone throwing a temper tantrum. That's so backwards because heel versus babyface, unironically, has one of the biggest egos I've ever seen in a YouTuber. Fucking pronouns. The way he speaks I mean, even sounds egotistical. No, I I know he sounded like an egotistical maniac throughout the entire first video. I haven't seen much else from his channel, but I have seen him in other little rants and shit since then. And I've seen his, like some of his reaction to the drama. It's just like it, it. I don't really have an an exact. I need to watch him more to like be able to compare him to somebody. So I don't really have an analogy there. But in terms of ego, yeah, he's definitely like, one of the worst ones I've seen. Well, Thunderstruck, here's your opportunity. <laughs> From shit fit for not getting his own way, similar to before. You are not entitled to anyone else's time, especially with how you've handled this whole situation. From beginning to end, this video from Ackman- No, I think Ackman handled this very well. You're just writing- you're writing as his dick, bro. The dick writing's insane. Ackman, it's awful. I mean, Ackman, the one that's acting pretty sane throughout most of this, and as who's avoided most discussion and screamed like a child. Genuous arguments, he reveals some things about himself that make him look bad, and he probably doesn't even realize it. Including leaking the DMs of a friend that trusted him. He seemingly lacks some level of awareness and basic decency, and to me... What? Asking as numerous times throughout the drama to have a private conversation, which is probably the most, like, beneficial way of going things to, like, squash the beef? That's not... What? That's, yeah, not, that's not civil. That's not civil? That's not common decency? The fuck? No. It's bad. It's very bad. He paints bad. a picture of someone who is untrustworthy and won. Regardless of what you think of Az or a Starfield rant, Az was open to a private discussion, 
and only decided against it when Actman decided to publicly shit on him while at the same time Oh fuck, my bitrate just plummeted. Yeah. And you're you're not completely dying on me though. So I didn't, I didn't it just went to zero. You didn't like completely fucking uh black out or it's scream die or for anything me. for me. My bit rate like at last zero. time. Seventy nine zero fug. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Sorry about that. Why does it say thirty six thousand kilobits? What the fuck? Oh my Stream. sorry about that. I don't know if you I don't know if stream's still up. Is stream still up? Yeah, your stream's still going. Okay. Sorry about that guys. My bitrate just fucking dipped and then then and then rose up to like thirty six thousand kilobytes. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, I know you're still I, I was just watching it for a second. But yeah, you're, you're good, you're good. Alright. Trying um, to build bridges with him in private. Yeah, I know, Scrub Lord. And it is entirely reasonable for Az to not want to deal with someone trying to shake his hand with their left while tarring and feathering him with their right. Regardless of what- This is entirely different- it's a YouTube video, dude. Entirely different circumstance. This isn't like real-life bullshit where you're actively being lied to. Yeah, it's not slander or anything either. It was literally fucking beef about pronouns in a video game that someone thought was a funny rant. Because it was unhinged. Like, God's fucking forbid. It's not like he slandered him. It's not like he's calling him a fucking pedophile. It's like... <laughs> This oh. is just so stupid. This is so petty. This is it's over high video school games. cheerleader drama. This is over video games. This is over Starfield. And this fucking is straight up some inclusivity. Fucking, yeah, it's it's straight up some fucking petty high schooler type shit. Like I I get this same kind of fucking vibe. What you think of Act Man? He handled the situation extremely fucking poorly and has made himself look the same with you with this video, dude. Act Man handled this a hundred times more well than you have with this video. Really bad. I just... I don't know, it's just... It's, the whole idea of him being deceitful or two-faced with making a video while reaching out for a conversation, it's just... It strikes me in so many ways as fucking pathetic, or such a stupid argument to make, because... Like, I, I've rambled on about it many times, but to try and, like, summarize it... It, whether or not Ackman made a video is pretty irrelevant because there was still drama there, as sought it fine to make his own videos on it, so it's very hypocritical regardless of whether or not he knew about Ackman reaching out for a conversation or agreed to it to make his own videos. So, whether or not that whole end of the discussion even happens, like, doesn't really matter, that's all moot. This is just all fucking stupid, it doesn't make him deceitful or two-faced. He made a video talking about a situation he was involved in that was a dumb drama. It was a, not even a drama at the time, it was just a fucking funny rant about Starfield, and then it turned into this stupid drama. By leaking DMs, by being disingenuous, and through his whole video, constantly trying to push blame onto Az. Az is the one ducking. Az is being a hypocrite. Az is operating yes. under rules for thee, not for me. I mean, Even when you when make videos you on something and then bitch about someone else doing it, yeah. Yes, absolutely, to all three. Well, and it's not even like you can say he only bitched about it because Actman was reaching out for a conversation, so it made him seem two-faced, because no, he bitched about anybody making videos on it. He had a whole goddamn rant about it. He coped about it. He was mad. Was Legitimately just annoyed. Not for me. Even when what you did wrong was spelled out for you clear as day, as is the one in the wrong. Sure, buddy. Um, yes, yeah, L three. video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, L video. Kratos is is bad. I do yeah, not agree. Zero yeah, out of ten. I'm sorry. Like speaking as someone that was associated with him and defended him multiple times. Yeah, no, this video ain't it. This is a bad video. Well, I don't hate Kratos or anything at the end of the day. I don't either, but I. I think this is a bad video. I don't agree with a lot of his arguments or how he's trying to like paint Act Man. Yeah, no. Like Act Man said, I'm not the one to hold a grudge or hate somebody by disagreeing with them. He never has. He even proved that with the whole situation he had with Tommy C. Exactly. You think him and Griffin have any grudge from their beef over fucking COD? Hell no.
barely they literally, even mentioned it. Yeah, they literally had a whole thing where they, like, fucking... Like, Actman had a whole thing where he included Griffin in his video about Quantum and shit, because he was like, yeah, I don't care that much. Like, even if Griffin's shitting on me and stuff like that, like, I don't care. Exactly. So, yeah, um, Kratos has made a pretty bad video, I'd say. Um, he oh. needs... He either needs to elaborate a lot further and more in depth on how Actman is being disingenuous or misinforming people, or he just apologizes, I guess, and takes down the video. Or just takes the L. I don't care if he actually takes the video down. He just needs to take the L on that. I don't think Actman needs to take a video down. No, I was talking about Kratosis. Oh, oh. I don't think Kree needs to take his video down either. Well, that's what I'm honest. saying is that I don't care if he does. He just needs to take the L on that. Yeah, I would say, like, at most a fucking community post or something, or like a comment, maybe. Also, yeah, I did watch uh, this guy's video, Heel vs. Babyface, about Actman. It's bad. It's cope. Uh, we can watch it if you guys want. I really don't want to. I had to skip past, like, 17 minutes of the video because it's just him providing context of the situation when literally everybody already knows what the context is. So, like, yeah, that's why I skipped that far into it. Um, I wasn't going to cover the Kumo shit, because, like, I was focused on this drama, but if Krillix wants to come on, we can cover uh, Kumo's video on Lyle Convoy. Yeah. <laughs> you can DM him and see if he wants to come Well, he, DM he DM'd me earlier that, like, he wants to be How there for that the Kumo will... stuff. that femboy bundle of sticks bitch to get on here. <laughs> he said he'll come on. <laughs> get the fuck over here, Craig. Creature, um, I see you in chat. Get on here. Get the fuck um, over here. Before we, before we do, um, I guess we'll watch some of it, but there's some things I do want to highlight with his video. Um, I think around here. If the video will load. Vibio. Vibio Lord. Lord Vibio. 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 I am. Vibio. <laughs> we are having yeah, such insightful commentary. The monetization of videos, or God forbid, his channel. I stuck up for you in your darkest hour. You are one of the facilitators of my darkest hour, if it was to be perceived that way. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, know. those videos. I went where people. It's not this part. It's somewhere deeper in. You I purposely think. put out. Was way too. Question the question. Well, if you're trying to mend the bridge, why did you put. And I had no indication. But I just spent 30, 35, 40 hours on a video. What am I going to do? Just scrap it? Re no. You're going to do what I suggested. Hold back a week. Cut it in two. Take out the section of me. Yeah, no, he's not obligated to do that, as I'm When sorry. we have agreed to... Like, you could have... Like no. You fucking deranged, egotistical, British fuckface. Oh, my God. <laughs> you could have asked him. You said you suggested he do that. When did you suggest? Because it didn't happen in the DMs we saw that he showed. I know it's bad that he leaked those DMs, but damn, do they provide some fucking insight that you didn't ask him to do a goddamn thing like that. So where the fuck are you standing on this high horse that you could've did this and fucking cut the video? No, did you fucking ask him to, dumbass? Someone. If he made a couple videos on the subject, I hope he understands. We're content creators. It's, it's not about videos. You make as many videos as you want. It's about what I just explained. You make videos. We're both in- I don't know all the way that you're going to- you don't talk I'm looking for this I'm coming from and you don't understand the have made as many videos Man, he, dumb. Is because he, he very dumb I'm looking for I'm the part where he talks about like how he channel operates his channel. channel it's not your channel that was being pommeled it was you that wait here fella okay that being said I put my bother him much I'd be down for a and you called me autistic to, to be fair road breach you're you had that fucking shelf of virginity <laughs> and your drawings I'm sorry. That as we've explained quite clearly, very I am a clearly, monument to all of your sins. To talk misrepresentation. Talk to make correctly, because he wouldn't reach. Seriously, why the fuck would I reach out to you? You were the one that attacked my channel. You were the initial person. You came at me with those tweets. Why the fuck should I come and reach out to you? I have no fucking interest in you, Mauler. 
who said, let's try and build a bridge. I'll facilitate it. You two talk and we can just get it thrashed out. I had agreed. I, I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you to reach out. I owe you zilch. I don't understand. He made oh, his videos respectfully, he doesn't owe you anything either. They all could have made your videos and left it at that too. You're the one being a fucking crybaby over it. He's kind of just trying to settle things and not perpetuate it. You're the one... If anything, this does make you look like the fucking clout-chasing retard here. Not him, like... I don't... <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I just no, don't get it. So what's the deal? Again, I don't want to press and make either of you Speed up. I speed up. I'm looking for a part of To be fair, Sergey, if I saw your wall of Hot Wheels, I'd probably also call it very autistic. I prefer to stop faring so. messages. It's just not meant to be. This is where I left it off. Well, I guess the record will show who was willing to talk and who wasn't. Who was willing to discuss things like men and counterweight with a pussy. I appreciate the effort. Apologies again for putting you in this awkward position. Yeah, I was willing to talk. You saw that. You saw it for yourself in the DMs. I had agreed. You, however, were not willing to hold your video back until after ears the are blessed, before we started truly. talking as well. All you had to do, agencies, mainstream Our media, ears are being blessed, Nier. Thank you. What am I doing? The uh, context. <laughs> Our ears are blessed. Up? Yeah. <laughs> Is it yeah. for me speeding up? <laughs> yeah, right? The poet just says, ears are blessed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm you could have done another video after the Truly. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Can't get it off of that. You are one of the facilitators of my day. You had plenty of options here, but you said it's for con to delete the video. You might have postponed the video. Oh, there's gonna be other people, but I'm gonna be in that video. A private chat with us. I've agreed to have a chat. Let's have a chat, the three of us having my back in my darkest time. It might create more drama to tag as in a public tweet, and I'm no No, you'd already said thing that I got Where my channel, it? my monetization taken away. This is gonna come back to bite you. Not about content. Let's just try to understand each other. I made those tweets because I didn't understand what he was saying, and, and because it's, it's the internet. You know, we're public figures. You big deal about the two videos that I. Obviously, this has created a very sour impression. Okay, so let's just stop it there. Look at the date at the bottom. Set treat as a debate. So at this point in time, I don't want the conversation between. I'm looking for history it. to be burnt to the ground just so you can love to see pronouns in every game move. On the verge of crying because Starfield lets you pick. Touch the beef. Shake hands. Move on. I'll do talks. that for you. That's you looking at it. I think it's right here, actually. Play. Everyone's happy. I'll do that for you. That's you looking at it from your perspective. That's not how I deal with content. I make my content based on video games, TVs, movies, talking about the companies, whatever's going on in there. My content doesn't revolve around chatting to guys like you because we have a difference of opinion. That to me is a waste of time. Time that I can spend better elsewhere. Maybe even streaming video games. But that sort of business doesn't interest me in the slightest. Yeah, so right here, he's blatantly admitting that he thinks having an actual discussion on a live stream or anywhere else with Actman is a waste of time. And that he would much rather just make content. Yeah, but Kratos yeah, just doesn't gay. keep that same energy. It's Kriggs. Is Kriggs? Is he in Yeah, PC? I dragged him in. Hi, Kriggs. I figured you could be here whether or not we start the shit you were going to yet, but yeah. All right, I'm watching. He's how well. Um, I was just going over a snippet of the as video that I wanted to highlight. It's just him blatantly admitting that he thinks having a discussion with people regarding their differing opinions is a waste of time, and he would much rather just make content out of it. I love wastes. Of and time. why is we? Yeah, as is admitting that. Yes. And why the fuck is he even, like, remotely upset about Actman making a video? Right? It's, yeah, that's stupid. The whole thing just makes him either hypocritical or just a childish bitch. Yeah. I mean, he already is a childish bitch, but... I mean, yeah, always, but that just... I mean, the initial rant made him one, but this makes him a bigger one. <laughs> it's even funnier to bring this up because of the fucking defense Kratos has made for him. Yeah, I... Dude, in, the entire I, defense... I, that... I was like kind of tuning in and out because I was uh, doing some stuff. Kratos is just completely misrepresenting Actman's argument in the attempt to make it to seem like Actman was misrepresenting fucking heels versus babyface. Yeah, because Actman is very cordial in that video and just kind of explains his whole perception inside of the story. And when it's explained to you, you can very much understand why he did what he did. And I'm also, I am going on a theory here, but I am willing to bet that when he tries to paint Actman as like the, uh, or as he tries to paint, when he tries to paint him as being disingenuous or lying to Mahler about like um, 
reaching out to him from his Twitch chat versus reaching out to him because uh, he stood up for him in the past or whatever. I, I am going on a theory on saying that um, Actman probably got all of that information from his Twitch chat. Like, he probably found it out all at once. Or, at the very least, he probably found out from... Probably, um, his Twitch chat probably told him, like, to set up a conversation with him. And looking into it further, he found out as stood up for him in the past. Yeah. But it's one, it's one of the two, either or. Like, because it, 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 he didn't know about as beforehand, so... I mean, like, like the whole situation, the whole thing with, I just want to finish, like, the whole thing with Cree trying to paint him as disingenuous there is just fucking, that's one of the scummiest parts to me. I didn't get that far when I first watched it, but that one, that one really got to me. That was just, like, you're trying to call him a liar and shit there. That's just fucking, mm, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, first off, first off, what the fuck's with this visually noisy ass border? (laughs) Secondly, (laughs) I know, it's just not a good border. (laughs) Secondly, like even if Actman knew that As defended him in the past, that doesn't like somehow make him immune to any fucking criticism coming from the Actman. Exactly. This is also true. Like none of, none of it's unfair criticism. That's why when Actman said this is for content, like I they they try to paint it in such a light that it's like he's evil YouTuber doing it for the clicks and views, but yeah. he's trying, what he's trying to get across is that this is just for a fucking video, it's not personal, like, I'm not trying to attack you. I mean, it's not, it's not even like they were friends or anything. No, but like, it's, like, very clear he was trying to say he's not, I'm not trying to attack you, but this was his point. Even if they're not friends, like, Ackman usually doesn't start off anything with outright malicious intent and fucking yeah. disingenuous, like, shit you know just he usually just laughs at stuff all right so i wasn't going to talk about this video but we can um there's a new one oh boy there's a new one it's the itsy bitsy liar i think that's i think that's on i think that's on something entirely different Uh, bitsy liar i'm gonna i'll be right back you guys can start this All right, so context for Chad. This video is about Lyle Convoy, and it's by Kumo. Everybody know, everybody here knows who Kumo is. Uh, I made a video about him. Um, he made this video on Lyle Convoy. Um, I watched it. <clears throat> um, I think it's a, a bit of a mixed bag. I do think he has something of substance against Leo Convoy. I think he does actually have incriminating evidence against him. And then there's also half of it where it just... It did not need to be there. Like, this is a very mixed bag. The video is also kind of all over the place. Um, mm-hmm. I wasn't going to watch this live, but we can. Uh, Krillix wanted to be here for it because he wants to, uh, he wanted to uh, say some things about it, too. Yeah, this is, this, this, this is a video. That's for damn sure. This is one of the videos of all time. <laughs> um, before we watch it, I'll be right back. All right. Entertain Fuck chat me. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm tired. How are y'all doing? Hello, Thunderstruck. Surprise Nier doesn't have music. <laughs> Generic audio books. Am I doing SLP? I, I am living. That is about the extent of how I'm doing at the moment. One new video? Uh, no idea. Saint Asonia? I don't think I've heard of that band before. How's Doom doing? Is in Doom Juan or is in the game Doom? It looks taking over Femboy. Yeah, I'm the new Femboy around here. 
Relics being chill stream one. Eventually. Halo Infinite's really good. Yeah, I know. I've been playing that with some friends. What are the expectancies for my channel? Um, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm just I'm in a hiatus at the moment. Acrylic's gay. That's fucking slander, psycho, and you know it. Only gay for you, alright? Allegedly. I just do one. Doom one's doing, doing pretty good. Oh, let's check him out then. Thunder actually seems pretty interesting. I've seen Luva Boss and Hasbun Hotel. Thoughts on them, Cricks? I I don't I don't know what those are. Cricks <laughs> outing himself as a bottom breeder. <laughs> don't expose me. They sound more like Three Days Grace than Three Days Grace does. What the show Psycho then? I know Psycho's a really big fan of Three Days Grace, at least older Three Days Grace. I'm back. Hello, Nair. You're so well. Oh la. I, I hope I kept the stream thoroughly entertained. Uh, I'm just gonna assume you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's wrong with Kree's video? Um, he misinterpreted what Ackman was saying. He <clears throat> just completely dick writes as. And a lot of his criticisms towards Ackman were completely backwards. And a lot of it can also be applied to as he just doesn't do that because reasons. Also tried saying that how Actman operated this drama was deceitful, I guess, because God forbid he puts out a video while he's offering a private discussion. Dude, that the whole drama just seems so fucking gay. It's like really on the part of is. as. <laughs> Yeah, no. Fucking, he's a fucking man child that just cries wolf every time he's criticized. Like, bro, if. Because well, he's all like, he's all like, you can make videos on me all you want. You can criticize me, but how you, you, you made a video on me when you were wanting to have a discussion. And, dude, like. And if, that's like, also, it's, it's also like every time someone's criticized you, like on Twitter or some shit, you make a code video about it. Yeah, and he tries to act like they're fucking canceling him. Like, oh, you criticize me, you're canceling. Like, no fucking retard. No, exactly. What you cracking open? Pepsi. Oh. You're never wrong. actually, never actually tried Pepsi. Um, Berg. Wild well, cherry Pepsi is beater. I have Hello, returned. psycho. It's how well. I am returned. I know. I know. As tried saying as, the actor was canceling him at one point. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna cancel As now. <laughs> I'm canceling As because he says he's <laughs> being canceled by the act man. I'm you can get canceled for as. anything these days, so I'm just gonna cancel As for that. I'm canceling yeah. Hill versus Babyface because he claims he's being canceled by the act man. So we'll you can't get out of that canceled. one. You can't get out of that one. Rope Reach, I agree. Fanta is better. Um, so you guys want to start watching? Abs. Yerp. Predator hunters, predator catchers, predator poachers. These terms may sound familiar. Even so, the internet has made it my job to autistically over-explain and elaborate as to what these are. Predator hunters, or no. a more fitting name, predator His poachers, job, are the says. internet's modern take on a special victims unit. 
Descriptors I personally like to apply are pseudo Chris Hansen, internet vigilante, discord detective, so on and so forth. Individuals who take it upon themselves to enact vigilante justice, but these days, as of 2024, that's a bit generous to say. I'm getting to that. I'm going to get to that in a minute. I was trying so hard to be Nicholas Diorio. I used AI to catch a predator on Discord. I made a fake female alt on Discord and used it to go predator fishing. And once I got one on the hook, he sent a selfie, which I ran through advanced facial recognition software to identify exactly who he is. The former typically would be in a legit position of authority, law enforcement. Former EMS workers who've worked in collaboration with authorities, often partaking in sting operations. These things would consist of setting up a fake underage decoy on the internet and sparingly engaging with only the most desperate predators that would take the bait. The end goal would be to lure the child predator to a house designated and monitored by law enforcement. The involvement of law enforcement is crucial due to the intricacies of forensic analysis. If evidence is gathered in an unconventional manner and unorthodox practices are employed, the integrity of the case crumbles, the risk of prosecution being in vain. Let me spell this out for you. Predators get to walk free. Now that brings us to current day. Whoa. How has this changed over time? Well, given the famous Thank Dateline Google. NBC is no longer I airing didn't know. controversy, I couldn't possibly <laughs> explain in this video. 911, what are you reporting? Hi, uh, there's a person who's been stalking me online and they just showed up to my house. Okay, and they're outside now. Isn't this on Aceon? I'm Lisa, yeah. I, I think so. Right. Yeah. Yes, they're knocking on my door. Okay. And do you know if they have any weapons? They have a bunch of camera people, like they're YouTube, they're YouTube stalkers. Okay, but no weapons seen? I didn't see any weapons, I just saw like okay. six guys in my driveway, okay. and one of them is knocking on my door. And the one that's knocking on your door, is he the main one that you said has been stalking you? Yes, he's a okay. stalker, he's yelling, he's yelling things at me through the door right now. Okay, and what, do we know his name at all? It's Chris Hansen. The perceived utility of these ops and Amazing. people like Chris Hansen were brought into question, and they were deemed not only ineffective, but detrimental to any progress made towards removing dangerous criminals off the streets, and any attempts to rehabilitate said individuals has been significantly regressed. But not to be mistaken, this content has only served to inspire many neckbeards and window lickers to take these dangerous criminals to task, with today's subject being the epitome Gordon of Until we showed Gordon Flowers, one of the most efficient predator hunters on YouTube. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'll After they up fucked up with EDP, they've been doing good. Yeah. Yeah, no, they have been. You want to know what community I'm, I'm in? The Boomer Cart. I'm in two communities. The Boomer Cartoon community. Okay, we finally get to Leo Convoy here. I hunt pedophiles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I hunt pedophiles. I hunt pedophiles. pedophiles. I'm Batman. I'm back. I'm him. Idiots, huh? I'm 100% the well, lady. No, no, he is actually, he is actually a pedophile hunter. He actually is. I'm sorry if there's a jump in volume. Uh, I had to uh, boost it a bit because some of it's pretty quiet. Leo, oh, okay. the, the I'm sorry. pedo yeah, bounty hunter. I'm sorry, I've a lot with uh, quote-unquote pedophile hunters. It's... I'm most of them are idiots. Oh, I actually, I actually try to help actual victims of child predation, hence the kid down the hallway. I can like hear the neck beard. The, Not very likely. The kid down uh, I'll the let hallway. you in on a little secret. Um, mm -hmm. Elio disowned me, uh, and that's yeah. I don't know his kid anymore. Oh hi, I go by Lyle Convoy, and welcome to my channel. I know it's not very big yet, but I'm working on it. Want to know what my channel is about? Good no. question. Here it goes. The purpose of this channel is to give my thoughts and opinions on various media. Why? Because you need to hear it, of course. Dude, this static image is really selling me. <laughs> John, it's 1.30. I don't understand like, the you point of showing up. this. Is. Why? If you don't, I'm going to hit you with these nunchucks. Why? Because friendship is about nunchucks. It's some random meme. Why would I go there? All I have to do is watch Macross and I'd already be there. Let me guess, you are live. Yep. That's why I'm not live at all. And this is the problem I have with all of you cocksucking idiots bringing up feet every time you beef with me. You drag the trauma of his victims out for a gotcha on the guy who tried to help them. You are an unrepentant, immoral scumbag. And the better off the world would be if you turned yourself into a statistic phone. tonight. Somebody just needs to lay hands on you, frankly. Like, you're so goddamn stupid. And you don't care what Vita's done to these people. You don't care about the children he's preyed on. You just think it's some sort of gotcha on me because I made you butt hurt. Dick up with my family. Bring them into it and see what happens. I'm literally sitting in here with 600 or 857 <laughs> viewers. And after that, people are going to watch this video. Wait, I just realized what's people. happening. He's screen recording not the video the preview of the video with subtitles on 
Huh? The audio that we're hearing right now is coming from the preview of oh, the video. Oh, I see. I yeah. See. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I saw that right away. I don't know why he was doing it that way, but... Yeah, that's... It's weird. It's whatever, though. Should be. I hope you like all the attention you're getting, Mr. Roast Gang. Because this is the most you've ever gotten in your entire miserable life. Maybe I ought to shove you in the freezer. We exposed Vita four days after we found out in 2020. I'm sure you in the freezer. <laughs> the yeah, way he I said mean, that. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess what he's trying to get across is that Lyle Convoy sounds very unhinged. Is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, I'm yeah, just confused as to why he's only showing the preview. <laughs> I, I'm confused on that, too, but... I think that's what he's trying to showcase is him being unhinged. Yeah. And Umo ranting. doesn't understand everything. <laughs> It'd be nice to know the context behind the conversation that's being had, though. Umo doesn't Mr. understand I think it was like... It days? Probably, days? Probably, days? They should have taken me five days. goddamn seconds! You are the most one of the hateful pieces of garbage I ever knew. The gaslight... Okay, yeah, no, he's definitely unhinged. Like, you have to have an intelligence to begin with, Mr. Intellectual, bit. which is why you're scared to get in call, because you know I will rip your throat. Bit. In light it of the recent like controversy involving Mama Max, the mm. timing of this video couldn't have been any better. Working on this video for nearly a year, not only is the timing poetic, but eyes already seem to be on this very subject, with many sharing the discrepancies I've had for a while now. Today's video is long overdue, and we'll be talking about Thomas Guerrero, who most of you may know as a guy who calls himself Lyo Convoy. The Lyo Convoy Pretty channel, sure. run by a 37-year-old Thomas a Guerrero, had its humble beginnings talking about 80s <laughs> cartoons, engaging in pedantic power-scaling debates over anime, video games, Star Wars, etc., soon branching out into the channel the bulk of you may know him as, a toy reviewer who dabbles into predator hunting. I say dabbles with the most obvious quotations because whatever his channel runs dry or stagnant, from uploading toy or cartoon reviews, he coincidentally uploads one, two, three, Jesus fucking Christ, ten in recent memory, not counting live streams. And today we'll be discussing what's wrong with this picture, and believe me, there's a lot to unpack. Is there? I hunt pedophiles. Hombre. <laughs> <laughs> on pedophiles. Thomas Guerrero, or as most of you might oh, know shit. him by now, Lyo Convoy, was originally a toy reviewer and a active member in the Brony community. Already... How did oh, I manage to that. read that out without laughing? Okay. Not only is the premise of this content dangerous Brony. to produce, but its production creates many My negative favorite consequences of people. for the victims. In fact, They're any outside best. involvement in vigilante activity only muddies the waters for the case. Any chat logs or evidence provided to the authorities by vigilantes is impossible to prove prove it wasn't doctored when it comes to forensic analysis. This makes anything forwarded to the police by any Actually outside not involvement impossible. completely admissible in court and oftentimes will only serve as probable cause to launch an investigation on said individual. Not to mention, vigilantes with an extensive track record of activity are frequently investigated by the FBI for things like possession of child porn. Not to mention, the judge and jury have to bring into yeah. question the motives and intentions of the, not only the victims, but the vigilantes when social media and publicity are brought into the mix, which could also be used in quick. favor of the defense. Right. This is one of the many reasons why social media influencers will stay quiet about the details with any legal proceedings going on in the background until after the case has been settled. The vast majority um, of predator hunters on the internet- not really the reason, no. You're legally bound to not do that if there's actively a case being made. Because yeah, if no, you, you do get... that, you're breaking the case. You can actually face repercussions for it. Yeah, no, you're like bound to an NDA, so you can't disclose anything about the case if it's actually going on. Like, literally, judges and shit like that aren't allowed to disclose a lot of that shit half the time when they're going through an actual case. There's a lot of fine details they're not allowed to talk about until the case is over. That have actually never confirmed whether their catches have been sent to jail because of their catch. And in Lyo Convoy's case, he has gone on record to admit to having no confirmation to anyone he's caught being put behind bars. Aside from an instance okay. where he twisted the truth and the actuality was the predator was instead taken to jail for assaulting their mother here. in front of a police officer. I'll uh, move my avatar out of the way so the you guys can see. The predator was instead taken to jail for assaulting their mother. And so, yeah, so basically, Lyle Convoy, from what we see here, is basically pulling a Mama Max, saying that they caught a predator and put them in prison, but they were actually arrested for something else entirely. Awesome. In front of a police officer. So that is, and a, a, that is something pretty substantial to go after Lyle Convoy for. As far as Joshua Vita yeah, goes, especially when it's a big part Cass of was brain. given that information, but here's the sad thing. 
All that would have happened if Cass was to have pursued Vita when we first outed him. Vita would have been at home in Cass's place. Vita loved using slurs. He loved getting people's attention like that. We wouldn't have done Cass any good. We did the best we could. We found out three days later we exposed him. We had to catch him off Spoilers. guard. We had to make sure his victim was safe because he was going to absolutely target her and still does to this day. Okay. Damn Heartbreaking. Still? Yeah. We Jesus. just passed the cops. More information. We just got about a fourth victim. Now, granted, uh, yeah. Josh is currently on I probation. Know the context behind this clip. 29 months I was talking about, man, it's been for computer crimes. Now, the screenshot I showed prior to that clip proves everything Lyle just said here was a lie. And it doesn't surprise me, given the amount of performatism in this call. After looking at the public records, which the link to is included in the screenshot, we can see the specific charges that Joshua Vita has faced. That would be four counts of misdemeanor assault, not for computer crimes. But those of you watching at home might have realized there were many things in that small window of Lyo speaking that ought to be addressed. And don't worry, I'm here to cover these. And as far as Joshua Vita goes, see thunderstruck. We did the best we could. Okay. We found out three days later we exposed him. We had to catch him off guard. We had to make sure his victim was safe because he was going to absolutely target her and still does to this day. Damn, Heartbreaking. Yeah. We Jesus. just passed the cops. This More information. Man. We just got about a fourth victim. Now, granted, Josh is currently on probation for 29 months for computer crimes. So that was a fucking lie. So Lyo Convoy in this call with Lago Vert recorded by Pizza, a member of Lyo Convoy's server, this call is apparently archived because they didn't want this out uh, publicly, and I imagine for a reason. He states that he found out three days later about the activities of Vita, and I think I should stop putting this off. It's been long enough. Who is this person, this individual who goes by Vita? Mentioned by two very good friends of mine are currently working on a video going over Omnia's entire video because apparently, according to them, what they've told- Whoops, uh, wrong flashback. Right here, just a uh, wrong event. We will be going over this. It- because it happens to coincide Over with the what? events we're going to talk about. Now, the correct flashback would be to 2020, Amazing. about three years okay. ago at the time of recording this Amazing. video. Amazing. And we are going Amazing. to be looking at Amazing. a person Thank called, you. for no good just reason, confused or FNGR me more. for short. Now, any well-versed Lyo fan would recognize this instantly as a former associate of Lyo Convoy. Anyone who's even more well-versed in Lyo Convoy lore would know about a server called Barrel. Well, as it happens, Vita was a former member of Barrel. He was actually a former predator hunter, as Lyo Convoy likes to call himself. The story goes that Vita allegedly groomed this person predator who went hunter. by Mint Heart. Mint Heart would later transition and start going by Jordan. I managed to get in contact with Jordan, but the person Lyo keeps vaguely referring to is just Jordan. And as far as Joshua Vita goes, we did the best we could. We found out three days later we exposed him. We had to catch him off guard. We had to make sure his victim was safe because he was going to absolutely target her and still does to this day. But let me stop my tangent here and let you listen to Jordan himself. So I, I met Thomas in 2018. It was probably around March of Ew, that year Spartan when I met him. Ops. And it was following the Toon Critic situation in the My Little Pony community. Okay. Would you be comfortable giving Ew, us a um, brief background on um, um, what your life, what you were going through in your life yeah, when this happened? It's just an L. Yeah. So, <laughs> what I was going through was um, dysfunctional family is the the short way to say it. Me and my siblings didn't get along. Me and my mom were at each other's throats. Um, I was undiagnosed depression and anxiety at the time. Aww. And Poor it was muffin. just it was just a mess, especially because I was also uh, being groomed by Vita, so that it didn't help anything. Uh, it was just it was just a lot. It was a lot. The relationship developed very slowly, um, or I guess kind of fast, depending on how you look at it. So we were acquaintances at best, uh, leading up to 2020, after the Vita shit happened that year, early that year about March, April, I was, uh, I guess, kind of cast out of Senate, because Senate was a thing at that point, because I was sticking by Vita, despite what he had done. And when I eventually came to my senses and went to go talk to him uh, after my birthday in June, then he took me under his wing. So 
we, we were never really friends or that close leading all the way up into 2020 but come my birthday so june of that year it, it kind of went a lot faster. Jordan's retelling sounds very reminiscent of the Lyle we know today. This sort of suggests that we've been right about Lyle Convoy all along, that he doesn't have the qualifications to act like an authority on these subjects, and he doesn't know what he's doing. Going by Lyle's standards, this would be an unforgivable crime, but it doesn't make it any better that Lyle selectively admits this when he thinks it might be convenient for him. I'm not asking any predator hunter to be someone's psychologist or therapist. We're not, we're not made for that. We don't have that knowledge. We barely have the knowledge to do predator hunting. According to Jordan's testimony, it seems that Lyo has always been playing this sort of side-picking game. And you would think if someone like Lyo perceived Jordan to be a victim of not only grooming but sexual assault, that a man well past his 30s would be able to set aside commentary antics. And as far as Joshua Vita goes, we did the best we could. We found out three days one. later we exposed does to this day. In this very clip see where Lyo is talking about one of his former associates oh, that again. would allegedly go on to groom Mint Hart, really Lyo Convoy explains that, that they found one. out about these activities and three <laughs> days later <laughs> exposed him. Now the problem with this is if there was even an ounce of weight to the claims about Joshua Vita, Lyo giving it publicity and farming it for drama content only contributed to the impossibility he was complaining about, that being Vita getting charged with any sort of sex crimes. And this isn't speculation. According to the testimony from the alleged victim themselves, that is exactly what happened. But I should specify one thing in particular. This testimony given to me by Jordan had nothing to do with Joshua Vita. In fact, it had to do with the very reason Jordan was involved in any of this. And so you said the cops wouldn't do anything. Is there, was there skepticism trying to say, like, help you in that situation? Yeah. So there's a couple, a couple things. So one, I, I was not raped. Rape in co um, requires penetration and that did not happen. I was sexually abused, um, as the, the professionals put it when I talked to them. I was interviewed by, um, like a kind of like a like a like cps i don't remember exactly what they're called um mm -hmm. dhs like a department of dps um humane society i think or something like that department of public safety so wow. so i talked maybe maybe i don't honestly remember i okay. for life i can't remember but i, I did I, would you say psyche i was just confused by the spelling of consequences oh. i did go to one of those you know official buildings i didn't talk to people they interviewed me um because there was no no penetration no rape it was incredibly hard to prove uh, and it would have been my word against his and because it became this really big thing on the internet, the police did have reason to believe that it was it was all fake. Uh, and thus, because there was no proof, it was... Kumo sped up the clips. I mean, that's reasonable if they're talking slow or the conversation's going slow. My word against his, it's and because I thought it might have just been for attention, was... but nothing was done about it. Can I ask why it was a thing on the internet once you when you were trying to get help? Uh, so, I I first told my friends about it, because I, I didn't know how to, how to react or how to feel. It was, it was the middle of the night. You know, I, go, I get woken up by him touching me in the middle of the night. You know, 16. I'm scared. I'm confused. So I, I messaged my friends. And, and I get told, let's make you a GoFundMe. Make a GoFundMe so that we can share it so we can get you the hell out of there. And that's what I did. And because, you know, my location... Speeding clips always looks bad to me because they can hide important context by doing it. I don't know if that's the case because this is supposed to be the uh, testimony of a victim of grooming yeah. and someone that was it's associated also, with Lyle Convoy. It's also only sped up 50%, so for most people it's, it's still very understandable. Yeah, no, we can understand what they're saying there my name's attached to it all this information that's pretty easy that was pretty easy to find and the mandatory reporters were reporting it constantly to the police actually i actually got visited by the police uh and they were uh, they came to ask me to take it down because they were getting so many reports from mandatory reporters um who were the friends so, so that's why you know they, they still friends there, there's day? there's a lot of people i told okay no there's a lot of people that i'm not in contact with anymore but i believe the, one of the I, first few people i told i was i was just curious if like before before you uh, i don't expect you to list them off because um you said you're not in contact with them anymore, but one of them was Vita, right? Because I heard that Vita was the one who made the GoFundMe. Well, no, I made the GoFundMe, but, but he he was given the um, the access to it, which then he passed off to Lyo because he didn't want the responsibility. So okay. the person who, I, I could be wrong about this because this all happened on Skype and those logs are gone at this point, but I believe the person who told me to make it in the first place was Misanthropony. I, I could be wrong about this because this was a long time ago and those logs are dead in Skype the shit. I think it was him who told me to make it. It was the very vigilante involvement that Lyo not only continues to partake in regardless, but even takes pride in, that starved this situation of justice. Mint Hart was not removed from the situation to protect them from Vita. Mint Hart was actually moved in with Lyo because Mint Hart was prior to this living in Nebraska at the age of 18, all by their lonesome, whilst being suicidal. Um, so you said that it was then passed on to Lyo? Was, uh... Yeah, Vita, Vita gave it to Lyo. I heard you raised a pretty hefty sum with that GoFundMe. Um, was, was that money ever used in, in any, in any, in any way to try and get you up off your, get you up off on your feet and, um, independent? Or was that kind of just a... The, uh, the reimbursement for taking you in when you turned 18. No, uh, it, I used it to move me from Oregon to Nebraska. Oh, okay. And get me situated there. 
Okay. And then why did you have to move from Nebraska to Texas? Uh, because I tried to uh, I tried to kill myself, and Lyo did not want me living alone in a state where I knew nobody. So he he wanted me in Texas where he could keep an eye on me and make sure I was safe. Speculation aside about the ethics of a nearly 40-year-old man moving a suicidal teenager in with him that outside of the internet had no real connection to. It was it was his idea um, for me to move in with him. He had brought Amazing. it up as a possible solution when mm, I went through the stuff with my mom. Wow, and that really there's no um, wrong with that. No, no. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a Absolutely not. Until after I turned 18, and it wasn't talked about again until I... That sounds like a Mama Max thing as well, because, like, he did the same thing with Spencer. Like, I know Spencer and Max knew each other, but it, it's still a bit weird that they were living together. Yeah, mm, it puts the whole case weird. in question. Especially because Spencer has full control over the financials of the situation. Yeah. Until after I turned 18, and I was looking into moving out. He he wanted me in Texas so he could keep an eye on me uh, and make sure I was being safe. But I moved out alone um, for the first time. And then in March of 2021, again, and I moved to Texas, kind of request slash insistence. What made the idea of adoption appealing to me is the fact that I, I come from a very shitty home. You know, like I said, my, my siblings and I didn't get along. My mom and I weren't getting along. I, I felt very alone in how I felt and just not okay. And my, my dad isn't in the picture, so I don't have a father. And I don't really have, I didn't have any strong father figures. And to me, because Lyle was the only in my eyes sane adult around he seemed like the best the best choice and he presented himself as this this moral good father figure that i could look up to that would care for and support you know support me well as explained in the first clip of jordan's testimony lyo convoy again did not move mint heart in with him in order to protect them from joshua vita in fact it's explained by jordan not only once but twice in both of the interviews i've done with them that lyo wanted absolutely nothing to do with them and made no real efforts to help them the relationship developed very slowly um, or i guess kind of fast depending on how you look at it so we were acquaintances at best uh, leading up to 2020 after the vita shit happened that year early that year about march april i was uh, i guess kind Maybe. of just out so of far, Senate, it's Senate. a very like, his structuring of it is a bit disjointed. Yeah, like I think like, I it's weird. I don't I don't mean to seem insensitive, but a lot of this could have been cut out for the sake of watchability. It's not even just yeah. that. It's also just the fact of how it's structured. Like there was that yeah, one like moment I which said, is like it's a, kind of like a standout, but I mean, like I said, it's kind of all over the place. Like these past like one to like ten, almost fifteen minutes have just been to disprove one single clip, like five second clip that I completely forgot about. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but we don't need to go that far into it. Yeah, we don't, need, we don't. We don't need to go down to the bottom of the iceberg. The point, point being, I was... like, regardless of what fluff you could cut out, I also just have a problem. But the problem with the structuring itself, like. Just the recounting of everything is a bit disjointed, like how we're getting from point A to B to C. It feels like we're going from A to fucking Y to J. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, yeah. Sticking by Vita, despite what he had done. And when I eventually came to my senses and went to go talk to him uh, after my birthday in June, then he took me under his wing. So we, we were never really friends or that close, leading all the way up into 2020, but come my birthday, so June of that year, it, it kind of went a lot faster. All the while in current day, going around bad-mouthing the mother of Jordan. Now here's the context. A minor who went by the name of Minthart was touched in their home. This was taken to their school, their mother, and the police. The perpetrator was their mom's ex-boyfriend. None of the groups I mentioned did anything about it. Not the police, not the school, and their mother even let the creep stay the night after she knew what he did. And over the last few years, giving himself credit for doing anything about the situation with Jordan, whilst admitting that he did nothing and could do nothing about Jordan's situation. Mint was worried he was going to get back a third night and had no options. No friends to stay with, no shelters that the would keep them. So the only thing anyone could think of was to say that, but I was coughing from a pipe head. What the fuck is this boy <laughs> making fucking, me, like, connect else. bullshit? And on top of that, what it was the an fuck? idea. It's not something they would... <laughs> is he making a bow and arrow? The fuck? Crossbow. Crossbow? Why is this his B-roll? Because thankfully they didn't need to. Just felt the need to interject here. The reason they didn't need to is because the prior that Lyo just said was a bit Damn, misleading. My next it wasn't that be Legos. nobody did anything <laughs> or tried to help Mint Heart. It's that they couldn't due to involvement from people like Lyo Convoy. The That's just what Leo does. Well, it's still pretty fucking weird to use as B-roll. Existence of the GoFundMe. That I will show screenshots up on screen of Jordan clarifying that no. this wasn't their idea. They were in fact coerced by these internet vigilantes and. Let's read. All right, let's read these. Here, I can probably just single it out in a clip for you since I have it in my editor right now. Thank you. Here you go. Who I must just... rights bother me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Danny. 
<laughs> they bother me too. You're not alone, honey. Um, I was editing a clip from our interview and noticed you said that you made the GoFundMe, which I'd like to write that off as you being influenced by these window licking lobotomites. And seeing as they got involved, rather than letting your mom decide what was best, Leo's comments in that clip will age poorly really quickly. Well, yeah, because I did make it. I didn't really want to, and I regret it now. I was just a scared teen and didn't know what else to do, and that's what they were advising me to do. They said I should get emancipated, and I did go talk to people about that, but I never did it because my mom kicked the guy out, and she said she would be better, and she was. At least they respected it when I told them I was not going to film that happening or put myself at risk. Instead, I slept in my room and avoided him as much as possible while he got his shit and left. May I include your answers in the video? These things are important so that people no longer let Leo shield himself by lying about your trauma and past events to save face. I never wanted any of my trauma to be public. A lot was done without my knowledge or input in every situation. Hell, even the fact that he mentioned it in his newest video makes me ill. I hate, hate, hate it getting dragged up and tossed around all the damn time okay so most of what lyle convoy has done with these predator huntings is outside of the decision making of the victims i guess yeah it seems like he's, at least for this one victim he's like almost destroyed the family of the victim yeah so like I'll, he's operating I love these, destroying uh, families so he's operating these uh predator hunts very poorly to the point that he's almost ruined this kid's life uh yeah I mean, yeah, that's pretty looked, bad. It, it's it seemed bad enough when it was just him dragging the kid out to live with him or like close Dude, to him. I, or whatever that's the fuck. still so weird. That's like, very that, weird. That I'm seems say... bad enough, but like literally just ruining the like that's that's worse than grooming, pretty much. Like, I'm not going to say he's, like, a groomer or anything, but, like, dude... Oh, it's kind of worse if you're fucking up their entire <sighs> life and, like, everything with their yeah. parents and then the whole relationship they have with their family. It's almost worse in a way. Definitely. Like, like just, you're still, you're still ruining that child's so entire life in one way or another, whether it's actual grooming or this. <laughs> it's fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not only that, Mint Heart wasn't the one who made the GoFundMe. So in actuality, Mint Heart had no control over whether this GoFundMe was taken down. In Jordan's retelling of these events, their mother was on top of it immediately, and there was no mention of the boyfriend staying another night, but instead, Jordan being safe behind a locked door, that being their room, while they waited for the boyfriend to come collect his stuff and leave. All works. How exactly are we supposed to lock these people up? We file reports to the police. That's literally the most we can do on a legal end. Remember this one? We had to catch him off guard. We had to make sure his victim was safe because he was going to absolutely target her and still does to this day. Note that he claims to keep Jordan safe, but then immediately contradicts this statement by saying that they were still targeted by Vita to that very day. Wait, what? Hold up. I thought mm -hmm. we were talking about the mom's boyfriend. Now we're talking about Vita? What do you mean? When did we make the jump from the mom's boyfriend to Vita? Is the mom's boyfriend Vita? No. Oh, no, I would hope not. Vita's yes. the ex-predator hunter that allegedly groomed this person as well. Okay, yeah, it's a bit confusing, I guess. Let's rewind it real quick and see if we can make sense of it down. In right. Jordan's retelling of these events, their mother was on top of it immediately, and there was no mention of the boyfriend staying another night, but instead, Jordan being safe behind a locked door, that being their room, while they waited for the boyfriend to come collect his stuff and leave. All works. How exactly are we supposed to lock these people up? We file reports to the police. That's literally the most we can do on a legal end. Remember this one? We had to catch him off guard. We had to make sure his victim was safe because he was going to absolutely target her and still does to this day. Note that he claims to keep Jordan safe, but then immediately I, contradicts uh, this statement by saying that they were still targeted so by Vita confusing. that very day. Also, yeah, how is that a contradiction? Yeah. He's very... Like I said, he's structuring this disjointed. Yeah. Also, like... Protecting someone, even though they're still being targeted to this day, does not mean you're not, like, protecting them. But okay. Yeah, eh, it's confusing. Let's just continue. You, dumb. you have zero oh, context, Danny? He is on vacation right now. 
Even though he's still messaging in the server. I joined the too context. late. I have zero context. The context, um, the context, Danny, is that this is Kumo's video on Lyle Convoy. And so far from what we've gathered, uh, Lyle Convoy is a really, really bad predator hunter that either lies about the predator being caught by him, or he operates a predator hunt so bad that he almost ruins the kid's life. It's just That's really, great. it's really weird to piece together because Kumo's video is all over the place. Like, it's very disjointed. Isn't he the EDP guy? No, that's Gordon Flowers. I think you're Gordon Flower. About. Gordon Flowers is actually really efficient after, since the uh, EDP shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Ever since he failed to catch EDP, he's been way better at catching predators. But uh, no, that's not him. Lyo Convoy is entirely different. I love catching pedophiles. Leo Convoy's quote-unquote predator hunting just involves him bringing them into a Discord call and yelling at them. <laughs> you <apparently> touch kid. <laughs> that bad. bad. <laughs> Eat bad. Eat bad. This is just like what you could do about it. He's on vacation. Oh no, trust me. I know how that feels because I'm inundated with this stuff 24-7. After that video dropped, I've had six people DM me about them being preyed on. I don't do this Exited for some out. asinine Receipts. idea. Cloud, most of my predator hunting, most of it, believe it or not, is quiet. The reality of this situation Bullshit. is it couldn't be further from the truth. Lyo is often too busy playing Among Us and baby talking peaches in a Discord call at least 15 hours a day. There have been complaints ad nauseum that Lyo Convoy, when reached out to, can't do anything for these people. Myself included. I've tried to reach out to Lyo Convoy a very <laughs> long time ago, long before I was ever don't expose removed me, Danny. from the Senate. Black Balled <laughs> from the community, Lyo Convoy actually does not handle predation cases. Lyo Convoy does not help victims. Are these like aside from st what? Am, what am I looking at right now? It's, um... Who is Josh? Nauseum that Lyo Convoy. Um, not a smart move, Josh. Please stop and go home. Fuck off. You wanted to heal. Here's your chance. Stop it, please. Just go home. I brought the pills with me. You're getting what you want. Goodbye, Emily. Josh, what is what is this? Who is I'm... Josh and who is Emily? How is this relevant uh, to Lyle Convoy? Oh, oh, oh. When reached oh, out to... Oh. Stop showing your Good DMs. <laughs> who is Emily? Who is Josh? Why is this relevant? Can't do anything Stop for showing these your DMs. Myself included. Cool. I've tried to reach out to Lyo Convoy a very long time ago, long before I was ever removed from the Senate. Black Who's whose video is this? Who is Emily? Who's Josh? Blackballed from the community. Understand. Lyo Convoy actually does not handle predation case. Do you guys need a guide? Because I know where this is from. All right, uh, Matt, are you in cheese trenches? Because yeah, we can we can talk about this shit. Um, if you're in cheese mm. trenches, just join VC and we'll drag you in. It's called, it's called Psych Ward it's now. Like, yeah, it's, kind of, it's back oh, to yeah, its it's normal called, name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot. It's it's called Psych Ward now. We're back to being the Psych Ward because the cheese jokes got old and they moldy. got moldy. <laughs> they got old <laughs> so fast. They got moldy. Um, we were just aging it. Join the cesspool here. All right, you're Gandalf the stripped. Okay, just join. Okay, there he is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Dragoman. Hello. All right, Gandalf, you're on the air. All right. Hello. So, um. All right, can everyone hear me? Yes. Yeah. You're coming through. You're good. All right, I'm going to keep uh, my jut-ins as brief as possible for you all. No, you can feel free to elaborate a bit, because we're oh. a bit lost so, on this anyway. What we saw here with the... Uh... These DMs right here. Hold on, I'm hearing myself. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I forgot to mute it. I forgot I was on the radio. Um, <laughs> so the He's Josh asleep. stuff, that is from the Lyo Convoy stream. That is a text discussion between Josh and his victim. I believe here they're called Emily. They're now called going by Jordan. That's what we're oh, talking okay. about here. Oh, okay. So this is him going on a pseudo-suicidal uh, rampage. And she's trying to convince him to go home, and he's threatening to kill himself. Wait, Wait, so is Josh the mom's boyfriend, or is Josh the former predator yep. hunter? Josh is Joshua Vita. Okay, so okay, he's the so uh, ex-Leo associate. This is yes, he's oh, okay. the ex-Leo associate that was part of Barrel, who uh, Leo claims to have thrown in prison. There's a whole thing with that separate. It's actually explained in the Queen Serafina video that you all didn't recognize that Kumo also made. I'm not going to get into that. 
Okay. Okay. God, why the but fuck the is this laid out like can't this? do anything for these people. Myself included. I've tried to reach out to Lyo Convoy a very long time ago, long before I was ever removed. Who are the uh, people behind this video with the DMs up here? Uh, this is just Lyo Convoy working with Emily or Jaden, and she was taking screenshots of the stuff and sending it over. Okay from the Senate, blackballed from the community, Lyo Convoy actually does not handle predation cases. Lyo Convoy does CLD not help Kumo victims. CLDR bad question mark? Aside from not necessarily. Aside from harass Yeah, no, not necessarily. video. Not necessarily I'll, Kumo bad. I'll it's... put it like this. When Kumo targeted Lyo, I was like, okay, yeah, I can see something going with this because I've watched Lyo Convoy for a while and I have issues with him, personally. I don't think he's really good at what he does so i was willing to hear him out his presentation is god awful but he does have some points yeah he does i agree i just don't yeah. like the structuring of i described it as, usually i described it as like and a 50. i don't hear either yes bad video structure perfect i described it earlier as like a 50 50 mix of bag like he has he does have some very substantial stuff against lyo convoy but the other 50 is like this did not need to be here a lot of shit is in it here. Also, would have been nice for him to say that uh, this was messages between Vita and the uh, and Jordan. <laughs> that that, that would have been nice to know. Oh, it yeah, would have. No, I got really confused. Changed the context yeah, the way of the situation. The way I described it earlier is like instead of neatly going from point A to B to C, we're going from A to Y to J. Yeah. So, at first, at first, I thought off. this was fucking Leo. <laughs> I thought that was Lyo at first. Yeah, I, I was confused. I didn't. I didn't know if that was Lyo. It, or what it the doesn't fuck. help that uh, he dropped uh, Lyo's actual legal name as well, which we know because he literally streamed himself in a courtroom. Uh, uh, well. Yes, Lyo has gone to court before. Um, Good for him. No, it was what not. Uh, it was not him. It was because somebody was accusing him of harassment. I forget the actual person involved, but he was going um, after an autist because Leo actually has uh, he goes after predators, but also after online idiots. His going against idiot stuff is pretty entertaining because it's low stakes. It's his predator stuff that I hate. Um, Wait, so is this like is this like a quantum situation, but instead the court case actually happened? Yeah, no, she was accusing him of harassment and Leo showed back. pretty, uh, pretty succinctly that actually she was harassing him. Hmm. So Great, fair enough. Leo has people that goes after him just as much as he goes after others. Yeah, all right. that's fair. Sing and getting these people in calls to badger them and upload it to his YouTube content farm. Lyo Convoy does claim that the only thing he can do is assist victims in making police reports and telling their parents. Not only something that is probably taught to every child in a fucking school assembly, but you can learn the latter through a simple Google search or a YouTube video. There are plenty of these. I, hell, I can link some of them in the description if you genuinely don't know. You don't need to go to Lyo Convoy directly to get this sort of information. But the real reason why people go to Lyo Convoy is this sort of lout factor. They want publicity. Lyo Convoy discovers what Vita was up to behind the scenes. Well, he found out through three days later and he exposed him. Now, if I'm being entirely honest with you, I've never exposed anybody with no intentions of gaining personally. Well, I know I personally had the noble intentions of exposing the subject and getting more people aware about this so they could steer clear of, say, individuals like Carmen Ryder or Brion. I've never once claimed that what I did actually did anything to sort of find justice for this situation. The difference between a guy like me, who since from- Carmen Ryder's the lollycon that Kumo talked about, right? I believe so. Think, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's that's who Carmen Ryder is. The I'm age of 17 her. has he made videos very too. few, exposing people for very serious shit with the intentions of people in those circles or people who have been oblivious or ignorant to these facts, that they can steer clear of this and keep themselves out of legal trouble and possibly even out of danger. What I don't do is, is take credit to from actual professionals no, and people who do go out of their okay. way and get shit done. To make sure this statement is complete, I am insinuating that that is just what Lyo Convoy does. And I cannot tell you how excruciatingly heartbreaking it is to have to oh. tell some of these kids, I'm sorry, but if you can't tell your parents oh, and right can't call ear. the police, I can't help you. 
Oh. And I live with that every <laughs> single day. Oh, this is a totally it is for me. It is Once exhausting. It's when a guy like what? What'd you say? Oh, for me, this is going to be a tone police thing just with Kumo's response. It's not about Leo, just wait until Kumo's response. Oh, Convoy puts it like this, you know, it would be believable that it's draining and exhausting, and someone with a good heart with good intentions might genuinely be heartbroken by this fact. Problem is, Lyo Convoy is not actually heartbroken by this fact, he's, he, he's actually completely fucking unbothered. In fact, he goes about his daily life- I feel like that's a baseless accusation. Well, like, this sure, is what I'm talking about with the phone police. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But like, Kumo like, jumped in to just rag on him for no discernible reason here. Well, it's not for no discernible reason. Like, we get that uh, Lyle Convoy is really bad at predator hunting, but, like, it's also a baseless accusation to say that he doesn't genuinely care about these children being preyed on, you know? And he probably does genuinely care about it. He's just really shit at knowing it. Exactly. He's really fucking retarded. But it's my point with this in particular is that Kumo is accusing him of not caring because he plays video games? Like... Yeah. It's that's, really that's fucking a, weird. That's called retreating to a comfort zone. It could be completely true. I play video games when I have a shitty day at work. I mean, that's that's fair. And I work in security. Trust me, I've seen some horrible shit. Well, that, I guess that also raises the question on how often does Lyo Convoy do this instead of actually helping the children? Well, yeah, another thing is uh, Lyo has actively rejected to help people before. He has told people that he has too much going on, so he does have some idea of his limits. Because um, this was another thing that Kumo did, but he did accuse Lyo of not doing enough, despite also saying that Lyo doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, it could, yeah, it it could potentially be both. Yeah, well, yeah, it could easily be both, but with Kumo, there's the whole thing of you genuinely don't know if he's trying to make an argument that both he needs to fix both of these things, or he's genuinely forgot about the other point and is now making a new point that's di uh, disconnected. Yeah. Remember, near he, Kumo, Kumo does have a habit of pretending like he's a mind reader with people's feelings. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's pretending at all. I think he genuinely doesn't yeah. understand that people don't think like he does. Yeah. yeah. That's fair, I, too. I fully believe that, too, the way he is. Uh, the term for it is magical thinking, and it's very common in people with mental illnesses, and I can say that because Kumo is admittedly mentally ill. It doesn't he have like, schizophrenia? Yeah, and that's not any fault of his. He seems to be managing it mostly very well, but still, this is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. If having fun messing around on the internet and does this sort of as a hobby. Need I substantiate any of this? Well, I don't know. Look at the bulk of the guy's content. The bulk of the guy's content is playing with and building fucking toys on his channel and talking about cartoons. When he's not doing that, as I said, he can be seen baby-talking hopeless peaches or playing video games with hopeless peaches. And by the off chance that Lyo Convoy is bored and needs a- You guys see the shit that Hopeless Peaches is being cancelled for right now? Yes. She's never not getting cancelled. Peaches is just perennially well, like... in the cancellation folder. <laughs> well, I feel like this one's actually valid. Uh, people are, like, cancelling her for making inherently sexual, sexual jokes around minors in a server. And she was, like, deflecting that she didn't recall because she has memory issues. No, no, that's not... I've seen I've seen Peaches talk and uh, do her thing. That is such a questionable excuse. Yeah. Like I know her from afar, and absolute I I find that very unlikely because yeah, <laughs> she remembers no. everything bad that happens to her, mm -hmm. which is potentially possible, but I don't think it's likely for her. Yeah. Yeah. No. That. The first time I saw that thread from Hopeless Peaches about, like, her making sexual jokes around minors and saying that the excuse was memory loss or something, I'm just like, yeah, no, that's that's deflection right there. Is this that's a pro-jury situation? Sussy buck. <laughs> yeah, no, that one, that one for me was a little off-kilter. Yeah, no. In his day or even week, he will get into a Discord call and scream his head off at someone until he's about to have an aneurysm. Yes, I'm not joking, there is a clip out there of Lyo Convoy damn near having a heart attack screaming at a neurodivergent person.
There's nothing wrong with screaming at neurodivergent people, by the way. If you need to raise your voice at one, I go ahead. I, scr I scream at Nero all the time. Yeah, people scream you. at me all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, Krillix. <laughs> but uh, I think you know, a big part of this is just Kumo taking things very personally from that regard. Because honestly, when Lyo starts screaming is when he's at his most entertaining. When it's at somebody who isn't genuinely unable to handle it. No. Now, this is something I frequently allude to in this video, and it's something I haven't really elaborated on and have just said in passing, so I'll go ahead and clear it up here. Lyo Convoy sort of asserts himself as this moral authority, and I'm not just asserting this baselessly. Just moral Lyo authority. Lyo has gone on record to say many times in every situation that he is morally correct, even in situations where he objectively can't, can't be couldn't be, there's not even a fucking iota of a chance that he could be. Reason being, the very same person who goes around parading himself about how much he has to protect the children, how much he does for victims, has no problem calling the school of a 15-year-old, telling them that that kid is- Oh, yeah, 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 this part, this part's pretty bad on Lyo. This shit's school, fucked. When I saw that Lyo do that, uh, live, I was like, oh, fuck, he screwed himself. And then nothing bad happened to him. That shocked me. Dude, dude, that's, that's ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. You th yeah, fucking, I fucking Rev thinking Meat Canyon getting away with the Tom Brady video is ridiculous because, oh, it's somehow comparable to Lollycon. Leo Convoy getting away with the fucking shit he said with the 15-year-old? The that's ridiculous. And that 15-year-old ran circles around him, too. Like, he was getting trolled. <laughs> yeah, from, from the clips I saw, the 15-year-old was coming out on top till the fucking <laughs> retard that is Leo, Leo just reported to the fucking school board, bro. Yeah, no, Lyo pulled out a nuclear card that someone like him, because he claims to be a good Christian male. He's, that's his thing. That's one of his identities. Um, as a matter of fact, he literally quotes the Bible at somebody who tries to use quotes from My Little Pony. Ma Friendship is magic. Bro's pretending yes, to be a diamond really back. Happened. Um, he oh, then turns around and then accuses a, or threatens to accuse a 15-year-old of wanting to shoot up a school. And I'm going, whoa, that is so insane. Yeah. It's unhinged. It's unchristian-like, and it's inappropriate. I mean, I think the opening from Kumo's video already established how unhinged he is, but... But like, this is just... beyond a funny unhinged. This isn't actually dangerous or to people around All you because unhinged. he couldn't get yeah. a leg up on him in an internet argument. Now, ironically enough, this is something similar to what one of my first commentary beefs was. It was when two kids, mind you, kids, teens, preteens, whatever, drew, drew very poorly crude dicks in MS Paint to fuck with each other. And Lyo decides to intervene because because he's Lyo. I mean, look, he's I'm involved your... because I choose to. In the previous video I made discussing the habitual hypocrisy of Lyo Convoy. I... Oh, hey, this is the zoo file he gives a platform. I discussed his weird obsession with bullying minors. The most egregious thing when it comes to bullying children. Oh, Gilded Pooh. Uh, video... I actually know a little bit about Gilded Pooh. Um, Lyo does not give this guy a platform. As a matter of oh, fact, no, 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 no. It's Kumo that does it because he oh, has an entire... Kumo gives Gilded Pooh the the right wing whack job. I had to step away for a sec, sorry. So Gilded Who is a conspiracy theorist furry who genuinely is quite unhinged. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of gathered like, that from the first time I watched this and then watched this entire fucking section featuring Gilded Poo. Yeah, no, Dude. this is th this is worrying to me because Gilded Poo is somebody that nobody on either side likes. And yeah. here I don't is. understand why... Kumo this guy was connected him. to, uh, this guy is connected to, uh, Kaz Warfox and, uh, Coyote Lovely, who are both been in serious, serious shit. Mm -hmm. Like, this is uploaded. not a good luck. ...by Queen Serafina. In this video, you have two 15-year-olds that were bickering with one another because apparently one sent porn to the other. Well, you think it's you? Oh, you're oh, right, no. probably you're right yet. Uh, I should be. Give me a few reasons. Well, number one, I can figure out how what we're, I can figure out very quickly where a kid lives by their photo, and I'm pretty sure he's probably got one running so around. cringe. Oh yeah, you come to my house. I live in a gang neighbor, and I have guns, so. No, I'm you not pull up, I'll just shoot. Hey, hey retard. Hey, hey. So he jumps in and immediately is trying to intimidate the kid. Is talking about getting the kid's address. The kid, who by the way is complete cringe, like every other 15 year old, rightly assumes that that means that Lyo is starting to come to his house. And to be very clear here, if that was said to me, I would assume exactly the same thing. So I can't really blame the 15 year old here. You literally threatened me. Look, I'm involved because I choose to. You, 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 you come to my house, I'll put a bullet in your skull. Just say. You're not going to put anything in anywhere. Your airsoft guns don't scare me, son. Sit down and be quiet. 
I actually have guns, Buckthorn. I'm not worried about some dumb 15 year old making threats about firearms. If I want to ruin your life, I'll just call your school and tell them you made the threat. You won't get anywhere in life. You want to play this game? We can play that game. So after Lyo heavily implies yeah, that he's going to go to that kid's house, the kid threatens violence, it, which is hearing actually it back not totally again, insane because it's I was fucked, but it's not as fucked as I thought it was. Um, Because the 15 year old did bring up firearms first. But oh, him well, jumping straight thing, to the school board is what's fucked. The thing is, it's it's not really so much a threat. He's like, he's like, he's saying, "Try something. Come to my house. Try something." Yeah, which, no, it kind of in that it instance comes off as like, "Come at me, bro. Uh, I'll commit self defense." Yeah, kind of thing. It, it it does have very bookie ish vibes. Um, like it's not it's not like the kid saying, "Hey, I'll come to you and shoot you." He's like, "If you come here, you're you're like, I'm shooting you." The best response, and this is what I would have done when I was 15, is just not engage with that kind of talk, but hey, 15-year-olds are going to screw up. It's fine. I yeah, mean, he was kid, trolling so. the guy, so like, credit to the kid, I guess. Um, I agree. It's, well, not, the, it's not the best he response. He still won. The 15-year-old still, still won. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's like an act of violence he was committing. He was just saying that he would just defend himself, I guess. It was part of a naturally escalatory line of conversation. Mm -hmm. Why is he giving right. a zoo file a platform? Wouldn't that just make Kumo look bad? It it, it does. Because no, he's... He, there's, this, there's, like, this controversy where this guy apparently, like, downloaded a bunch of bestiality and sent it to people in the form of memes, I guess. I remember no, the situation. He's not I a remember. zoo file. He just downloads zoo file. Porn. There's a big difference. <laughs> like, he, this, this, was back zoo during the, uh, this was back during the Cast War Fox Coyote Lovely thing, but somebody posted a rather crass meme of somebody having intercourse with a dolphin that Fuck. didn't show any nudity. Um, and so his response was to drop legitimate, like, people interacting Vosh style with horses. Fuck. Yeah, and no. <laughs> it's not bad. They're telling me you're not a zoophile when you have shit like that on your computer? It's why I'm glad I just watch from afar and laugh and document. 15 and some guy who's almost 40 is threatening me, but probably make the exact same cringe threats, but whatever. Point is, is he goes from that to jumping to talking about calling the kid's school. Lyo opens with, you should be scared of me, I can get your address. Who's really the one responsible for the provocation in this scenario is definitely not the 15 year old. Oh yeah, yeah, say it to my fucking no, face. You want me to be in your house? That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, when Lyo's saying shit like that, that's on him. Yeah, it's completely on Lyo. When he's saying, when he's saying, like, you want me to come to your house? I'm saying that to a 15 year old, bro. Like, get a life. You this know, isn't fucking Call of Duty. You're not playing I've fucking. Heard him throw far more better for 15 year old insults before. Like, there was this one time where he asked someone where their mother was, and he said, Oh, she's in bed. And he said, Well, maybe I'll join her and give her a better son. That's the kind of shit he'd be throwing Fuck. to a 15 year old, not threatening to call the school. Yeah, you should. That's. See. That's the type of fucking shit talk I expect to hear when you're yeah, playing you should, you Call should, of Duty Yeah, you should have, lobby. like, some Call of Duty lobby talk, not like in this. Like, he has the cop banter. He has it down. He just doesn't use it. Well, if you should be. You're dealing with a 15-year-old. Don't sit there and threaten to come to their house. It was house. him talking about being in gangs and owning guns, bro. I, that, dude, that's such an... It's the United fucking States of America. Every house <laughs> ha has a gun, practically. This... He is... He is taking guns. the hard... The... Trying to try hard, blow hard, rich white boy energy and acting like it's legitimately threatening. <laughs> yeah. X. You want to know what happened like with him? The kid's him? obviously just saying shit. He was told him to call independently, not given any rules. Well, if a city boy got a gun, I usually am not afraid of them. Get him to stop beefing with some I other dumb kid. I was scared with a gun until I moved to Oklahoma. True story. I hop in the call and Jax loses his mind. Fucking funny, man. You have no balls. Jax, shut up. Threatens to shoot me. Threatens to do all this. <laughs> Who the fuck's Lyo? Jax, how old are you? I'm Lyo. How old 15. are you? 15, man. Well, you think I'm scared of you? Oh, you don't no, know. You probably you should don't know yet. <laughs> Uh, no, but you should probably be, should be. Why did you well, say number that? Number one, I can figure out how we're, or I can figure out very quickly where a kid lives by their photo. Couldn't call his parents because they're deaf. And I'm pretty sure you probably got one running around. Oh huh, yeah, you come to my house. I live in a gang neighborhood and I have guns, so. Which is why he gets away with this nonsense. Of doxing. That shit's no, so fucking no, gay. <laughs> what that? I what the school. fuck? Because you know like, pizza, we live in the United States yeah, of America. What the hell is this? I want to make that a sound for. <laughs> so, which is why he gets away with this nonsense. 
<laughs> what is that? Is that Leo? Yeah, no, it is. Is that Leo? Really? I thought that was Some a kid. Which is why he gets like away with this nonsense. It was Leo screaming over the kid mocking him. Most that I called a school. Fuck. Because as you know, Peter. Fuck. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. So, we live in the United States of America, where school shootings are pretty common. Oh, Look, my I'm a fucking god. Because I, do I love I'm, school shootings. Bully, you, you come to my house, I'll put a bully in your skull. Just I want to say what I think he is, but thoughts. it's not appropriate for YouTube, and it's a very antiquated phrase. You can DM me it. Guns don't scare me, so yeah, sit down and be quiet. Just, um, I actually have guns fucked up. You should DM it to I'm me not too, worried about some dumb 15-year-old making threats about firearms. If I want to ruin your life, I'll just call your school and tell them you made the threat, and you won't get uh, anywhere yes. in life. You want to play this game? We can play that game. And the last thing I want is to have this idiot pop off his mouth about how he's been in gangs and how he's hurt people and how he has guns and do nothing, <laughs> only to find out, oh, yep. the kid went psycho and killed people. That's, That's totally what he said. Hypnotic. So what just happened to make some old... Oh, so he was just twisting what the kid said. Yep. Yeah, that's he never said he was a gang or they hurt anyone. Well, that takes some context first. A I hope that didn't date me too bad. I hope you didn't what? Oh, what I, what I sent you in DMs, I hope that didn't date me too bad. No. I was no, I say dumb shit. Like, like, no, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I say that word all the time, too. I just don't want to say it over your live stream. No, Somehow Nier is the only one that doesn't get heat for saying that shit. Like, YouTube does not fucking care what Nier says it for some reason. It's because he has the energy. <laughs> he's to be he's fair, a gay man to be in fair, a I've been able, I've been able to say a lot of fucked up shit on my stream, including Tomboy also saying the the awful things he said on my stream. Yep. No, I'm. you see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, a historian YouTuber. I can't say anything. Hmm. Unless I be deemed a Nazi. Oh. <laughs> you're no, not. Here's what a content Damn, you're like for boomers server. that make up the majority of my viewership. I'm asking you to mentally prepare for this. I mean, I can change the least. Families and bills to worry about, and I don't want you to have an angerism over this when you realize how dumb it is. Here's what she did: she corrected one portion of grammar in a script criticizing an acquaintance, allegedly was a bad friend in some cases, and talked about her mental health issues on Twitter. Yeah, you feel that headache coming Why on? Why are you doing music in the background? In order to think these things are worth losing your minds over and trying to ruin someone's life. And for those of you. <laughs> you are gonna try to say this isn't an attempt at life ruining? Shove it! I'm not here to listen to your apology on your own stupidity. Video after video came out accusing this woman of these terrible crimes. Calling her a bitch, a liar, and a backstabber is not a crime. In fact, hopeless peaches even needing to have oh, a segment in this video now? is a problem on yeah, its we own. Jump to hopeless you see peaches. Well, to be fair, okay. it's, a, it's an entirely separate exhibit, so it's. Fine. I actually have a theory about what's happening with Kumo, but it's he is so like down the peaches train. That he is now reaching the the trail cars or the the train cars for the other members of her friend group. It is now just like taking them all out or trying to. Huh. And I'll give him credit. Uh, he picked a really good first target. This would have stopped. Lyle is this absolutely one of the better ones. Wouldn't have been discussed if it was just you white knighting for hopeless peaches, but you couldn't stop it just having your head up her ass. You had to adopt her too. You see, the story goes that Lya Convoy had met hopeless peaches amidst her drama, and because of what was going on with Vita and Beryl, he did not do anything about it. Um, not that he was really obligated to, but I suppose their relationship begins because they made friends and amends over a broken promise or an empty promise that Lyo had made. Now, when I'm sitting here talking about the relationship between Lyo convoy and hopeless peaches i'm not actually here to entertain any of the speculation as to whether their relationship is romantic or not i think they give everyone enough fuel to speculate anyway in fact let's unpack that a bit let's assume that peaches and i are in some sort of relationship i mean we're not but let's assume <laughs> why would that be an issue for Zen? what's the age oh, yeah, difference had... between uh lyos peaches... in his late 30s peaches is i believe my age that would put her at 23 24 uh, that's that's weird. It's a little bit. It's, it's like act, act that person's your daughter. That's weird. Wait, yeah. To put it simply, daughter, it's about really? an eleven-year gap, which would put him like not even. He'd be a tween parent. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah that's, Leo that's Leo weird. calls Peaches his adopted daughter, and like. And I'm just gonna that. say it. Uh, Leo does not have the mental maturity to make sense as her parent.
Oh, I mean, that was very apparent with the fucking clip with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> that has some fucking Z-Hawks vibes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to speculate too bad, but I have heard Lyo talk about his uh, childhood because I've watched pretty much all of his stuff because I was really bored at work and went over it for over a few months. Um, I wonder if there is some level of arrested development there. Because hmm. I love I love questioning what makes people the way they are. Um, I like documenting and speculating. I don't really like going after people for things, so I just watch. And I'm wondering if he was had a rough upbringing and that caused him to just mentally delay. I see. That One is retarded. Some, some sex well, that'd age. be the same thing in some sort of relationship. I mean, we're not, but let's assume. Why would that be I an assume. issue for Zay? Oh yeah, Zay has a pattern of wanting info about someone's sex life. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack what? here. So first and foremost, this particular clip is very performative. He even goes on to act like he has some kind of like shivers going down his spine. Peaches is an adult and frankly doesn't call me daddy. Ugh. But we all know full and well, the fact that he can baby talk and be really suggestive with Peaches is indicative of that not being the case. And furthermore, I'm the fact that he proof. can even enter- Like, I'm actually gonna need proof of that. Yeah, I, I would need clips. Saying it. Yeah, clips would help. One, one single, like, uwu RP screenshot is all I need to believe him. Just I mean, like, pain and idea like- something this despite it not even being presented in Zay's video is actually a sign of projection. It's something that Lyo likes to accuse others of doing very frequently. Something I feel important to mention is that this interjection is in response to Zay, formerly known as Kai Weiss. These people are all sick weirdos. Look at yourself. Look at your daddy. Pull up a video. Oh, You're a fucking, fucking weirdo too. And I hate I've been saying all Zay sure likes to sexualize group. things a lot. I'm noticing a pattern here. In fact, let's unpack that a bit. Let's assume that Peaches and I are in some sort of relationship. Are those sausage fingers? Not, but let's assume. Motherfuckers the Michelin that be an man. Issue for Zay? Oh yeah, Zay has a pattern of one hand on made up or not. The McMiggler? You know? To be fair, you know that when he gives the restaurant a star, it's good food. <laughs> True. An effeminate <laughs> queer black male who it's either good referred food to Lyo is really deep fried. What Peach's wait, hold up. What the fuck does this have anything to do with him being an effeminate queer black male? What the fuck? Who Walk said that? An even? effeminate Did Lyo say that? queer black no, male. Or that Kumo Kumo said that. Kumo. Okay, first of all, it's Kai, or Vuzer, or whatever they call themselves. Nobody respects Kai or his former partner. Kai and Omnia are both just wealth jobs. It does not matter that he's effeminate or that he's black. What matters is that he is crazy. Yeah. No, we're going to focus on his race and gender because it's 2024 and those are the only aspects of a person that really matter. If Kumo <laughs> didn't think this would benefit him, I don't think he'd even bring this up. I mean, he seems to be milking this shit like crazy. I mean, he finally passed a thousand subs. After Hooray! Like, what, five years. I've heard he's back down under. He's, no, he's still he's at 1K. He's, he's 1. still at 1K? Good for him. He, it says right there. He's, we can see his channel on a stream. Uh, no, someone said he was chat. down to 800. I'm assuming he's finally been unshadow banned because he was shadow banned for the longest time. I'm pretty sure it's They're because friends. his video on Hopeless Peaches got taken down. Mm. That's a whole separate issue for me. I don't really care what position he's in because right now mm. I'm neutral towards him just on the case of this specific issue. I don't mo much care either because I'm, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Kumo, but at this point I don't really care what he does with YouTube or anything, so that's on yeah. him. Why would that be an issue for Zay? Oh yeah, Zay has a pattern of wanting info about someone's sex life, made up or not. They're just that level of desperate for dirt. An effeminate queer black male who referred to Lyo as Peach's daddy. Now, if you've ever had any seasoning on your chicken, or I don't know, maybe if you just aren't a pretentious racist liberal, you would probably understand that Zay was just being <laughs> sassy here. There was no sexual connotation, and the amount of times that people accuse Lyo okay, of having a guards. sexual relationship with Peaches is quite few and- Wait, but- Hold on. Um, I think Kumo mixed some words around, because I'm assuming he means a racist conservative. Lyo is not a conservative. <laughs> He's, he is, like, painfully centrist. Um, second of all, yeah, I think Lyo has a point. If this person is trying to um, 
get info on his sex life and undermine his relationships with people, that is absolutely something valid to call out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that would be like me going after Nier and you, and you, uh, Psychonautic, for uh, your relationship status, even though it doesn't matter to the arguments you're making. Yeah, no, after seeing that context, yeah, that's a good point from Lyo. I don't understand why. I don't understand the point Kumo's making here. It, the worst Angular. part is, overall, Kumo's not wrong. He's just fumbling it. Yeah. Far as he usually so does that from what I've seen in his videos. Like, he just... It's like he's almost listening. got it for... It's like he's almost there when it comes to making videos, but he just doesn't quite have it when he tries to actually execute. Yeah. So it's the question. Listening. The question I haven't even asked yet. Why would Zay, calling you Peach's daddy, have any relevance to him trying to dig up information on her sex life? It's almost like you're insinuating that your relationship with Peaches has anything to do with her sex life. I'm having way too much fun with this. Peaches is an adult, and frankly, doesn't call me daddy. Ugh. Now, frankly, we wouldn't be here talking about Peaches and Lyo if all they had going on between them was, uh, that they're a bit fucking weird. In fact, we're only talking about them right now because... If Lyo had a right-hand man, it would be Peaches. If Lyo had a handler, it would be Peaches. If Lyo had a number one influence in terms of his actions and his behaviors, it's probably more than likely nine times out of ten, Peaches. You see, Hopeless Peaches has gone on record multiple times to lecture Lyo and convince him to make decisions that otherwise he wouldn't have stood by. And I'm so proud of myself for structuring the video in this manner because I get to explain no, that. No, no, no. Oh, 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 please. This is a crime you structured in this place. I hate going from A to Y to J to fucking F. No, then no, all no, the way no, 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 no. B. There is one little i will give him this he did manage to string e to f hooray <laughs> hooray hip, hip, we got hooray. something together the problem is we went from k to e <laughs> I, just, I don't i don't like this fucking <laughs> the structuring is not what you should be proud of that's all i need to say you got hey, some points to be made here but the structuring could have definitely been improved on this on specific one was a good structure though this specific transition Peaches directly. Yeah. Yes, fair enough. Slander and Malice. Uh -huh. Your favorite's in the chat, but he can go Where'd away. Where'd you go off? Oh, cool, yeah, Gorgon. Did... Look at these silly adults. Hey, the conversation. I work more than you do, boy, and I don't make people cut themselves. October 23rd. Wait, Kumo's... Wait, hold on. Kumo's saying, look at these silly, willy productive adults contributing to our society when they're literally a dumbass who came to you crying because they were caught making girls cut themselves. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Fat bitches need to shut up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, okay. oh wait, hold on, Kumo. Also, didn't you go into a? Uh, haven't you been going instead of you know contributing to society yourself? Haven't you been going into different servers trying to spam um, documents about me and videos about me and make and now making thumbnails for someone who owns a load of zoo porn? Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. That was one of the most succinct. Like just. She shut that down really quickly. Yeah, but that's like that's... Uh, he's adding meme clips as if that isn't true. Yeah, no, because it's well, absolutely no, that's my true. Point is Peaches, <laughs> Peaches just blew him out. Yeah, this that, kind of seems like Peaches kind of owns you here. Kumo's entire point to that is I'm not friends with the zoo file. I'm friends with someone who downloads zoo file porn. <laughs> like, okay? <laughs> What's the zoo file again? I don't remember that. Uh, I know you just briefly ran me. <laughs> is that the one that said I don't have so and so terabytes? I have like. Yeah. Fucking hundred some megabytes. Yeah. Some. He's like, I don't need a hundred. I don't need terabytes. I already have enough. It's like, what the fuck? Look, it's like, there, 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 uh, enough. There shouldn't be enough. There's, there should be there's, zero. There's no enough. There should be zero. <laughs> Any That's amount I mean. is too much. Enough is already implies too much. <laughs> you know the joke, one is one too many. Exactly. Yeah, that is yep. exactly what this is. It's just enough means there's too much already. This is, you. we need to go back. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, Let me rewind this a second. The internet and its consequences have been a mistake for all of humanity. About me and videos about me and make and now making thumbnails for someone who owns a load of zoo porn. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. Zoo. Of course. I fucking you can't like look at horses anymore. Whoopsie. Yeah, Kuma loves oh, his profile. What a fucking liar, dude. What a that's fucking- That's not a lie. It isn't. What is your- no. What is his defense gonna- I wanna see. 
Word Weasley Easter. little liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah, Holy like, oh God, fucking so shit, dude. Oh Literally lying. Still <laughs> lying to his shit. audience. So a little background behind this clip in terms of what I was doing and how I even got myself into yes, this please. little uh, mess to begin with. I had coincidentally been doing my research for my Lyo video, meaning I was watching Lyo videos. And in the play next, well, it we, showed wow. me that Lyo... <laughs> I never could have guessed. Whoa! Was actually streaming. Whoa. Even more context is that my video on Hopeless Peaches that has been archived and will be linked in the description had been falsely struck by likely none other than Hopeless Peaches herself. Reason being, the timestamp I got was a clip of Peaches being an ass, not me. So naturally, I'm curious as to what the fuck they're even doing in this live stream together. And I'm met with... <laughs> I'm met with these two baby talking each other. <laughs> By nature are good. Anyways. Oh, okay, so he has an actual Ooh, clip. what is that? A ducky! So a ducky! A ducky! A ducky! A ducky! A ducky! A ducky! Yeah, no, that's bad. You don't that's want to address bad. what she actually said about you. You just move on to the baby talk. This, this should have been ten minutes ago. Yeah, Ooh. when he was talking about the baby talk shit, like, why didn't you bring this up earlier? Yeah, and this... you don't actually address what Peaches threw at you. That you know, too! Haha, funny like, meme mate. <laughs> this guy had two. This guy had a dead to rights fucking call out of the weirdness and inappropriateness of their relationship, and he saved it until after she owned him. And he doesn't address anything that said. she brought up. Anything. Anything she said. This is a fumble. Kumo, I originally thought your video was like okay outside of the fucking structuring being a bit jank and confusing. But now I'm just. No. Kumo, we don't want you to fail, alright? <laughs> I didn't no, want, want you to, to fail this time. I'm gonna flat out say it. Like, point for point, I am on Kumo's side. But his presentation is so god-awful, nobody yeah. with a functioning brain is going to side with him. That, and I'm actually kind of pissed off at him now because he does not address what she says to him at all. He just moves on to does, baby talking. I think he does, like, in the last 15 minutes of the video. What we should do it right do, now! <laughs> what he needs to do is say, no, yes, yes, Gold Gilded Poo is a piece of shit, but Lyo is a bigger one, and it is justifiable for me to work with him, and this is why. Would I believe yeah. him? No, but it would help. It'd be, it'd be better than, he's not a zoo file, he just downloads zoo file porn, <laughs> like, oh, I what? need, I need him to address that now in the video, though, not the last 15 minutes, not, like, 15 minutes from now, I need, I need it right after, like, At no more stage, than, no more than 30 is it seconds. enough of a difference to make a difference? I don't even know. <laughs> like, at this stage, I would say no. It's so many fumbles, one after another. He has something decent going. And if this, is, this isn't just formatted it properly. This, this entire isn't, video needs to get recut. This isn't like we were. This isn't like when we were beefing with him. And we wanted him to fail. Personally, I still, I, I'm still friends with him on Discord. I don't, I don't want to see him fail. I want to see this video do good. Personally, but like, I don't, I don't really care that much. But like, I didn't think, I didn't want to see him fail this time because he actually had some points throughout the video. But now I just, ah, uh, you, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up bad. Eat the shit out of me, daddy. So those of you who know me and have been watching my content for a while, you know I'm actually pretty smug sometimes, especially when someone I don't like is embarrassing themselves. So I left this very innocent, wow. but, uh, ambiguous comment in their live stream chat, and it states as follows. Look at these silly willy productive adults contributing we to our society. Story. Cat face. Now, something Peaches absolutely fucking hates me for is she calls me arrogant and narcissistic, uh, neo Nazi, racist, Wait, homophobic. People who can recall these things. No, I don't want to revive that point. I fucking hate Wait, you. Wait, that's though. off topic. <laughs> well, anyway, Peaches thinks I'm just an arrogant ass, and that's because I've expressed to Peaches in the Senate before that I'm just fucking smarter than her, and she she's like, uh, you No, that's not what happened, Kumo. You may have tried to express that in the VC in the Senate, but you got absolutely owned in that VC, dude. You're yeah. trying to paint it as if you took a, a W. Of it? Yeah, there's an entire, like, video of the VC he had in the Senate. Um, oh, do you think? Oh, I'll have to look at that later. I don't, I don't know. know, if you, uh, I don't know. No, he's trying to paint it as if like he took a W from that VC in the Senate, but everybody was owning him. I don't know if he no, necessarily if thinks aloud is funny, Danny, but he's close to that. 
going on Senate is a very, very dangerous gamble because even if you have valid points, they will rip you to shreds with no mercy mm-hmm. because that is like they are there for blood. No, like, I got that what, kind of vibe. Um, I was they actually, are what Kiwi Farms is claimed to be. Um, I was I was actually in the Senate at one point during the whole beef I had with Kumo. Um, uh, to the person me. in the chat, I, I that, is that. that is hopeless peaches. That is not Lyo's wife. That no, is with the beef, beef we had with Kumo. Because someone yeah, just yeah, asked yeah. if that's a uh, that's a uh, Lyo's wife. No, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Please do not do. Please do not say that. No, that it's his wife. I don't know what you're talking about. That's why. <laughs> this has been a fairly funny stream when I had the time to listen in. I'm glad you're having fun, Vincent Martin. Honestly, I am too. This is better than just yelling at each other over the internet. It's better <laughs> to do. I mean, we resolve shit with Krillix for the same reasons, and we've had a good relationship <laughs> with him so far, so. I'm just a guest. Um... No, you've been chill, though. You've been very informative, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you, you've shit, been so. helping. I, we'd be so lost without you. <laughs> a lot of us would be very lost. Yeah. That's why I offered to join, and I was like, "This is such an esoteric topic. Like, I'd love to help." Yeah. No. Definitely. Yeah, no, you you're, definitely you're, helped. You've been welcome. This. You've been welcome down here for sure. This has been very helpful. <laughs> I this would is be better than everyone, don't so you? Uh, Coyote Lovely you. also expressed this sentiment. Uh, to which Peaches had this grudge start with me because I, I simply explained, no Peaches, you just don't set the bar very high. Now, someone who's addicted to the attention and status they get from being a fucking victim all the time, whilst simultaneously being arrogant themselves and having a god complex. Well, someone like that, uh, that so someone- That's a little bit of projection, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm referring to He's Hope's not Peaches. Even I have to agree. God. The god complex thing is such a jump, but everything else, her being, like, arrogant and smug, she is those things. I well, wouldn't I'm not, say he's wrong I'm also either, not, but... I'm not saying he's yeah. wrong, but what I am saying is he's a he's projecting a little bit. Well, from, he's running from, into somebody with his same personality type, and he's not handling it very well. Mm-hmm. From yeah. personal experiences, well, no, they typically... People like this typically don't, because he handled it exactly like Tomboy, and when I, when I did the same shit with Tomboy, I mean, that just didn't go well. <laughs> Yeah. They don't typically when people that are egotistical and narcissistic like that run into a conflicting and like you know person, not even necessarily that they just don't agree or some shit. Just in any way, there's some sort of friction. They, are they don't a, handle it well. It is a great example of magnetic personalities where it is a personality type where if like meets like, they immediately reject each other. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like two of the same um, magnetic pole just rejecting each other. That's a good way to look at it. That's not all personality well, types, but it is this one. Well with her, and, It uh, is this she's... case, but that's not always the case when it's someone like Huma or Tomboy. Because I'm not exactly like the same type of personality. I just met them with a lot of friction. Well, it's like <laughs> me and, and my them spouse. A lot of leniency. Um, it's like me and the missus. She and I are actually very similar, but we're different in ways that make us work together. But that's we're fair. not opposites. That's fair. That someone, I mean, I'm referring to Hopeless Peaches, you know, it didn't sit well with her, and, uh, she's, <laughs> ever since then, definitely had a fucking grudge against me. And not that I mind it, um, but what I do mind is when you make egregious fucking claims Very like much. this. What's the deal with Kumo? And has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinell's help, I have come to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept what- Except that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomena. You say that, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her dogmatic parents. That's that's peaches, I think. And old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report Wait, that since accepting off. the truth, it's my nightmares have ceased, and I'm contingent upon follow-up appointments with Doctor Spinell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. We don't talk about Kumo Momo. Peaches is the keyboard ASMR champion. Sorry. <laughs> Kumo asked, she, just, she just doesn't fucking mute her keyboard. Okay. A girl she is writing a leg. Shakespearean thesis. I can frame the bloody handkerchief. I banned him from the Senate, and now he hangs out with zoo files who talk about raping me. Now, those of you in my audience who've been keeping up with my live streams already know what the answer to this is, but to those of you who haven't, people or new, or just <laughs> people keep up with his live streams, heard this in passing no. before, and never had a chance to look into to it, because now. there is literally nothing to back it. You're gonna have to start with the They're one- 10 hours <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of his streams is 10 hours long. Oh, yeah, are you I serious? Am, They're like, no. and stat we are not joking, and I am not going to watch it. Uh, you know what? That that would be like a multi-day project for me. 
I well, would have to actually be interested though. Like I can watch a ten hour <laughs> I can watch a twenty hour video, but fucking Kumo? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a, you think I am. It would need to be like a partition TV kind of thing. Particular might be one. I mean, yeah, I've uh... seen partition TVs lately. I haven't seen the one on Skyrim. I saw the one on Morrowind and Oblivion. I can handle those. Well, those were twelve hours long. Yeah, I know. I, I can handle those. I can't Skyrim handle. Skyrim was actually uh, twenty hours. It was like two ten-hour videos. I don't know. That's, that's it's too long. I haven't look into it. Well, because there know. is literally nothing. No motivation to for that. Well, you in particular might be wondering, well, Kumo, all this shit in this video is pretty damning, but is what they're saying true? I mean, I might have to disregard everything you just said if it's true. Well, rest assured, buddy, I'm it's not to... true whatsoever. fucking ever. You see, the zoo files that I'm being accused of befriending are people that go by or went by the Fox Mafia. And a little background on the Fox Mafia. Well, I'm not going to okay, sit here please, and explain. Tell me the subject I know. Please, I want to hear them because I do have a video planned on them in the future. But the Fox Mafia was run by someone who goes by or went by Cass Warfox. I, I like to call him Cass Warfart, so that's what we're running to call him for the rest of this video. But Cass Warfart sure. was actually very responsible for the exposing of Coyote Lovely, that, that thing that Hopeless Peaches and Lyo like to give themselves credit for. All right, for, pause. Even though... First major error here. Um, when Cass Warfox quote unquote exposed Coyote, they sat on a stream for three hours laughing and talking, talking the shit with each other other there was no exposure at all they did everything to astroturf it huh this was actually one of the things that lyo actually did he he ripped coyote lovely a new asshole this is one of the situations where lyo's in the right like they knew about coyote's bullshit eight months in advance and didn't say anything until this stream happened anyway cast warfart also <laughs> kumo and lyo convoy in xbox live <laughs> Imagine that. So happy I'd to pay money for that. Lyo's... I'd pay money for that. I'd pay, I'd pay money for that, too. Not to Kumo. Though. You know what? Rust, detractors. Modern Warfare 2, M16s only. <laughs> Cast Warfart and Lyo Convoy. Y you could go as far as to say they were like each other's arch nemesis. They had been beefing for, like, years at this point. Now, I have my opinions on Cass, and I think he deserves his own video, just because he's also a pretentious piece of garbage, and he's also somehow more of a pussy than Lyo. Well, anyway, I kind of already had the background on these guys. I mean, since, Lyo, you know, unlike, unlike Lyo, he is an actual neo-Nazi. One of my admins was in both the Senate and Fart Mafia, so I already had the gist of it that these people were just Senate 2.0, and I already went into this with a closed mind, but I realized, you know, these guys fucking hate each other. I feel like if I get these ones to trust me and think that I'm gonna help them, they'll give me literally everything they've compiled on Lyo, because at this point, it's been proven to me just by looking into the shit they post that they are autistic and obsessive about the Senate. So, I mean, who better to give me sources? Who better to give me shit to look into? I mean, I can proofread it on my own and determine what's real and what's not and uh i'm very capable I'll of thinking for you. myself uh foreshadowing not even for yeah i know based on your past like it's a lot harder for people to trust you with you proving that shit's real it's not it's not even just his past it's my personal experience with him i that don't too. trust him <laughs> It's <laughs> gonna be real. Spoiler, the Fox Mafia didn't like that very much. Well, that's aside from the point. Let me get back on track. Uh, I made it my mission to completely social engineer and manipulate the Fox Mafia into pretty much doing all of the hard work for me for my video. That means digging up clips, screenshots, organizing them all and putting them in a fucking Google Drive for me so that I didn't actually have to continue doing all the digging on Lyo myself. Insane. Now, where the work comes in is organizing this and actually constructing the project itself. I, I think I saved myself probably another five months of work just by using these idiots. Now, there's something else I should mention. The Fox well, Mafia nice and I, where- Yep. This... What? Oh no, so, this... From what, what I'm gathering well. here, he's perfectly okay with using somebody, even if he doesn't like them, just because he lets them get a one-up on someone else. Yeah, no, that's kind of scummy. Not gonna lie. That is yeah, ethically no, like, bankrupt. Like, that's why I'm kind of, like, even if they're pieces of shit, like, I'm kind of, I don't really agree with the way you're demeaning them and using them. No, honestly, for me, this pisses me off even more. It's like he understands the problem with the Fox Mafia. He just uses them anyway. Yeah. Two wrongs don't that, make a right. Yeah, that Look, pisses me off. This is more than he... two wrongs. This is, like, he is going to get himself in a worse situation. They will come for him. If they still organize. They regardless, will get him. regardless of that as well, it's just, like, completely morally fucked the way he just is viewing like the the perspective he has on like using people 
like hearing him talk about that made my eyes glaze over a little bit. It felt like I was. It felt like he wasn't even talking about people. Not friends. Yeah, no, that's We're dumb. not friends. You don't. We are not friends. I was not associated with them technically. I mean, I was in their spaces, but I wouldn't say that I was friends or associates with them. I just used them. That it is an association. Yeah, that is an association. What do you want? What he means to say is he wasn't acquainted with them, or he wasn't involved with them, which debatable but sure no i feel like if you're using them for like like blackmail or something that's that is a form of association yeah it well, is it's, well it's like how the moment anyone sets foot in the senate in a, into a voice call that voice recording is held onto by somebody for use later mm -hmm. that's actually something that i'm surprised he doesn't talk about but the way the senate operates is very creepy and i would say that there he could easily just acu accuse lio of blackmail and he would potentially be right. They they hold conversations, recordings over people on contingency that they behave in a manner they deem appropriate. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that point, I just recorded that's, my that's end too, and be like, "The man. fuck." <laughs> well, that's the whole thing: is they only ever target people they know will they either know will comply or know are so morally bankrupt nobody would come uh, defending them. Also it's a very selective trailers. process. So that's why they went after Kumo. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, because uh, nobody's going to defend him after what he did to you I all. Just, I just realized um, <laughs> I've been streaming for four and a half hours. Holy shit. Yes, you have been live for a while. Well, you're about to be able to skip 15 minutes, so... <laughs> Than yeah. anything. Is it the and Gilded Cool part that's coming up? Admit that. Yeah. You see, and, and not only that, a former Fox Mafia member came into my live chat recently because, yes, guys, this, this video is kind of being recorded as everything's going down. I'm sorry. At least the end portions are being recorded as everything's going down. But Vash Lancet came into my live chat to literally corroborate what I've been saying on my live stream that I was not friends with any of them. And in fact, I was a massive dick to everyone in that server. If you still don't buy it, let me just go ahead and confirm confess that every time I spoke to Cass Warfox in a voice chat, I made it a point to tell him to kill him. And I also made it a point to emphasize how serious Whoa. I was when I said it. So this notion that I was cool. ever friends with these zoo files, which unfortunately- And guys, you want me to believe that they fed you information. They against the Fox Mafia seriously, given that not only do they lie- Or that the information they, they gave Fox them was Mafia, but legitimate. But just the amount of lying they've done up to this point. Before we continue- Oh, so now you're gonna call- No, no, no. <laughs> cool, though. This feels mm. like a fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad, um, cool. <clears throat> First, you this is bad. Uh, Hello. Hi. Um, I see that you're upset with the video that was made. And particularly, um, first, he's upset, upset with um, you doxing their real name on Facebook and putting a five year old innocent little girl in danger over internet drama. Mm. Thoughts? Thoughts number one doxing is a releasing of private information. Your Facebook is literally linked to your screen name. And I would like to say as well, if you make a video, especially one, how long was it? But it was like a long, it was like, it was like nearly 10 minutes of just a uh, uh, ski literally talking about all the ways My that they'd like me to be sexually assaulted. Short. If, um, if your name, if your real name is linked to you talking in graphic detail about wanting to assault women, that's probably because in the real world, if you go around and talk about the graphic detail in which way you'd want to sexually assault a person or have that happen to them, that's called sexual harassment and can, you know, the police can be called upon you and be spoken about. I know that online it's very hard for you to understand because you hide behind a furry with a bib, but uh, in the real world people don't like that and usually people frown upon that, actually. It's something that uh, you shouldn't do. So, um, don't do that, Sarah. <laughs> what the Amazing. hell was that Thank about? you so much, like Hocus that... Peaches. I think we were all having doubts. We didn't know what everyone else thought about sexual harassment. Well, now we know that if you sexually harass someone, that society frowns What was the context that? of that? I've never heard that sound bite before. before. Neither have I. Forensics I, I actually can't clip, identify and explain that. to you why her language is indicative of lying, namely the latter part of her tangent that literally went nowhere. It just kind of unorganically segued into a tangent about sexual harassment bad. I'm showing you this as sort of an example of the lies they tell about the Fox Mafia and why I'm so skeptical of everything they say, because if these people really were this bad, I don't know why you would need to make shit up like this. So unfortunately, a Senate adjacent person made a rookie mistake and his mistake 
was contextualizing yep. this particular clip I showed you of Peaches. And what I find extremely ironic about this is I couldn't even bully this clip out of Fox Mafia. Yeah, please. I couldn't even bully the original video out of them. They just flat out I, were probably just refusing to show me it, but they were claiming they didn't have it anymore. Which I'll was... just put a timestamp on screen and you can skip ahead. The fuck but does of course, Moment of Sanity have to do with this? Hey, it's Moment of Sanity. Yeah, I'm wondering that. Hey, I'm giving you approximately three seconds. Moment before... of Sanity. Uh, it's his video on Cast War Fox and the Fox Mafia. Before we play okay. the clip and just how fucking disturbing it is. Three, two, one. Like, what he got is fucking, like, ass gaped and torn torn asunder by fucking Lion Man's giant, like, throbbing white at? barbed lion c and peaches, I furry really know. What am I looking at? What am I listening to? What the okay, furry so VTuber? We have snapped. We have snapped back into the timeline that I am able to talk about. You are furry listening VTubers. to a a furry YouTuber named Fursky. Fursky was allegedly sexually abused by somebody. Well, okay. There was a whole thing. This was part of what got Coyote Lovely uh, ejected from the Senate. He refused to help Fursky, and that pissed people off. So he gets kicked out. Fursky then joins up with the Fox Mafia and they write. So true, Danny. And they write, for some reason, um, furry porn of Lyo Convoy's lion avatar thing having sex with Peaches. Oh. And. For Peaches, this is a form of sexual harassment. Whether or not you agree with that, I'm not going to comment on it. I think it's fucking creepy. But she takes it very seriously. I would, I would say no. I don't think that counts as sexual harassment. I just think that's very weird. Well, that's sort of where I'm at. I'm like, I don't think I want to label it as direct harassment, but I would definitely label it as them trolling you or trying to get a rise out of you by like being inflammatory. Would, I feel like... um. That would also apply to Jaden animations because I know people make porn of her avatar, but I, I don't, I don't I mean, see that as sexual harassment. It's not porn because it requires consent. What? Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, some some lolicon tried making an argument that in order for something to be porn, it requires consent. But what about revenge porn then? Exactly. They didn't have an answer for that. They didn't have an answer for that either. Yeah. Like that that is such nonsense. But no, point is is uh yeah, no, Fursky was in uh, by the way, the person you're listening to is underage. So they also involved an underage person in writing sexually explicit stories, That's... which is the actual problem with this, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> no, that's the best thing you can do. Point Nothing is, wrong with that. Uh their morals go out the window to get a one up on somebody when it and it's not even a one up. It's a one down. Yeah, this fucking daddy lie. This is why I was here. There's a lot of fucked up lore. You just pulled because I can't wait to like fucking Senate lore goes deep. See the video. Senate lore goes hard and it does not stop for nobody. Like fucking gaped like Coyote Lovely did. Oh, it's gonna be so great. Yeah, genuinely disturbing. What I think is genuinely disturbing is how you can completely remove the context of what this person was saying. There's context of that. Saying and just take all of their words myself. extremely fucking literally. As we can clearly see, something he's supposed to be presenting as the worst moment. This clip is obviously hyperbolic. And the suggestion, the sort That's of- That's hyperbolic? Of connotation- I don't know. I'm sorry, eyes on now for a second, what? Uh, did you miss the fucking degenerate clip that we just witnessed? I heard sorry it, about that. but I um, forgot it. Just I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't zone out like Krillix, but just, just ever since I saw it. the, ever since I saw saw the furry VTuber model, I've kind of just been disassociated from reality <laughs> a bit. <laughs> yeah, just, so like, I, I'm not quite level with everything Cliff, right Cliff now. Cliff me on this. <laughs> Fucking, I'll just play the clip. Oh god. Oh god damn it. No. Oh. I want to do more with that. I, I heard it. You have to suffer through it with me. <laughs> uh, I'm back. I had to step away for a second because somebody came home and I had to explain that I was actually doing something live. Uh. <laughs> 
Three, two, too, one. Danny. Like, what he got is fucking, like, ass gaped and torn torn asunder by fucking Lyo Man's giant, like, throbbing white barbed lion. <laughs> and Peaches, I really hope, like, what? fucking Daddy Lyo bends you over his knee for, like, the stupid shit you just pulled. Because I can't wait to, like, fucking see the video. Because if a video gets made of, like, you getting your fucking ass, like, fucking gaped like Coyote Lovely did, oh, it's gonna be so great. Yeah, genuinely what? disturbing. What I think is genuinely disturbing is how you can completely remove the context. When of the, the person fuck did Moment of Sanity get added into this? So he's just a source for the video. Uh, his video used. So then, why a clip is he arguing with the source? Well, I I don't know. I think what it is is he's trying to give context to it to make it sound less creepy than it is, and the problem is it's genuinely creepy. Or and just. Uh, uh, oh, sinking hard. You know, I don't think we need to listen to this specific thing anymore. Just keep in mind, somebody adopted an adopted father who should not be an adopted father is being portrayed in having intercourse with their adopted daughter, and it is done by a group that has an axe to grind with that individual. It you is use words and uh, say that I do this, <laughs> and while I don't do this, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And, um... I understood all of this. It's just, it's all very screwed. It's all very screwed up. And, I want to uh, go home. I don't blame <laughs> you. Just take all of their Wanting words to go home is a natural response. Extremely fucking literally. As we can clearly see, something he's supposed to be presenting as the worst moment. This clip is obviously hyperbolic. And this Thank you for the one month, Danny. Suggestion, the sort of connotations here are that Fursky Doodles is implying that the better just gets taken to task the Go same up. way Coyote Lovely did. Contextually, they were talking about and reacting to the expose of Coyote Lovely. Now, would I have used these words to say the same fucking thing? Not a chance in hell. But then again, I'm not a degenerate furry who has an F list of all their kinks and all the different shapes of dildos they like. Given this is one of the main <laughs> people you refer to within the Fox Mafia as a quote-unquote zoophile, I feel very inclined to take it with an entire salt shaker whenever you make an assertion about them. So, needless to say, the Fox Mafia will be covered in their own video. I don't like them. I think I they know, have lots of things they to be thing. called out for that don't have anything to do with being called zoophiles. But, to say I was ever associated with them or friends with them is just a very baseless and misguided assertion and it's definitely the furthest from oh, the I don't know you're using information with their name tag on it oh fuck it's this part it's the all right zoo gilded file. Two is one of the ones I actually refused to, I refused to touch I was like that's too far for me so um it's we're gonna be flying a little bit blind but I do know enough that I can maybe speculate it's we can the skip the first file. we can skip like the first 10 minutes because it's just I'm him gonna, talking about how he built I'm, his PC I'm, I'm gonna go realign myself. I'm gonna go get some top shelf Zaza real quick because I just I need something. <laughs> I'll be back in about five minutes. He's gonna get I mean, that I, shit that disrupts his circadian rhythm. I got. I, need I mean, I got a bottle of rum in front of me right now. <laughs> I, go I got a chicken hat. sandwich. Buzzly, That's thank you for one. the eight months, buddy. Kill me, please. Me too, buddy. Fucking hell. Lion, you aren't the best VTuber I am. The next person on the Lyle. list of people I'm apparently not allowed to associate with is uh, Gilded Poo, and Gilded Poo is For good reason. as a zoophile by Lyo and Peaches both. Problem is, Lyo already corrected this assertion the first time he made it, and then doubled back because I guess Peaches said so. Now, I actually choose to still associate with Gilded Everybody's giving me member messages now. I can only <laughs> take so much. Thank you, Nick. And for like six months, thank you. Because he's actually not a bad guy. Uh, thank you, Nick, for the the gifted membership, Sergey. You're Did not. Did I just hear him anymore. say that Gilded Poo is not a bad guy? Yeah, he. Well, he don't zoo file porn. What the fuck? If I'm being entirely honest with you, in fact, he's helped me with the production of this video. But because I know if <laughs> I try to explain it, I'm going to be biased and maybe even way too charitable. So I'm giving Gilded Poo the opportunity to come on here and explain his oh, side I of the story. Oh, I might be way too biased. Let Lyo me let the guy explain himself him. and be completely biased. Obviously, asked yeah, I'm going to skip this part. It's just him explaining his PC building.
I don't know why the fuck Kumo didn't skip that shit. Uh, his issues prevented him from realizing it. I just see a ironically contains the very folder I've been talking about. That is a much older hard drive for like a Windows 98 computer. I still, I still have the boot up. disk for that computer. But this is a SATA, not an IDE hard drive. It's 160 gigabytes from Seagate. The model number is SC31608158S. You look it up and confirm that it's real life. And then if you want to look up the date, confirm it was manufactured in 2008 at the end of 2008. The date code is 09165. And so the point is, what at the end of 2009, matter? I created my very first gaming computer. And shortly after building Yay! the computer within the same year, I discovered this lovely heavenly place, or at least was at the time, called 4chan. And in that, I was introduced to a lot of shit. Now, granted, I want to make this point clear. This was not the first time I saw gross-out fucking shit or trolling or anything. It was not unusual when I was growing up to wake up in the morning and see that your Motorola Razor was filled to the brim with, like, fucking scat and bestiality porn that your fucking friends had sent you. Well, for the person who asked why so I that... filled it too, there's your answer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's talking Concept about scat. Was something that wasn't foreign to me. And if you don't believe that, by the way, you can go... You're right, Mythical. This is Vosh 2.0. Go look up uh, this two is girls, Vosh, one cup if you want 5. to. That was this very popular Vosh. at the time to troll people with. The is this before Vosh? Um, I would say that Gildapu was definitely active when uh, before Vosh was Vosh, yeah. Gildapu's been active for like a decade. Fuck. The entire idea was to send it to somebody to watch them get grossed out. That was the entire point. It's actually referred to by some as the shock jock era, which, by the way, was not just something that was done yeah, by the theory he's talking about was like 2005 people on the like internet. 2005 to it was also Obama. done in the main and it's being revived in what the fuck bombed. <laughs> I'll be back. Hello, yes. There are movies like Freddy Got Fingered or the show Jackass, including like the first couple movies, all showcase the same behavior. I mean, how many people went to go see Jackass with their friends and they weren't really laughing at the movie as much as they were laughing at their friends for being the weirdo normies that got bent out of shape and cried about it, right? There was a lot of people. It was very common at this time period. Hell, even popular radio hosts at the time, like Howard Stern, participated in this shock jock era. Whereas today, from my standpoint anyway, the world has become increasingly more sensitive. But regardless of all of that, somewhere between 2009 and 2015, 14, I created a folder on here called Trigger Faggot. And that folder is old, as I said. And that folder is, what, like probably 200 megabytes or something? It's very, very tiny. It consists of only a handful of like very tiny videos that are very poor quality that on a modern HD screen would look even more like shit. Might get away with it on a phone, but probably not. But primarily it has, you know, pictures and I think a handful of actually really bad tips. Um, this folder is very um, old. And the truth is, you can get a lot. About, he, is, he is talking about he has an old hard drive that's sole purpose is to carry shock videos specifically relating to animals having sex with humans fuck and this you're telling me this guy ain't a zoo file the fuck this is just that, that can we get a general bestiality throughout our story this is what i hated about 4chan back in the day yeah, like no, people fuck. actually wanted that so you're telling me this guy ain't a zoo file Willfully got a fucking huge ass folder of that well, shit. Well, the past, you said terabytes, now you're saying it's hard to right? If you're a real sleuth, you might be asking, well, you said in the past, also, megabytes, um, now you're Gilded too, it's called hyperbole. Saying 200 megabytes. Which is it? Well, the answer to that's pretty fucking simple. You can just go on Amazon right now and purchase like an external kit thing that allows you to essentially convert this into a glorified flash drive. And I just transferred the trigger faggot folder onto a hard drive that I had at the time during all that drama that was going on at the time, somewhere in 2022. Quick correction, it would actually be 2021. You know, the things that Lyle was referencing. This is when I started digging into the pool a bit more. And found posting back years of him defending the fact that he owns terabytes of zoo because it isn't illegal. And as a result of that, I added other things to that folder. So it wasn't just the 200 megabytes was originally. I added tons and tons and tons and tons of edgy memes. I didn't add any of the bestiality shit or anything like that because I didn't have to. I had enough of it. It was small enough you. that I didn't really need to worry about space. But the sad reality I, is the I, reason like I, said, I said I didn't add any more because I had enough of it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Enough. Yeah. I don't believe There's you. Enough is already too much. Yeah, no. Enough is too much considering it's bestiality. But I, I just don't believe you when you say that you think you had enough. I just straight up just don't believe you.
terabytes. Oh, like he, he no, no, no. He, he just he had enough on the vast specific hard drive. It had to go on the new fancy hard drive. <laughs> I had enough to fill up the hard drive. I had, <laughs> had a whole new one. I have terabytes. <laughs> the truth is, I genuinely thought that I had added like that many more. Just I thought that I added that many more fucking edgy clips from YouTube and from Rumble and stuff like that, especially Twitter clips. So there's so much unhinged shit on Twitter that you can clip and put in a folder and then trigger somebody with later that isn't even bestiality or any porn of any kind. And that's a lot of the shit that I added. Hell, here's a screenshot of me talking to somebody and telling them that a gift that they had posted in my server is now in my trigger faggot folder. And that was actually the newest thing I had added to the folder at the time. And I guess technically speaking, it was the very last new file that I ever added to that folder. And the reason why. Well, the truth is, because hard drive I put that on a calendar and I wiped it like an idiot, actually. So, uh, I, the one, actually, 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 actually I, you know what? I just don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care to hear this guy's story. I'm skipping it's, it. It's literally just the story of how he came to own way too much way too much morally abhorrent material that entertaining thank you so much vlad for coming out here and explaining the entire situation to everyone i hope that put it in a better better perspective no. for those sorry this no. is the situation thank you so where much. um thank you so much vlad for coming out of my video and explaining why you have zoo file porn this is one of the situations where for the lulz is not a valid defense no oh. Just heard peaches and lyo Call him a zoophile, dog fucker, whatever, and then not really hear anything else about it from anyone else. They don't him. need to. They heard enough, dude. Fucking willfully downloading an entire, like, mm. archive of bestiality. I, I think that's enough to go off of to say that he's a zoophile, dude. It, you, so you wouldn't bad. be. You would not be a zoophile if you didn't just willfully download an entire thread of it. It definitely doesn't help that Gilded Poo exaggerates it every time just to mess with people. Yeah, I know. Um, we're done here. Yeah. Bad, bad yeah. video. Like, it had it had something going for it, but ultimately it's just really bad. Dude, the 30 minute mark, it just goes so far mm, down. Now. The Gilded yeah. Poo section completely threw me off. Like, the moment mm. he did that, I lost. I'm like, okay, this went from a good points wrapped in horrible presentation to okay you're actually insane oh yeah. oh cool you, you haven't improved at all you guys not watch calling animal us animal pedophiles <laughs> i don't care <laughs> you guys want to watch animal animal horror? <laughs> no i want to want my brain to rest all right i'm uh, gonna i'm we gonna will give return you return guys... to this topic never <laughs> Yes, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a palate cleanser. We're gonna watch Bub Games troll some Gmod servers. Oh, I love Bub Games. He's great. Yeah, let's watch this one. Uh... Dude, everybody get out! Out now! Everybody out of the closet! <laughs> out of the closet! Out! Out! Will you guys f away? I don't <laughs> like you. Trash. Will someone do something about this man? I don't want you. Go the f away, you ugly ass motherfucker. Will you stop pestering me for like two minutes, man? Like, I'm enjoying. I'm. I can't even fing move! Stop! <laughs> this motherfucker's gotta go. If he doesn't go, I'm gonna lose my shit. This dude's like wigging out because I'm standing next to him. Can Let's you go. go away? You autistic motherfucker! I've said go away one too many fing times, man. And now you're no clipped into me, which means you I cannot move when you no clip into me unless oh, I no clip. Oh, Why would you suggest that? <laughs> I'm a permaban for just standing next to someone. But when I reload, it f it follows the magazine and how it's being reloaded. Can you? Okay, you can... I had a guy do this to me yesterday, and he got permaban for it. <laughs> do not. I will get you banned. Oh, <laughs> literally no clipped into me, and then Bam. pinned me into oh. a corner. Uh, as a builder, so he oh, he would no. pin me into corner shit. No, he was no. in impeding on my game and being very toxic. He's doing it again. Move. Uh, well, well, it's fine. <laughs> I'm literally recording him doing this. I am literally recording this. Actually, you know what? I can also DM Pug over here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm recording this anyways. <laughs> Bitch, get the fuck off of me. He did this <laughs> earlier. He got kicked several <laughs> times earlier. Model? Came back into the same thing. He, right. He's oh, gonna continue doing do it. I'm abandoning it for three days. Okay. Ever heard of using your imagination? It. Holy shit! Do not just fly into me oh, and then fly dear. away. You you fly into me and fly away, dude. That's still it's still technically flying into me. Don't. He's just flying into me and flying backwards when no one's looking. It's okay. He has the mental capacity of a 14 year old. Let's. And no, it's not a 14 year old. It's a gold. It's a goldfish. He he knows like yeah. three things to do, and that's to run into people. <laughs> to one person and not listen. Banned again. 
We gon' we gon' watch the new FNAF movie. Okay, Nugget is probably an alter of the other guy. He's no clipped into me again. If you're the oh, same who was doing this sh to me the other night, you're gonna get kicked and then you're gonna end up getting banned. Dude, if you're the same guy, keeps no clipping in <laughs> furries and GMOD are hundred percent better to me has impeded on me for three nights in a row. You've generally hindered me so much. Honestly, at this point, I'm just ignoring you. I want you to understand. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ignoring him, but also ignoring him. He's just him. avoiding a band at he this point. Like the first crying. thing he did when he got here was fly around, and then he came to me, and ever since he's gotten to I'm me, he's sorry, he's just bro. been in and out of me, in and out of me. In and out, oh, and in and out sir. of him? Really? Start no clipping into this guy. He's gonna wig out and think it's me. I'm in him. Get the f*** out of me! Get the f*** out of me! <laughs> I'm back. No, I've been jailed. There's some hoofed creature talking Tell to me guys, at the front. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Alright, I'm flying back in. <laughs> Got Adam, Adam, look at me. You're banned permanently. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start doing it to him right now. <laughs> I'm in him now. You, you're the same man just got banned for the same. <laughs> I've been perma banned as <laughs> Damn. Damn. Just wanna get up and personal. Just All of that for just squeeze. flying in and out of somebody. Oh, just wanna get up and close. Just wanna film. These mods take be a little tripping. squiz over here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Just want to film. Just a little <laughs> squiz from a distance. Just a little tiny peek. <laughs> Kick putting cameras in people's faces. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, it's got a hat on now. That's definitely camera worthy. Get a little close up of that. Get a little close up. Oh, just trying to film a documentary. Crimson, this is a palate cleanser <laughs> for the Kumo video. Why? Just stop being, stop being like that. What is that thing? Yeah, dude. Just, just stop shoving objects into. Faces. This guy's a camera head. What's he talking about? All right, I promise <laughs> I'll do it only sometimes. Uh, how about none of the time? Do you want to be banned? You have a camera as a head. You're constantly filming people. Why isn't he in trouble? Irrelevant. Please stop filming Irrelevant. me. I'm asking you again. Please stop filming me. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> I'll get kicked again. What's up, gang? We were just debating whether or not to perma ban you. Why don't you behave? Sit down and Guys, I don't want to alarm you, you but I think I saw this guy at the beach the other day filming. Like, I'm trying to relax, but I'm like 100% sure that guy was at the beach the other day filming people without their consent. I'm Fight. sorry, guys. I'm going to have to bring out the camera again. Just going to get a few more bear rolls. I'm just going to get a little closer. I need to get my evidence. Yeah, that was expensive equipment. You're, you're a dense child. <laughs> it was in fact not okay forcing cameras into people's faces non-stop. Getting a little few snapshots going. To be fair, these are some wacky ass models. Don't do that. Some furry motherfuckers. Is, Is that XJ9 with a fucking animal Dude, head? I'm just taking photos. I'm already getting kicked. I just need to take a few photos. It helps I have no idea. How many accounts have I burned on the server? Oh look, my old pal's back on the server. Can you taste the grimace shake, Gary? What are these people, what are they watching? I think I'm gonna sit down here and watch. My little grimace! Apparently I'm not allowed to sit down and watch with them. I literally haven't what is even that? done anything yet. It looks like a manga. It looks like the VR chat. It's Gary's mod, it's basically VR chat, but good. Is that not Among Us? Apparently I'm not allowed no, it's to a Grimace down. game of some kind. People. I literally haven't even huh. done anything yet on this account, and they're already saying I'm harassing people. The problem is they don't want you in the building that they made. It's their right. As a matter of fact, you're not being friendly because you're not listening to the rules. Imagine if someone came to your house and then did stuff that you didn't want. <laughs> All right, f it. I tried no, watching my parents. the Grimace video silently, but I'm just going to start taking Furry ass Redditor. That's why I so someone is someone is taking photos? Server. Yeah, and you're allowed to do that. Just don't spam it, because that is a rule, too. There are oh. people here with epilepsy. It's been proven, so... Oh, my God. It's oh. been proven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kicked again. I wasn't it's even right. spamming it's the photos dude. epilepsy. I was taking them in long intervals. I don't understand. I'm going to go take some more photos. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do it. No, I'm gonna become the bub game. Is it them VRC. again, Steve? Let me change yes, he's right. set. I have a VR I have chat. Me. Yeah, let's go. Constant harassment, taking constant. I did run around VR chat pretending to be a Sergeant wishes. Roebuck from COD World at War. Not respecting people's wishes. Accounts that were perma banned. Awesome, dude.
Did we do a hot tub? I don't know. You have been live for many hours. I have. It's been five hours at this point. Um, we can do a hot tub. I don't care. I, I say we can do a hot tub, and then we can call it from there. Uh, I get to be in the hot tub. Yes! No, nope, you. you're gone now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I have a turn. <laughs> so what is okay. a hot tub? I'm new to this Ooh, uh, terminology. A hot, hot tub section just means I get to uh, call people mm. in and we talk about shit. Oh, all right. think, of, think of like Tommy C uh, or talk on the radio, just dragging. Me okay, so it's just a live mic. Yep. Mm. All right. I'm fucking tired, burnt out after all that. Don't listen to the Brit. Ban acrylics. That's something. <laughs> Could ban him from the server. That's very mean. It is. Okay, mean. So this is the open open forum section. So, uh... but it's fun. If uh, what is it, like if you're in the Discord, drop into the call in. Yes. Acrylics doesn't like milk, so if he gets banned, I would be too upset. How well? I'd have, Welcome to the hot tub. Have you know I'm lactose intolerant? If you guys want to participate in the hot tub and talk about stuff, um, join the VC in Psych Ward called uh, Call In for Femboy Stream, and I will drag you in. There's a Nick. Gandalf, do you want to stay here, Gandalf? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll hang out. I'm going right. to drag in friend Nick. Yep. It is friend Nick. You friend are Nick, here. you're Hello. on the air. Hello, hello, hi, hi. Hi, friend Nick. Hi, hi. Nick. hi. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> I'm just burnt out after all that. That's all. Funny hey, you, you should like, you should like enable invites. The funny thing about all that. I uh, learned about uh, most of that from Michael before this ever happened. Oh, the you shouldn't the shit? Also, yeah, Danny. Michael was talking about the game. There's a Danny. You, you, you guys should, uh, you guys should enable Discord invites so we, you know, we can invite the stream into the server. I can just post a link to, um, reason. It, the invites are disabled there. Yeah, the reason. Not for this server. Reason. Yeah, no, it, this is the this server. Uh, restricted server due to concerns about the other server, right? This was the backup? No, no, this, no, is, this is not server. the backup. This, this is, is the, the main, main server. No, Psycho, invites are still disabled for it. That's what I'm getting, I'm getting the invites disabled message. You probably can't make them. I can make them. Can make them. Why is it not public? Okay, the reason be is because of the raids we've been getting. From, the reason like, was because like... of why we made the backup server, bro. Yeah, that well, too. Well, then what's cause... the point of a public server? It's a public server, but I don't need every motherfucker to be able to post a link to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the link. I'm, I'm making a link. You guys can join What'd you say, Danny? with this link right here. Oh no. It's happening. What? ISP no. Oh. Danny no. Rip the Danny. secret boss. The secret boss is coming um, for her again. I feel like I feel like I do owe uh, any survivors of the Lyo Convoy stuff. Um I apologize for making it make sense. <laughs> I apologize that I probably ruined a lot of your all's viewing experience because of that. You know, in in good news. I got my audio interface, so now I can start record. I can start recording songs. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yes. Uh, Danny. No. Fighting the secret boss. Woman is back. She's you definitely ha- fighting you, the secret boss. Are you okay, Danny? No. She is fighting She's... the secret boss, in fact. Crix, let us hear so, one of your songs. Well, I haven't recorded me playing anything yet, Zanian. So, for Nick. Uh, there's someone you... in the call in. Yeah. We have yeah, nuggets so just, in there. We have, we have uh, Nick in here first, and then we'll drag. drag oh, okay. In. Nah. We don't like you, Nugget. We hate you. Oh, we hate we're doing you. one at a time. I got it. I yeah, absolutely despise you. Typically, it's just that Danny has admin, and also Krill, everybody else was already here. Yeah. And, and everyone likes me, so. Whatever. I mean, no, I am an admin. I just can't join here. <laughs> no, you don't have. You're you're not like full admin. If you're a full admin, you'd be able exactly. to join here. You're mod. Exactly. Anyways, uh, I learned about a lot of this before all the fucking Kumo video even came out. Michael joined mm-hmm. the private server every now and then and just kind of talked about shit as it was going. Yeah. 
He specifically knew a lot about the Gilded Pooh situation with that guy, which was, um, oh boy. I feel yeah. like Michael and I have strangely overlapping experiences, despite us barely knowing each other. Yeah, he likes to hang out in, apparently he likes to hang out in Senate as far as I know. Um, secret oh, boss, got Danny. I have never entered Senate. I just, uh, know a lot of research. Yeah. I think it's you're just... in the Senate at one point, right, Nick? I was, during the beef I had with Kumo. Oh, fuck the Brits in the waiting room. <laughs> no. Yeah, but Crick, so you like the Brit. No, I didn't say that. But yeah, no. I tolerate the Brit. I ain't gonna take up much airtime. I just wanted to say hey to everyone. Hey, hey. Fwin, Nick. Hello, hi. Hi, hi, Fwin. Hi, Fwin. Hi, Fwin. Bye. Oh, Fwin. Fwin is not here, Fwin. Danny, have you tried going to a hot spot? The radio man isn't required for this segment. Bro. Radio, bro. As they said. Danny, have you tried having stable internet? I'm gonna kill you, Krillix. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even talking to you. I have a very magic help. No, no, no. The no. flying fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He has been silenced. Okay. Bye bye, Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Boy, boy, boy. We can get um. I'm gonna drag and drag mm. first. Yeah, because he was there first. I was gonna say. All right, drag. You're on the air. <clears throat> so, and oh, uh, uh, about that, about the thing with uh, fucking what do you call I'll it? I'll give you your voice back. Yes. The thing with fucking Krillix. Um, you deserve to get abandoned in lethal company. I'm just gonna say it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get you would deserve to get abandoned by your parents. <laughs> what did I come back to? They're bullying me. We're uh, bullying oh, Krillix. We always oh, end up really. bullying Krig. Oh, Krig. Poor Krig. Krig. He's tough enough. He can handle it. Yeah, yeah he's a big boy. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> big, also, big welcome boy. back, Danny. Biggest boy. Big, big Hope your boy. internet doesn't eat you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's temporary. It's it's only temporary. Why is it every time I type out, it goes to top chat instead of live chat? This shit's good. Love you though, Shmi. Love you too. So, the entire, like, fucking... Shmi's. Why, why, yeah, like, why did I feel like freaking sleepy during, like, the entire Kumo shit? I don't know why. Because he doesn't Kumo know hard. how to structure videos. He really doesn't. Like, yeah. I, I tried to say something about it earlier where I was like, it, it's almost like he can make a video. Like, he's almost there. But he just, like, in order, I don't know exactly how to phrase it, but it's like, you know the phrase, like, um, you can't quite put your tongue on it or whatever? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like that, but in, but, in, but in terms of making a video. I, was... I think what it is, is that the topic he was covering is so obscure that unless you already know and are excited for the topic, it just causes your eyes to glaze over. I see. Um, it is a naturally very oh. dense and very hard to handle topic. I see. So, so basically, it just it's so obscure to the point where, like, you know, n no one really that, cares about it except for like motherfuckers. Well, that like, I think it's a multi-layer thing because there's also the yeah. fact that it's Kumo and not a lot of people like him or going to defend him. Yeah. And then on top of that, there's there's the added layer of just the very like jank structure of the video because there are some points to be made at first. And then the and but the the structuring of it's just a little off and confusing. And then you get to the latter half of the video and it's just it's yeah. just fucked. It's still crazy to me that this was one of the yeah. videos I was genuinely open to hearing what he said and he bombed it. He bombed it harder than like he fucking... bombs it a lot to be honest. Like I was I was willing to be on his side and I ended up being forced to the other. Motherfucker bombed it harder than like Hiroshima and Nakasagi. That's for sure. Oh, Psycho. Did you see so, that uh, Mario Donald's running for Congress? Yeah, I did. Um, oh, trust me, I have... That's a whole other tangent, but I mean, we're our hot tub section. I could rant about that for a second yeah. if Shmi doesn't mind. Yeah, no, um, you, were, you were telling me about this at one point in DMs. Politic, politic. Yeah, um... So, my little rant... Uh, I'll while try to while you're doing brief. that, while you're doing that, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. 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 All right. I'll, this should only take a few minutes anyway. But my little rant, I guess, to keep it brief, like, um, this is a lot of the fault of this is on the Halo community. I'll start with that. But Marty O'Donnell started to run for the Conservative Party. 
in, no, in Congress. No, Republican. Republican, sorry. He started to run for the Republican Party uh, in Congress. He, and, he um, PR party. and, um, but it's just, like, it's just a random decision, right? Like, sh he's just running for fucking, he's just doing political shit, like, whatever. No one should really care, yeah. but the entire Halo community has just been, like, turning it into this massive political debate of, like, Halo... Halo being left wing and Halo being right wing and and all this dumb shit and it's like it has made the community the it's most space toxic aliens it has fight ever been. humans exactly. it ain't that deep they they oh, Marty the Adonis is like a major developer for Halo okay he he was he, he's the composer he hasn't worked oh. on he was composer and audio director but he hasn't worked yeah. on the franchise in over a decade since Reach right. And, yeah. yeah, and people yeah, his who last game was Reach and Destiny, and people in the community are getting like into massive political debates over Halo being left the right wing because someone who used to work on the oh games over God. a decade ago is deciding to run for the Republicans. That is just fucking. It's pathetic. It, it's so <laughs> it's, it's fucking. It, it is funny as shit to watch go down <laughs> though. They, they so I'm looking you. into his uh, stuff. Left, right wing, right left wing, right wing, whatever. We're all equally edible. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> reading, to stop the flood is to starve them to death. I'm this, reading this, this his stuff right here. This is it literally like just a fucking like schizo books in a nutshell. Fucking. He's not like. He's he's not like this ultra far right thing like some people are trying to make out he's yeah. just like no, he's yeah, literally he's not, he's, he's he's not for really that's he's not really even stirring the pot either you got people that are just like fuck marty o'donnell if his entire him, statement was you. his entire it's statement was I don't, yeah. his entire his, his entire statement was like i don't feel like my government's doing the best job it could be so i'm gonna step in and see if i can do something oh yeah. heaven forbid somebody want our someone participates in their own community like no. you guys, like, and you got people just mad at him for the fact that he's doing something political, and it's like oh, you know, I'm just gonna flat out. He say worked it. on the game yeah. over ten years ago. Leave the man <laughs> alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> say it. If you're like anti SJW slash SJW game, because I say so. First of all, uh, um, Halo is basically. To a lot of people, neoconservative propaganda. Uh, second That's of all, stupid. second of all, um, he is worried about immigration. If you have seen videos from the border, something yeah. needs to change. Yeah. Like whether you are yeah. pro Someone who lives or in a border state, immigration. I'm pro immigration. I think immigration is wonderful. Yeah, but I there's totally a criminals support. that come from the, you know. Well, you this know, is let me border, let me finish yeah. this. Let me finish right. this. I am 100 for what Texas is doing because God damn it, there needs to be order. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just have people walk in. We're just walking in. We need to yeah. make immigration easier, but we also need to make sure that only the people going through the right channels are doing it. Yeah, pretty much. So streamline the system and lock that border tight so the only people coming through are the people that can or should. Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's that's a pretty But I mean, like that's all that's a whole other debate in, in and of itself. Yeah. I just think but it's very that's stupid. Probably that... what Marty O'Donnell right. actually wants. Now yes. we're moving into tell me. Tell me who you'd vote for and exactly every single reason why. No, okay. I think I'm just going to complain for the Halo one community being retarded. I'm talking to the one guy this. who has actually thought about that, and I'm not going to do it. I know, I'm the, I'm the same way. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, I don't. I don't. Guys, I don't I'm hitting a pizza. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be back. Oh, this a pizza. Uh, do you want? Right. Do you want? Do you have anything else to add, Drag? I swear to God, the culture wars were a freaking mistake. Like, here's here's the thing, because you know. Actman isn't really left wing or right wing, all right? Because the thing is that with the heels versus babyface drama, people were like, you know, shitting on Actman for being quote unquote an SJW or some shit. But like in reality, he was just the thing is that he he's really consistent with like the entire like you know left wing right wing shit because you know yeah, the thing he, is that he, he is pretty he consistent as someone who's both. watched him a lot. Yeah, he yeah. went against both. That's the thing. But he goes against both like, sides of the extremism. Yeah. I mean, I he's literally got out yeah. in the chat. He's literally got two videos. He's got one that shits on SJWs, and then yeah. he's got another one that's called the War Against Video Games, which is mostly shitting on like the right wing side of yeah. like people that yeah, it's like the and, and, it's like it's like the uh, people that tried yeah. to get like ACDC banned and shit. And yeah, yeah and I, they they shit on video yeah. games. It's like the type of people that would have blamed um Satanic Doom panic for people. Columbine and stuff. And, and yeah. the thing is that he also 
He also like made fun of like you know the Hogwarts Legacy drama and all that kind of, all the people that were attacking others or playing Hogwarts Legacy. And now he's like you know he's now attacking like all the retarded like you know anti SJWs going after like you know Starfield for the pronouns. And for some mm -hmm. odd reason, this stupid fucking majority like you know agrees with heel versus babyface, even though he's a fucking loser. I don't think it is the majority. Like, I think it's just a bunch of re I think it's just like a, just a few loud retards. Are you sure? I think what it is. Retards? I think what it is is there. What's happened? What what's happened here? Mm. And this is my reading of the uh, Actman situation. Mm. Actman has said a lot of stuff that is politically neutral. But now he stepped yeah. in and mentioned Sweet Baby Ink. Sweet Baby Ink, despite the fact that it's not a political issue, has become a political issue because it's basically Gamergate 2.0. Yeah, and they have decided to be anti-Sweet Baby is to be pro-right wing. And that, that, has caused, yeah. that has caused people to look at Actman and shove him from like the center to slightly right. He's a libertarian from what I can tell. Yeah, and just throw yeah. him straight into the fucking uh, neocon circle, and Dude, that has caused yeah. people to suddenly think his consistent politics has been him sitting on the fence the entire time. What's so yeah. irritating is like I almost got removed from Mischief Server because like for, like a few months like this is like five months ago for talking about the Sweet Baby Ink shit, and I just got I got called a right wing conspiracy theorist. I'm like, what the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it, that's what it is, is people feel like they yeah. have to side with Az because Az was the one who is quote unquote Me consistent, right even though they're not necessarily consistent. Or both yeah, sides are. The, the thing is that anti SJWs and SJWs are the literal definition of media literate. Like they cannot they cannot they're, like, they're the same see, fucking people. Yeah. Like it, it's impossible to even like talk about a certain subject without being without being labeled these like stupid like you know buzzwords and all that kind of stuff and it kind of really shows how much like i know this sounds really hyperbolic but it kind of shows how much like you know the english language and like you know how people speak to each other has like devolved from like you know usually normally like you know most of the time consistent and like you know understanding each other to like literally just screeching to each other like it manages it somehow manages to make the freaking cold war look like a complete joke honestly when it comes to these like people and I mean, I as a historian, yeah. I'm not going to go that far, but I would definitely say yeah. that there's a serious, we've reached a high point in political tensions. Yeah, pretty much. And keep in mind, the Cold War was like dealing with nuclear weapons, but now we're just, I guess well, we're- to be I, fair I, to that, yeah. that was also during one of the largest yeah. ever of runaway single party states in this in this yeah, country's history, because it was just Democrat dominated. Yeah, pretty much. And the thing is that like, you know, the hilarious irony in all of this is that- by basically by basically allowing this you know i guess allowing a lot of people to like you know express their you know opinions to the point where like and they they aren't like unhinged well well okay i, I can't fucking speak properly but by allowing all these breath, people though. just deep but breath. by allowing all right but by allowing all these people to basically like you know express their like raw opinions and all that kind of stuff we kind of went to a point where like and like to the point where like you know we we're allowed to say like anything we want. We want like you know. The, the thing is that we unfortunately went to a point where like you know we people have gone to like major extremes when it comes to like you know speaking on certain issues, and it's because of like stuff like you know I guess you could say Twitter itself or like you know social media and all that kind of stuff. We because because you remember like there's also other incidents that happened as well like you know the freaking master debater incident where like some retard thought it'd be a good idea to like you know quote-unquote debate with someone even though like you know he it would be a lose-lose situation so what this master debater what he basically did was just say both and then he, the dude just got like into a fucking frenzy or all, all that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying yeah just um yeah act man yeah. got got run rough yeah and honestly i just think that sometimes like sometimes some people kind of deserve to, to, to be silenced, I'm not saying like, you know, not saying like, you know, anyone who disagrees with me is like, you know, deserves to be silenced, but like, people who are like so extreme to the point of being obnoxious, I believe those kind of people deserve to be like, you know, silenced in some, some rich way. I know I'm sounding like a fucking uh, authoritarian motherfucker, but I don't know. I'm Does assuming you, you mean mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah. like, people need to be more aware of people like yeah. that and be better at calling yeah. them out, I think is what you yeah. mean. Yeah. 
Honestly, you I work. You, you don't want to like shoot them, but you want people to be more aware of them and avoid them. Yeah, I want to shoot all of them. I mean, to be honest, if, if a bunch <laughs> of like anti, if a bunch of like aggressive oh anti SJWs and like, SJWs that were like absurdly like you know hostile to each other, like if a bunch of anti SJWs and SJWs that were like hostile and like actually did violence against you know innocent people were like you know shot and killed, like you know no Russian like massacre. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'd be cheering. <laughs> Well, I'm that's saying. a uh, bombshell. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just nuked the chat. I think you're going to get the stream taken down. What am I massacring? Am I massacring someone? I want to... Sh I, uh, I actually, I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> Remember, guys, no Russian. It's a good thing Lyo is YouTube, in this is a joke in case districts. you're wondering. <laughs> YouTube, this is all satire. <laughs> this is satire, YouTube. There will be no massacres here. Not I'm alive. not yeah, joking. I'm, I'm trying to be the voice of reason. <laughs> Psyche I'm not saying, joking. Psyche no saying, he's saying, not joking. Psyche okay, saying he's not joking. Psyche saying he's not joking is also a joke, we'll, YouTube. He's being maybe ironic. We'll, maybe no was, saying like, Healy. Maybe if it was done by, by like, freaking police armed with, like, you know, freaking, I don't know. Rubber okay, okay. anything else, Drag? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> but, yeah, culture wars just need to, like, shut the fuck up for once and, like, you know, realize that not everything's about Trump or Biden or not realize that not everything's about woke or anti-woke. That They just need to learn to, like, Fucking, fucking understand each other for once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's my conclusion. All right. You. We're about to see a week. We're about to see a Wikipedia slip at the end of the, at the, like, the <laughs> bottom of this video. <laughs> <laughs> the boogaloo right. is not real. It will not hurt you. <laughs> All right. You take care of yourself, drag. All right. See ya. Fucking hell, dude. That went off the deep end. Yep. All right, mythical. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, he's hello British. Alright, he's been I, here for long enough. He can go now. I hate. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm fucking crazy. You fucking hate milk, bro. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, yeah, oh you're that's just weak. because you're weak. You're weak. Yeah, you're weak as no, fuck. No, it's because you guys are pale as shit. It's because nah, you're bro, weak. you're weak as fuck. It's bro. actually more normal it's to be lactose intolerant weak. than to not be wah, lactose wah, intolerant. Wah, wah. Because wah, wah, wah. most of the population are weak. No, that's yes. <laughs> no, yes. No. Anyways, okay, I'm just like drinking milk. Okay, okay, most like a far pedophile. This now. devolves into bullying very quickly. He he got here for like we can bully five seconds. We can bully. What was the topic you were smoothing to? I well, I low-key think Kumo may be a Sufal with how fucking shit that video was. It's so fucking AIDS, bro. The fact that he's still talking to him. Gilded Poo, I could see that angle. I'm not sure if it's true, but I could see it. Hey, man, he may not be a Sufal, but I'm gonna say he is one because... <laughs> Well, it's just hilarious. Think Careful, about, he's right? gonna accuse you of uh, getting too and, uh, and he rough and he can't say anything about it because uh, because he does the same shit to other people. Exactly. So I'm good. I I'm chill. Anyways, um, yeah. I mean, tournament. at least it wasn't the video that was made by another guy that tried to go after Lyo that I was commenting on earlier. I'm not gonna lie. I have no fucking idea what the whole drama is about. I just like seen bits and it was shit. Oh, dude, I it's, really, it's an I entire really do think hole, it's dude. Really, um, Cliff notes: Lyo is shit at predator hunting, is a weirdo, and ruins kids' lives. Ah. And Kumo well, is that, probably going like after Kumo. him because he's in a perennial beef with uh, peaches that'll never end. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so he's a Sufa. Our battle is to be <laughs> eternal. We <laughs> shall fight until the end of time. Oh, yeah, and then, by the way, um, you asked fans, me about the uh, clips of uh, Moist Miracle. Well, I don't have the originals, but I do have them on a video I made about Rev a while ago. Oh, okay. when, when, when I heard Rev yeah. bring up uh, Critical as evidence, I was like, this is going to be the worst cut of Critical I've ever seen. Uh, dude, it's so dumb. You know, about that? There's I'm literally an entire eight-minute video of Critical like shitting on that shit. Yeah, no, Rev I, I showed that video earlier when I was covering Rev, actually. Or... Yeah, okay. I, I fucking debunked that whole point months ago, and he's still using it. Like, what a fucking tard. Oh my god. It reminds me of. It's uh, probably because Rev doesn't give you the acknowledgement, is what I'm 
guessing is why. Rev knows who I am. He knows who I am. Does he? Because he knowledge like something about me like months ago and not and all that. So he knows who I am. Hmm. Well then, the he other just thing doesn't want to say anything publicly. Yeah, then the next guess is that he just doesn't want to admit he's wrong. Then. Oh yeah, which um, which I do oh, understand in the way like being wrong. wrong like it's, it it sucks, but I like bros a pedophile so. Rev so can't he's admit like... he's wrong because if he admits he's wrong, then he's admitting to being complicit in arguments that protect people who victimize children. <laughs> He's basically admitting to being a pedophile if he admits he's wrong. I wouldn't so, go that far, but so I'd say I'm, that he would be admitting to being He fucking defends like Lolicon, uh, like every complicit. other video, my guy. What do you mean? Well, he it's defends like, Lolicon every other video, and he's like, and what, well, that's one my point, of the though, things he, he fucking retweeted was like Lolicon. At minimum, he would be a shielder or someone defending them. Um, more likely is that he That's is like himself. you being nice, I guess, but like. Well, that's he's, the thing. he's like a straight up lolly con, and he's a pedophile. Either and he like admits in he's any wrong, case, he's, he's ruined his reputation. Oh yeah, in he's any fucked. Case, right. his he's, he's, like he's fucked. It's so, it's so, it's so Jover for him, bro. It's Jover. <laughs> it's for been a while real, since so I've uh, So Biden. <laughs> <laughs> he's been trumped. Yeah, I should be Biden. making like a rough video soon, actually. On uh, the whole meat canyon situation, I still so, don't get uh, the whole meat yeah. canyon thing because, like, meat canyon is by definition satirical. It's like robot chicken. It's meant to be inflammatory and weird. I compared it more so to South Park because South Park does similar things like meat canyon does. Well, no, what I'm yeah, well, robot, just, um... robot chicken literally does it. They take real things and even copyrighted works and then make them ridiculous. Yeah. They exaggerate them to the nth degree. Yeah, well, I don't, like South Park, I don't they don't parody them. Constant they constant straight up are like, look, this is literally the thing. For example, uh, the Star Wars skits are not an offshoot of Star Wars. It literally is Star Wars, just taken to an extreme. It's far closer to what mm -hmm. Meat Canyon does, uh, genetically. Real. But the point is, is just that he took a video of him making fun of Tom Brady and his absolutely insane uh, practices involving his child and put a really Dude, funny song over it. When when it's when when he showed the Twitter post of the dude saying it literally shows me go, shows a 13 year old and fucked in the ass. I'm like, did we watch the same video? It literally <laughs> yeah. just shows the uh, the uh, press genuine. staff staring in horror, and like the song "I Wish Someone Would Kiss Me the Way Tom Brady Kisses His Son" was playing. <laughs> it was so funny. Was it was it creepy? Yes, but that was the point. Yeah, no. Really? Um, I don't know if the tweet that Krillix is talking about is like intentionally lying or if they're just being hyperbolic. But either way. That's not what actually happened in the video. It was pearl clutching. I yeah. think it was pearl clutching. The it only way, like, being either, they're being, either they're being purposely disingenuous or they never actually watched the video. Why not both? Or they watched the video yeah, and are purposefully disingenuous, exactly. Also, disingenuous doesn't sound like a word anymore for me because I've seen so much of Gertrosis stuff. <laughs> he says it a lot, doesn't he? I've noticed that too. I, I've never yeah, really does. brought it up. He does say well, it quite a bit. When I saw Pagan in the chat as well, I was like, oh no, here we go. He, he actually kept it relatively short. He didn't get, get too crazy. But uh, Pagan is the one that I typically watch out for because he's the least reasonable of the three. Mm -hmm. Real. I actually used to be on their Discord, but uh, I had to leave because of just how weird it got sometimes. They're good people. I'm not gonna like. There's nothing wrong with them per se. I just didn't vibe with the uh the at the atmosphere. You're talking about Kree server. Yeah, the Kratosa server. I this is to, like before he server. did the VTuber thing. I had to leave his server because at one point there was actually a couple of people in there that were arguing in favor of Lollicon, and then they tried slandering me at some point. What? Oh, Wait, dear what? Lord. Wait, what people were they? Oh, wait, what? Uh, it was people in Kratosis' oh, server. Yeah, who? That's horrible. I don't I don't oh. remember who they were, but like... Yeah, I don't remember you a... telling me about this. 
I literally have some like lollicon spies on my server. Maybe you did, but like, usually I have the good memory here, so scared. that's why I was hoping you could refresh my mind on it. Yeah, no, I was in Kratos' server for a while at one point. Um, and then there was a couple of lollicons that were in there uh, trying to slander me when the discussion kept on going. So I just straight up left. I mean, I don't blame you. Fair enough. That's I mean, just I... something else. I mean, to be fair, I guess like, that's server is for. very, very, like, I also video DM'd, only. I also DM'd Kratosis about it when it happened, and then he never said anything about it. I imagine Kratosis just has a let the idiots uh, burn themselves out mentality, and I don't blame him for that. But, I, mean, I uh, guess. It's still weird. Um, then again, it might also just be the atmosphere. There's definitely a more of a furry slant in the community there which means they're a little more permissive of things that normal people would typically be against mm -hmm. um because i saw shit there that's like relatively tame that made me uncomfortable mm. but you know i'm weird all right um is there anything else you wanted to point out mythical uh Bye bye, bro. Bye bye, okay, bro. Bye -bye. I'm going to join you out. Thank you. <laughs> I was on my way to doing it. <laughs> yeah, every time you just mention Skibbity Toilet. It's okay, I'm Myth. We love like, you. Bye bye. It's a tough <laughs> love, Myth. Skibbity Toilet is. The I expect, him to, I expect the to see him in chat coping right now. <laughs> Mythical. Don't disappoint me. All right. Oh. Um. Fuck, we've been live for almost six hours, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh. And call it from here. You said skippity. Yeah, of course he did. Um, I'm going to I'm delete up. your fucking message. <laughs> Zanian's doing it too. Execute no. that child. Execution All right. inevitable. All right, y'all. Right, shut well, up real it's quick. been a it's been a joy. Oh, okay. Hold on. Shut up real quick. I'm going to do the outro. No. Um, okay, I'll be <laughs> Stefan then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for stopping by it was really fun i enjoyed covering these videos except for the kumo one um shout out to everybody that stopped by thank you all for the uh memberships and uh the donations um bless your heart i will see you next you're not time. southern everyone say bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. again i apologize no.